This is everything. He's Adam, and this is Adam vs. Everything. Well, hello there. 
Welcome back. How is everyone? Thank you for being here. Uh, let me catch up with chat, and then we'll get right into RimWorld. See if Randy lets us survive another night. Have we had a colony that survived two whole nights? I don't think so. Not since we started this. Uh, not sure. Maybe, maybe, maybe one. Yeah, one. one. Clearing out water is back on the menu. Uh, pilot wash, welcome in. Ooh, a vigorous, a vigorous shill breaker. I'll take one. I'll take two. Raider, so early. How's it going, Raider? Hey, for being here. Hysteric. Hysteric. I don't know why I'm doing the H that way. Hysteric. Victory. I don't know. <laughs> what a hawk of Phelan, dead. How's it going, Phelan? I did go and check, and I and I made the face. You got a uh, bad L Alakazam or whatever his name is. Like the best uh, support healer guy in the game. Congrats, Phelan. What kind of shards were those? Was that from blue shards? Is there a double event going on or anything? How's it going, Phelan? Congrats. Ivax, welcome in. How's it going, Ivax? Uh, so what's, does that game have a match, a max adventure rank? Is it, is the adventure rank kind of like a hunter rank in a, in a monster hunter? Milla, getting earlier and earlier with a baby shark. Soon that'll be the first thing I see when I come in here, baby shark. Lewis, welcome in. Not first. Not fast. You have it bookmarked. <laughs> Snowblind. How's it going, Snowblind? Thank you again for the donation last night, by the way. Much appreciated. You know what? I'm going to play one of these for you. The time has come for a medi rave. Death waits. Most not here, but you left a song from Milla in my music discord. Oh, oh boy. Hi, Tala. Welcome back. How's it going, Hi, Tala? finally shake that migraine i sure hope so you got two legendaries and 10 blue shards is there a double event at least or you like either way it's extremely lucky but geez pineapple how's it going pineapple how's it going pineapple you're gonna post your uh, ps5 on craigslist <laughs> i'm curious what would happen if you did i just want to butcher your name too probably how do you put spell your name hi star i see <gasps> and you and you hang out in starbit stream and your name is actually high star i see all along high star oh my god mr orange mr orange welcome back it's three in a row thank you mr orange how you doing tonight adult shark not sure if there's a max ar currently it's like 51 but that's only because of how ar xp is gained ah, i got you just x10 to get specifics man that's crazy. Squatter Shire still have never seen Spike Helm. Dealing with some upset stomach. Neurologist called in two meds. Help with nausea and most of the pain. Gotcha. Funnel of your PS3 and PS4 as a PS7. I think that's how math works, so yes. Yes. The PS7. Truly, this is Ada Mm's very thing. <laughs> hey. Crazy. Look at Virtuous again. An, and another shill breaker. We have two virtuous shill breakers. Reezy and uh Master Pilot Wash. Uh thank you, Pilot Wash, for continuing the gift sub from impending misfortune. Uh thank you, Misfortune, for the gift sub back whenever that was. I already thanked you, but I'll do it again, even though you're not here probably. Thank you, Pilot Wash. Appreciate it, man. Alright. How's it going, Aztec? Let's get in there. Uh, previously on Adam Ball Z. Uh, yesterday we had to start a new colony. Uh, a bunch of mess happened with our first one. Anyway, we had to start a new one. And uh, this one's going... This one has been hit more often, but we've been able to save it. In fact, we had a uh, siege. We had a big siege hit us last night before we had mortars, before we were ready for it. And we managed to defeat it. Um, we did take a little bit of damage, but the um, the only permanent damage is a scar on my leg. So, and it's not even a bad enough scar to give me pain. So, um, and we came out pretty well. Uh, we had a mech cluster fall right beside the base, and then we had a herd of elephants attack, and they fought each other, and the mechs won, uh, but it weakened them. And then the empire came in, and they killed the rest of the mechs. Um, I used 
R squared as bait for all of this. And he almost died, but he didn't. <laughs> so no permanent damage. Uh, we got some new colonists, some good ones, some not so good ones. Uh, I killed my dad. I'm very sad about it for two seasons, but I'll get over it. Um, yeah, so we, so my dad fell to the planet in a, in a crashed pod and I saved him and I thought he would join us. And if he didn't, I was going to arrest him, but then he wandered off the map while I was doing something else. And I forgot to double check and he wandered off the map and he joined a group of uh, pirates. And then he led a raid against us with the pirates and we killed him. <laughs> so, uh, we went from, and he was a really good pawn. We went from trying to get my dad to join us as a non-hostile to him leading a raid against us and killing him. And my character's a little, uh, a little upset by that. So pretty eventful, pretty eventful. Epic story simulator. Yeah. His name was Brody and I kind of made fun of him a little bit because of his name. If your name is Brody, I'm sorry. Sorry. Not like, not like in that way. Sorry. Your name is Brody, but can you give me a second to screenshot the starter stats for me? Sure. I can do that right now. If you want Mila. It doesn't take much. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's do it. I'll show you really quick. Intestines. So. This guy got his cruel, yeah. Epic story. Did you clear the poison ship? No. That's the other thing. We have a poison ship. And we used all the mortar shells that we got from that siege. And we only hit the ship like one and a half times. So... Um, here's the one I'm using right now, Mila. So what I did, uh, and I mean, you can do whatever you would like with, I mean, you can make whatever you want with prepare carefully. But what I did is I re-rolled until I had a pawn that was, uh, around this point, this amount of points. And then with use point limit turned on to that number, I think it was 22 something, 2240. I then spent everything on what I wanted. So to keep him under 2200, and 2200 is a good pawn, a really good pawn, but it is possible to roll that pawn if you just keep re-rolling eventually. So it's, um, it's cheating in the, I mean, it doesn't really matter because it's a single player game, but it's cheating in the way that uh, you forego the RNG to get there. Did the last call you die? No, no, I was just showing, uh, Milla wanted a screenshot of, of um, my starting pawn for Naked Brutality before we start tonight. Yeah, it's not really cheating, but I mean, even if it is, who cares? Baby Carrot, welcome back. Keyboard Bort. Crappy one, and it's so bad. How'd it break? Did you get really angry? I mean, I don't know you that well yet, but from what I've seen in chat, you don't seem like the person that would get really angry and break a keyboard, but you never know. Man, quick story before we start. Uh, I know we're at nine o'clock already. So uh, I have this had this friend that I met on WoW. Um, and uh, so I, I used to, a long time ago, I used to lead a raiding guild and uh, main tank and lead the raids. Anyway, I met someone on there. Uh, I won't say his name. He's, he stops by the channel sometimes. Uh, who's older than me. So when I met him, I think I was like 20, 22, 23, something like that. He was in like his mid thirties. Uh, he, uh, got his like doctorate, you know, he, a scientist, he really is a scientist. He works at Los Alamos and, uh, he was like calm, chill guy usually. But when we would PVP, he would get so angry all the time. Like no matter what happened. He gets so angry and break headsets and break his uh, his keyboards and throw mice across the room and like scream and yell. And I was like, maybe you shouldn't be PVPing. But anyway, uh, my point is perception is not always reality. And so even people that you perceive as calm and collected in certain environments can have temper tantrums <laughs> in, in others. But anyway, let's go inspector. Some pretty deep topics. Bring the important questions. What are they? Play the council. I have not. Let's go on Wookie. Thank you for coming back. Kibbs, good to see you. Short it out. Gotcha. 
for the laptop because we're game lagging at a crucial time. <laughs> All right, let's get in there. Recording has begun. Round, well, it's number round four, but episode two of round four. Let's get in there. We still have the poison ship up. But I think we cleared everything else out. Old guild leader that would stream the whole time. Mini fridge next to his computer. Once he said his fridge was broken, we found out it just meant he was out of beer. <laughs> if dragons breathe fire, what do they fight? Well, that's a good question. What's the opposite of fire? The point is, don't PvP. Because <laughs> it burns when you PvP, sometimes. Something out of temperature for once. Game Boy Advance when you were 12. You're so traumatized by it that you've never raged that hard at a video game again. Frustrated on electronic body count. This thing said it just won unfortunate remote control. <laughs> All right. So we are up to... Uh, get out of here, cat hair. Shoot. We are up to five people, and uh, we are kind of upset a bit, right? So we have people uh, muscle pair sites. Um, we do have some recreation up now, so R squared will stop doing that. But his dog died. We lost. We got some dogs last night, and we lost all but two, unfortunately, um, to, uh, to the raid that came in, the siege. But we do still have two left. They can both haul. They are a breeding couple, so I need to actually keep them inside the walls for now. Uh, I need to keep them guarded. So that we can uh, we can get our animal population booming again, uh, but yeah, people are upset about some things that just recently happened. There's the siege we took care of. Uh, the mech cluster that we took care of was right here, it was right here, and it was you know able to hit a lot of our base, and we didn't have this wall up yet, so we did get the wall up. We uh, got our initial kill tunnel that we're getting ready. This is the only threat on the map right now, and it's not a big deal. There are three mechs down there and a defoliator ship, which spreads a poison ring out, uh, killing all plant life as it goes. Now, used to, the defoliator ship had a range of 100 from it. We don't know if that's still the case. Right now, the dead zone is 100. So, I haven't checked it since 1.2. We'll find out if they made it wider or not, but... Is there NES controllers in anger? They were built like a... Yeah, the literal brick controllers. Man, the NES controller was not comfortable at all. Like, going back and trying to use one now, and it's got, like, these... Like, the corners of it feel, like, sharp almost. You could, like... You could literally stab someone to death with an NES controller. Uh, and then the, the SNES is so smooth and nice. The NES... Worst ergonomic. There, yeah, no ergonomics. You're basically playing with half of a brick. Are <laughs> uh, Pop Tarts just sweet ravioli? We've had the Pop Tart conversation. Uh, and people were like, it's a sandwich. No, it's a ravioli. The NES controller is so simple. Yeah, yeah, it really is. How's it going, Stoner? Welcome back. Uh, all right. So, what is R squared up to? Visiting Grave. Okay, we finished biofuel, which is awesome. We can start making our own uh, biofuel and fuel in our own uh, mortar shells. Now we want to get to gun turrets. We also want to get this wall up. Doing all right. Cereal is just breakfast pasta, grain shapes, and protein sauce. Uh, cereal is soup, yeah. Pasta soup. It's a hot pocket. <laughs> Lo-fi, welcome back. Let's go on Lo-fi. Uh... Oh, an Elder Scrolls badge. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. No Geopower Rush this time, no. How's it going, Finn? A Traviola is a sandwich. <laughs> is a hot dog a sandwich? There's a podcast called Is a Hot Is a Hot Dog a Sandwich? And these are the things they go over. So if you're interested in these questions and what some people say the answer is, <laughs> might be the podcast for you. Might be the podcast for you. Whoops. Whoops. Why is there a D in fridge, but not in refrigerator? Refrigerator. I'm not a hot dog or a sandwich. It's going all right. Milk's not a stock. It's not a soup. 
Not soup. <laughs> Water's not a stock either. You can make soup with water. So you're telling me tomato soup is not a soup? Is that what you're saying, Woozy? Not a hockey guy? I never see you use them? I use some hotkeys, yeah. But uh, more often than not, uh, I just have my hands on the one, two, three. So part of the reason I don't use a lot of hotkeys, Ben, is because of this. This is this is on top of my keyboard, and I I don't I don't want to I don't mind streamers being that way, but I'm not gonna be. I don't like having this like most streamers do, where it's like. All right, guys, we're playing RimWorld. I got an expensive microphone. And I want you to see it. My microphone was really expensive, and by God, I'm going to show it off. So anyway, I have that off screen right on top of my my keyboard, so it's hard for me to use hotkeys, uh, a lot of them. That's why I don't use hotkeys going between the pawns and stuff. But I'll use it for like copying, and I'll use QE to turn stuff. Talk directly into the mic more often. You want an ASMR stream? We have commands for that. Don't need the breathing. <laughs> Found they delivered hospital dinner. Wait, wait, kids, I missed something. Why are you in the hospital? What's going on? Versus thoughts. I am become thought. Uh, Alright, we need to get this done and this done. We need everything done. Everything is important. Uh, we want construction turned up. It's fine. So what's R squared doing? S or the C, silent in the word sent. Uh, I'm going to go with the silent C there. Let's turn it at ASMR stream. There's an ASMR command. We did it. Not really, but I joked about it before. How's it going? Dirk, welcome in. Yes. 10 inches of your lower intestine removed. Man. Sucks, kids. Hopefully you have a quick recovery. As much as you recover from that. Corgis, don't take it. All nine of your dudes died. Well, yeah, the thing about uh, quests is they count independently from events. So if you accept a like a big raid event or like multiple raids off of a, of a quest you can still have a raid event at the same time or immediately after or whatever so you have to be really careful with quests unless unless you're ready to dominate that quest plus defend stuff during it or immediately after you say the s because scent is still scent mm. How am I doing? I'm doing all right. Thank you, Inspector. Best work schedule for the Rim people. I really like this one, uh, but it depends on the character. So the reason I use this is a biphasic sleep thing. Uh, this will make it so no matter what time during the day, and again, you want to put this on people that are staying relatively close to the base. But if you do this, no matter what time of day it is, they'll be well rested, they'll be fully recreated, and they will have the buff for sleeping in, in a comfortable place. They'll have that comfortable buff. And so what this does, is it keeps people happy. It makes them get inspirations more often. And it also, uh, one of the big things that I was losing when I first started trying the hardest difficulty was that people were breaking down during raids. Raids would end up happening in the evening or at night or whatever. And my people were so exhausted because it was towards the end of the day. Their mood was already at the lowest it would be for the day because they hadn't uh, slept in a while. They've been working all day. They haven't done any recreation time. And then we have to defend the raid. So, um, this way we're always well rested no matter when a raid happens. Now, yeah, if you have someone if that's um, uh, meditating, you can put that in instead of recreation for one of these blocks. Uh, Night Owl will have to be a little bit different. You can also kind of crisscross the schedule a little bit when it gets later on. But I really like the biphasic th thing after you get established with a few pawns and you have a small-ish base. 
close dining room. Yeah, close dining room is really good with it. But I mean, that doesn't help when they break down during it. If you have them start the defense and they're all, you know, super happy. Um, very low chance of them breaking down during. How's it going, Mike? Welcome in. Who is he? Welcome back, by the way. Lionheart, thank you for coming back. There's all kinds of schedules you can do, though. Um, and it really depends, like I said, on the pawns themselves and, and your base setup. Uh, like, I wouldn't have the same schedule for someone that's working far away from the base, you know? Who needs sleep when you have coach you, sir? Uh, does meditation work the same way as recreation? As in, they will only do it when they need it. I haven't specifically tested it. It looked that way when I was doing the Psycaster and Anima Tree setup uh, in a previous run in 1. Point, that was in 1.1, 1. 1, like late 1.1. 1. 1. But I haven't really tested to see if they'll only do it when they need and if they don't need it they won't do it even if scheduled because how the schedule works if they if you have recreation here and they're already full recreation they'll basically change the slot to an anything slot uh i'm not i'm thinking meditation probably works that same way but i haven't specifically tested yet What's the best defenses? It depends too. Uh, there's a lot of good defenses. The kind of catch all is a basic kill tunnel and then expand on this. Uh, and the kill tunnel, as far as shape and length and everything, will depend on what weapons you're mainly using. Like right now, we're ha it's early game. We're using bolt action for everyone. So I'm literally setting up a tunnel where this is the highest accuracy for a bolt action. Bolt actions are most accurate at medium range, which is 25 for them. So. Right here is the best accuracy for bold action. So I can line people up and then I'll have traps on the way there. Now, to extend on this further, um, I will eventually put a path where people can come down and throw EMPs from here uh, for centipedes. And then I'll probably also have a spike maze like this leading up to it. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a better defense for things like bugs or all melee enemies. Um... And eventually, what I like to do is have more of a semicircle kill box with turrets on the sides. And then, um, eventually, uh, the charge rifles for our main weapon. Um, but yeah, for normal raids, what you want to do is get a kill tunnel that's purpose is not only to funnel people in, but to make it so they cannot outrange you. So you want your kill tunnel to be the range of your most commonly used shortest range weapon currently because if we had this uh, like if we had this this length but we all had uh heavy smgs we could not shoot here and then enemies with bolt actions or assault rifles or charge rifles or whatever lancers etc they could all outrange us so it would nullify the box so um you might change your kill tunnel setup throughout the whole game just make sure you're using it to not only consolidate people, but to make it so they can't outrange you. Is the EMP launcher to shoot an alpaca or something? No, I haven't tried that. It's kind of it's kind of cool, actually. That makes it seem like shooting should have a say in the accuracy of a mortar in general, you know? Hallway of the columns. Yeah, yeah. So the thing about um, roof traps, like Kids is talking about, roof traps are amazing for pawns and animals. Uh, roof collapses will hit the head, neck, or shoulders, and it does 20 points of damage. So it can insta-kill tons of pawns. Uh, it's not good against mechs, though, at all, because mechs are fully armored. 86-year-olds! No thanks. You can train your shooting with EMP launchers. That's pretty interesting. North! North, thank you for the resub. 23 months! Goodness, that's almost a whole year. Thank you, North. I need to refresh my uh, alerts that didn't show on the screen. Much love to North for the continued support. Uh, come on. There we go. There we go. Thank you, North. It's everywhere. Does enemies come through whatever door that doesn't have any defense on it? Or do it auto come through defenses? So there's different types of AI. In general, though, a normal raid, a normal animal attack, a normal... Um, um, like mech attack, those will come through openings first. 
If there's no opening, then they'll just break through the easiest way to get inside your buildings. But as long as you have an opening, they'll try that first. And they, they will ignore traps, so they'll walk right over the top of them. The reason I have the doors is because your own colonist can trip a trap. And it can kill them instantly. I've had someone beheaded because they stepped on a trap, our own colonist. So the reason I have these doors in the tunnel is so that we can access these traps and reset them when we need to without stepping on them. So that's the only reason for these doors. Eventually, you'll see me put a bunch of doors in, and that's just for fallback positions um, for, you know, it, when we get drop potted and stuff. But in general, aside from sappers and drop pod raids, enemies will come through openings first. So I leave this open. That way they uh, come through here into our kill tunnel. Hopefully that makes sense. If anything doesn't make sense, just let me know. I'll re-explain. No story. I haven't used any um, storytellers from mods yet. Luth is dead. All right. So, I want to get these doors on here now. Um, harvesting heal root. Let's actually get this done. Enemies can use these trees as cover. I don't want them to. I don't want them to. Let them do it. Chuck nasty. So has muscle parasites. They've had them for a long time, and they're not going anywhere anytime soon. So, you build fridge first for defense. Um, defense. It can be a little bit different if you are on uh, a lower difficulty, but there's some things about building a fridge that will help in the long run. But my biggest advice for the fridge is you don't need one as early as you think, even if you're tribal. And the reason why is that rice, uh, unless you're on a map where you can't really grow much, but uh, rice and corn and things like that, they last for like 40, rice is 40 days, corn is over a year, as long as it's roofed, even if it's not refrigerated. So what you can do is you can set up only to make uh, enough meals to really eat. Treat longer, you won't get parasites. Uh, you can either set up only enough meals to where they're not going to go bad by the time people eat them, or you can use nutrient paste dispenser. Uh, and this will make it so you don't need a freezer right away. And then you can pour more resources in defense and rush to defense faster. So on their really hard difficulties, I don't worry about a freezer super early anymore. Um, I try to get to traps and mortars and kill tunnels first. And then I kind of worry about the other non-essentials. So yeah, freezers aren't that important as long as you are careful about how many meals you're, how much raw resource you're turning into meals. Let the rice just sit in here because, you know, it's going to be 40 days before it rots. And if you haven't used that rice in 40 days, you probably didn't really need it during that time. Um, and it was just, it was just adding to wealth. Add that to the tip list. The thing about not building a fridge super early. Yeah, that would be a good one, probably. It's like a new map. Uh, yeah, we lost early stream yesterday. Have I ever beaten RimWorld? Yeah, yeah, many times. I've beaten hardest difficulty, no pause. Uh, yeah, on different maps. Uh, rice, excuse me, rice is 40 days. Corn is a year for the spoilage, yeah. Rice, 40, corn a year. As long as it's roofed. Have I ever lost RimWorld? Only like a couple times. <laughs> How's it going, Super Lou? Welcome in. Corn takes a lot longer to rice than rice to grow, and it uh, it also uh, can keep for longer without being frozen. Do the first patch of rice and switch to corn. Rice is still the best crop in normal soil and in rich soil if labor isn't an issue. As long as you have enough labor and you don't mind the people working on it, uh, rice is safest because it gives you food the fastest and uh, if a blight happens to your rice or a cold snap or something, you're not losing a lot of time. Like if, you're, if your corn has been growing for like 70% of its, you know, of its long grow period and then you have a blight, it feels terrible. Rice is not a big deal. You just grow it back again. So I'm not a huge fan of corn in the game. 
Um, later on, I might like stagger corn and rice a little bit to have some coming in. At but for the most part, I stick to rice in all soil aside from stony. And in stony soil, I will use uh, potatoes. So, yeah, this one's been really eventful too, though, Kaz. This has been a pretty interesting run already. Good stories happening in this one already. A lion in the northwest? Oh, it's a lynx. A lynx. And this is a mega sloth. Scruffkin. Scruffkin, thank you for the follow. Good name. Good name. Uh, I am going to make a few meals because people are really unhappy, so I'm going to let them cook a little bit. Whoa, four chunks of spacecraft. That is awesome. Spacecraft, uh, they used to not be quite as good, but you can just deconstruct them into uh, steel and into components. You want a plushie of a mega sloth? Why did I build the wall around it? Because raiders are... Uh, we didn't have the outer wall for a long time, so we only had this building, and then I did this. So... Uh, Things like this, if you leave them unwalled outside, raiders will target them. So in the early game, when we only had this and I was trying to lead raiders through the spike trap, if this had been open, the raiders would ignore this and they'd come out here and destroy this. So I just walled it in. Uh, the important thing, though, is that you don't you don't roof it. So if you want to not roof something, you just go to zone and then you put remove roof area and just draw where you don't want them to make a roof. How's it going, Lobby? Welcome in. Group set a few clicks away. It was dropping Fallout on the way. Oh, on the one. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Reezy. Yeah, it was a rough loss. So this just protects it from uh, from getting hit by raiders. Uh, we don't need it as much as we used to because now I have the outer wall, which took a long time to get to. But uh, I'm just going to leave it there. It can be good to have little segments like this too, segmented rooms everywhere in your base. Because if you get a drop pod raid, sometimes they'll get split up in different rooms and you can handle them in little groups. Um, so I'll probably just leave it there. All right. R squared. Ship chunk. Let him do that. Make sure these components are hauled in. Look at all those components. So nice. That fell so close to the base. Rooms, set of beds on top of each other and close to each other. Yeah, so there's some benefits and detriments to having a barracks. Um, the benefit of a barracks is that you can... Uh, it, it's not as much wealth and not as much, not as much space. It doesn't take as much materials. And in base rim world, the higher your wealth is, the harder raids are. The game takes wealth into consideration when it gives raids points to, to build the raid. So literally the higher wealth, the harder raids hit you, uh, the harder events hit you. And so if you have individual rooms that are good enough for them to get a positive mood from, that's gonna be a lot more wealth than a single really good barracks. So what you can do is you can make a barracks, especially in early game when they still have um, like low expectations. And you put your dining room area and your, uh, one sec. You can put your dining room and your recreation in there. And so what happens, they get a, a mood boost from having, let's see if they have it on there right now. Uh, they'll have an impressive dining room, an impressive um, uh, rec room, and you can actually get a barracks up to a positive mood rating as well. So it's mainly just convenience of wealth and time. Uh, they are happier having individual rooms, but it's not like a necessity, especially early game. We'll end up improving this. Uh, that's one reason why we're getting this set up is to move this crap over here. So they'll see this as more impressive. Uh, I kind of want to put wood doors there. To start with because they open faster. 
Phelan. Not today, Luno. How's it going, Luno? Luno's dead, too. Phelan committed Sudoku. <laughs> Play a quick Civ game to pass time three hours later. Uh, which Civ are you playing, Cass? Not which game, but like which civilization are you playing? Zoo the bonus. It is true, yeah. You're the first suspect. Uh, and the reason I have the bed so close is you can have four beds on the same nightstand. So they're all getting the benefit from that one nightstand, so it's co more comfortable. We need another person for plants. Really, really. Yeah, like which leader, yeah. Which civilization leader are you playing? When turning work, it's surrounded by walls. It's it doesn't have a roof, so it just it just works. The walls are not inside the actual zone of the wind turbine. So when the wind blows because there's no ceiling, it just works. Umbasani, welcome back. Washington, gotcha. Are you doing like a true earth playthrough or just a random map? Yeah, windmills only need a certain amount of space. Thank you, Reezy. Wind blows straight down. Well, there's no real mechanics like that in the game. So, yes. If that, I mean, that's what you want to say. Yeah, that's how it works. Wind blows? You're talking about Windows 10 again? <laughs> yes, always. Bad physics make you sad. Well, there's a lot of that in RimWorlds. If you want a game that's more scientific, you might want to look at Auction Not Included. Uh, all right, so we need a little bit more wood. A little bit more wood. So is this expanded anymore? Is it still at 100? I'm going to mark it. No, it looks like they didn't increase it. It's still 100 radius. Do I have an OT for sleeping in the same room? Um, sleeping... So Disturb Sleep isn't as bad as it used to be. So, yeah, they'll get a mood debuff for Disturb Sleep, and they'll get a mood debuff for uh, being in a barracks. But it's fine. Uh, disturb Sleep is like minus three. In the barracks, we can actually get to a positive. Fix it to as well, yeah. Team fight Tactics Night. Like the YouTube video? I haven't played it in a long time. I wouldn't mind playing it some more. I don't know that it'd do well in stream. But I'm glad at least someone liked uh, liked it, Lobby. It just goes over the wall and then hits the turbine at full force. That's right. How's it going, Ash? Like, Babby's welcome back. Welcome back. I really need to get this room done. On TFT, it's gotten to the new season. How's it going, Sneaky Cat? Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay. What are you on weapons? We we still need one more weapon for Chuck. Uh, Chuck needs a melee weapon. We don't have any, so I'm just gonna give him this bolt action for now. That way he has something. He's not a brawler, right? No. Another siege? Oh, no. What do we have? I think we have some incendiary shells left. We have four incendiary shells. Randy really likes these sieges, huh? 
Come on, trees. You got four shots. In that game for a bit? I will, yeah. Yeah. Close. Oh, they're coming. Okay. We, we did it. Uh, first time using our kill tunnel. What kind of weapons do they have? Sniper. They have a lot of guns. Oh, crap. Chuck, you didn't get to the gun? Chuck is so slow. We might just run back into the house. Depends on how this starts out. Uh, that's heavy SMG. We need to take care of that right away. And the shotgun. Come on, Chuck. Trucks need to have a breakdown. We didn't get the trees all cleared out. It's raining at a really good time. Uh, how's trees doing? Fine. Sammy, fine. Insulting spree, Chuck. Nice headshot. Transport pod crash. A scoremon dead. Psychopaths, ugly death, body purist. I don't really like body purist. Slow learner, pyromaniac. Okay, you're dead. Got any gear that we need? Uh, might as well strip them. They died, okay. Uh who needs to do first? Health. Uh they only have like one hit, so Sammy needs to do two. We need to have someone clean this room. And, and I can tend to them. Okay. That one guy took like eight traps. I know, I saw that. I didn't think they were, they were gonna end up getting uh you know, getting stopped. 
Got some more incendiary. Uh, high explosives out of that. That's good. All right. We're good. And I'll catch up in, uh, in chat after this. So, Our dog. How hurt is our dog? It's all right. That was close, yeah. Yeah, when enough when uh, enough percentage of them are down, they'll start retreating. Yeah, yeah. Installing spree while everyone's shooting enemies, yeah. <laughs> How's it going? Uh Jefferson, welcome in. Bard, welcome back. Welcome back. How's it going, Bard? Tin the puppy, yeah, we'll get him. We'll get him. They weren't in immediate danger, so I want to make sure the colonists were uh tended to first. Start with the puppies we wins, yeah, I saw that. Done a theme colony? Yes. We did a Amazon playthrough. All women. Had to save all women. I think it might still... The command for it might still be up. Exclamation Amazon, maybe? Or that might just go to my Amazon affiliate. I'm not sure. <laughs> but there was some more to it. We could only use tribal uh, era weaponry and stuff. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. And there was a challenge for the Amazon thing. I just can't remember what it was. Uh, we can take some of this guy's organs, though. We can do that. Actually, that's fine. Transhumanist cannibal group. Yeah, cannibal is really, really strong. Cannibal can almost feel overpowered. So good. In the game yet? No. Goodbye forever. Uh, you were once a pig, but you became bacon. Infection on the prisoner. That's okay. We can get some medical tending experience from him. Uh, we need to get the wall repaired because... Uh, Randy can attack us again immediately. Oh, a heavy SMG that's not bio-coded. Yes. Yes. Very, very good weapons. Bacon by lunch. Yeah, cannibals are really, really good in RimWorlds. <laughs> like, I have to specify. Cannibals are really good in RimWorld. Our square is going to have a breakdown soon, so we need to leave him uh, inside for now. He needs to stop burying corpses. So. If you were not a cannibal, cycle to parts. If you were a really good pawn, you'd force cannibal and robot limbs on them. All right. Uh, so that SMG we're definitely going to use. It's lower range in this kill box, but uh, it's one of the best weapons early into the game. Oh, our squad's going to have a breakdown. A breakdown. <sighs> trees might also. Let's let trees stay in as well. So trees, you can stay in the walls. Also for trees and uh, R squared, I'm going to go ahead and put um, like recreation for all the rest of their schedule. 
And if they don't need to recreate anymore, they will, um, they'll just do, uh, whatever. Uh, whatever. They might have a breakdown before that even happens. Yeah, we'll let them cook some more food. Uh, also with the food, I need to switch this to drop on the floor. For now. For now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I don't know what it is. Randy and Sieges. What a jerk that Randy. We really need to get this and these. Uh, and then we'll do the rest. So our dog can actually go work on that if we put them on unrestricted. She's the pregnant one, though. I'm a little... A little concerned about letting her go away from the base, but... Yeah, we got the traps remade. We need to get a lot more wood. Uh, Sammy and Trees, our first couple. That's really good. It'll help with mood. Sammy and Trees. Chop it a wood. Chop it a wood. Okay, mood is starting to get a little bit better. For now, we're just burying all the corpses. We just set up a crematorium sometime. So I don't want this person, but we might uh, we might steal some organs before they're gone. So Puppo should come over here and start getting stuff sometime. Uh, I can also send Chuck, since they have catharsis right now, they're not going to break down going and getting that. So let's go ahead and unrestrict Chuck. Although, aren't they still super slow? Yeah, they have the bad back. Oh, the parasites are gone. Yes, finally. We've had parasites forever. Forever. Okay. We really need some more people on planting, too. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and turn R squared back off on cooking. And I'm going to ha have him help cut trees. Puppy's done. It sounds funny. In five days. Five days until puppy time. Okay, we'll get the rest of the stuff too, but those are the most important. And in fact, with that, um, those shells, I don't think I'm going to worry about the shit, honestly. So small. Sneaky punch. Uh, Sneaky punch. Thank you for the resub. Four months. Sneaky, thank you for using the Twitch Prime here. Cast name is tier one, so you get all the benefits. I get all the monies. Appreciate it, Sneaky. All right, we got some more corpses to take care of. We got two more. Uh, That one, I guess we ought to take care of it. Four months, that's like a whole year. It's incredibly close. Incredibly close to a year. Okay. Uh, so we want to get the stuff moved over there eventually. But I gotta worry about mood. I, I gotta close this. This is really important. Insulted times four. Transport pod crash. Be good. Be good, Shin. Too smart teetotaler. Uh, cable of violence, so that means you're dead. I do not want you to join. And you're not a member of any group, so we can actually take your clothing, and it doesn't matter. Where's Chuck? Chuck's sleeping? How about you come strip this person before they die?
So if they were a member of a faction, they changed it so that if you strip someone that's um, in a faction, it will hurt your relations with that faction. It used to, it didn't matter. So many traps we need to get going. Uh, we gotta take that helmet. That stuff can come in sl more slowly. Don't really care as much. Corpse Obsession, that's an easy break. We can take care of that very easy. What if you butcher someone in that faction with their clothes on? Yeah, they probably wouldn't take too kindly to that either. Probably. Corpse Obsession isn't too bad. It can be annoying, but honestly, it's a, it's a pretty easy one. It's like an easy catharsis. Dazed on R squared. Even if you send back lavish meals made from their colonists to drop pod them in. It has the guy's name as the label. Ground Chuck. Uh, interestingly, if you send them lavish meals made from the colonists, I'm betting because that does have some value, some wealth to it. I'm betting that would actually improve relations with them if you drop potted it in. <laughs> I have not tested that, uh, but it works with human leather. If you get a bunch of human leather and you drop pot it to uh, the people that you made the leather from, they will like you more. It does improve. Yeah, that's what I would figure. Cause I hadn't tried that one, but I figured it would. Human leather works. I really need... So both of those are our builders. Uh, I really need one of them to get out of their breakdown so they can repair that. So right now, enemies can just walk right in. I just love leather. I don't care where it's from. Oh, and another insulting spree. Cow, kangaroo, my old roommates. I'll take any leather. And dead bodies too. Yeah, basically anything that has a value to it. So it's kind of funny. Uh, it seems like it'd be an awful big waste of uh, drop pod space to send bodies, but just human flesh. I would assume, yeah, I would assume because it has wealth. I've not done that one, but I would assume it would. All right, no longer having a corpse obsession. That's good. Who are you trying to insult, Sammy? Chuck. Page where someone chops out the bodies of raiders, drop potted the remains to one of the raiding factions. Bases, and it was net positive, yeah. <laughs> it's like a warding. All right. Uh. We have catharsis, so I can probably be fine not having recreation for a little bit. Oh, it's hitting the mechs. <laughs> the mad donkey attacked those mechs. Oh, all right, that was short-lived. We have a mega sloth in our uh, in our walls. In the walls. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, change these schedules back again and uh, everyone back into work. Uh, I do need to get this stuff brought in sometime. People will be really upset to go get it, but we really do need it. We really do need it. It's just that steel. That's right. Someone just, yeah. Gotta get all those traps back up. Uh, also, to rebuild these ones. Biocoded. So we can break that down. We can smelt it. 
for steel, but we can't use it. Bio-coated is basically soul-bound for anyone that hasn't seen bio-coated stuff. Came out in 1.1. Only the person that's bio-coated to can use it. But you can still smelt bio-coated things. All right, what's the impressiveness of this now? Slightly impressive. Okay. We need a floor in there. Double head. Oh, my bad. I thought I did that. But then all that crap was happening. Thank you, thank you. It was uh, Trees and Sammy, I think? Yeah, trees and Sammy. There we go. Man, that place is hideous. People are gonna be really upset to work in there until I get that straightened out, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Catch up, just started watching tonight. Uh, hey, Cindy, welcome in. So, uh, did you, do you know what happened previously in this colony, like from yesterday at all? Or are you just, like, do you just need tonight's catch up or the TLDW of the whole colony? It's going Turbine, welcome in. Trees and Sammy both got the flu, uh, which is really bad. We do have a little bit of good medicine though. So I'm gonna switch this to good and good. So, more disease. I know. Rainy's been really. Uh, sieges and diseases, pretty much. Put you a doubt. So, do so you need the whole colony or just tonight? I don't mind doing either. I just need to know which one to do. Like the whole history of the colony last night included or just tonight? Uh, nope, that's not what I meant. <laughs> the hole. Uh, so the major events of this colony, we started out with just this little room and then we added the windmill. Uh, we were mostly building here. We had several early raids, but I rushed to get this tunnel of traps up. So the early raids didn't do very much. Uh, we slowly gained a few decent colonists. Uh, early on, actually, we got two other colonists that were also naked. So we had a tribe of uh, for a while, it was two naked guys in a cabin in the woods. Uh, and then, not long into the playthrough, we had a mech cluster drop right here. Right here. And it could actually shoot all of our crops. We didn't have this outer wall. Um, and then we managed... We ended up having a, an attack of uh, elephants. But the elephants got in a war with the mechs. Uh, the elephants killed a couple of the mechs. Then we had an empire trade group come in and wipe out the rest of the mechs. So it kind of freed us for that. The day before, actually probably the day of uh, us finishing our research for mortars, we had a big siege hit us from here. It's like 18 people siege and we didn't have mortars. So we managed to go up into this little uh, area here and here and destroy one of the mortars and pull the rest of the guys from it. Uh, a few of our walls got destroyed from mortar shots. We did manage to pull back in here, though, and completely defend. Uh, Sammy almost died from it. Didn't almost, though. One sec. Uh, he barely made it back. He was at, like, half health. He got downed. We managed to defend them, though, and they didn't kidnap Sammy or anything. Um, the worst of it, the worst permanent thing, is that we have a a gunshot scar, but it's not bad enough 
to have pain from it. Uh, another thing about the raid is it was led by my dad. So early into this game, we had a, um, a crashed pod that was the Adam character's father. And he was a good pawn. And we nursed him back to health. And I was going to have him join, but he didn't auto join. And he left while I wasn't really paying attention to him before I could imprison him. And then he came back with a siege and attacked us. He died in the siege. So we do have uh, a mood debuff from our dad dying for another season. Um, we also have this poison ship down here, which doesn't have a lot of mechs left in it. We've been attacked by a bunch of animal groups. We had a bunch of disease events, and we just most recently had another big siege here um, that we managed to hit with an incendiary shell and pull them to the base. So lots of little things. This one's been really an active playthrough so far, unlike the last colony, which was very quiet until it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't very grateful. Nursed him back to health, and he came back with an army to kill us. Why is Sammy radioactive? He has the flu. He has the flu. Mine allows you to make moats, shallow or deep water tiles. Yeah, I, I actually have natural paths, which lets you do sort of the same thing. The flu, that explains the radiation. Okay, so. Yeah, so in a very condensed, that's like seven hours of colony in like three minutes of explanation, but, uh, oh, we had, we got some, we ended up at one point selling all of our food to buy a mating group of, of uh, dogs because our rice was almost done. Uh, we've lost two of those dogs. We have two left, a mating pair, and they're, uh, one of them's about to have puppies. Are you thinking of making separate bedrooms? Um, probably when... Probably after I feel secure and we're like well over 100,000 wealth major plants and we really need the mood boost. Your friend is only mostly dead. <laughs> Wouldn't want to go back to Colony where a bunch of your fellow colonists got chopped up, shot. Back to you. <laughs> Biocoded's done. Yeah, I think they needed to do something like that because of the Empire. Because what you could do is set up a, a trap. And when the Empire came to, like, trade with you, you could just attack them and pull them through the traps. And then suddenly early game have, like, charge rifles and, you know cataphract armor and stuff but so i understand why they added biocoded but it is annoying it's kind of annoying that random raiders have biocoded rifles and stuff you know okay let's check this so 10 percent immunity over nine percent flu so that he's barely beating it 12 percent immunity over 8.5 so trees is uh we got to make sure we're keeping them tended what's the tending quality 89% that's really good 98% okay so make sure Sammy's not on self tinned yeah we're fine little tile floor first yeah I'm gonna do carpet in here for the extra beauty and then I'm gonna do um, the steel flooring for hospital slash research Bioco weapons to your pawns, give them a bonus with it or something. Uh, you can kind of do that. Where is it? You can kind of do that, right? Yeah. You can do the gun link thing anyway. Which helps them aim a little, a little better. 22 prisoners in your current game? It's crazy. Oh, there's this uh, ship chunk. During all the craziness, I didn't even hear that one land. So after my character eats, 
I'll have him go uh, destroy this. Does prisoners count in terms of 50 count? No, I don't. Th I don't believe so. It's um, colonist number uh, per map. So the number of pawns and wealth is uh, tied to a map itself. And so I don't think the prisoners count towards that 50. I'd be surprised they do. What is Randy's 50 count? So each of the storytellers has a population curve and it has some break points in it where uh, it impacts some things that happen in the game a little bit. Um, Phoebe and Cassandra have a break point at 20 where the game gets, uh, basically it can make raids and events harder. The game is trying to basically kill you down, back down below 20 pawns. Randy's isn't until 50. So if you're wanting a really big colony, your best bet is playing with Randy. Uh, Cassandra usually tries to keep you between like 12 and 18. Chuck. Late game, she tries to keep you there. Animal mods, genetic rim, you love it. I really liked using the animal mods when, when we did our uh, uh, our modded playthrough a while back. We had an army of pandas. We had like 80 something pandas. <laughs> it was glorious. They defended us in many raids. I might have to put even more people on cutting these. Chuck can cut too, huh? Uh, I'm going to put him on like eight. So if he has nothing else to do, he'll cut some, some plants. All right. How are they doing here? Malnutrition. Let's feed him. So Sammy is at... 20% over 19. So Sammy's beating it still by 1%. It's kind of scary a little bit. Trees is beating it by 6. So Trees is pulling ahead of the disease quite a bit. Uh, whereas Sammy is kind of staying about the same right now. But yeah, the break points for um, Phoebe and Cassandra are 4. So if you have less than 4 pawns, you'll have a lot more join events and opportunities to get pawns. Also, it makes it more or uh, more likely to down an enemy rather than just flat out killing them with a with a shot. Um, and then the next break point is at twelve, and then the next one is that twenty one I talked about. With Randy, it's uh, four, twelve, and fifty. Genetic or mod, it was crazy. Four pawn work if you have two colonies of four each. Yeah, so colonies are, uh, you can have up to five colonies unmodded on a single playthrough, and those are counted separately. So if you go to statistics and it says colony wealth, colony blah, 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 all this stuff, this will all show differently based on which colony you currently have your focus on. So those are independent from one another when it comes to like the wealth and pawn count and stuff like that. So... Um, I like having multiple colonies. We're not going to do it in this challenge playthrough, but I do like having them. It's very difficult on no pause, though. 23 over 22. I'm really worried about Sammy here. And that's with 97% tin quality. Oh, okay. He's pulling ahead a little bit more. 2% over now. 2% over. I think I'm most worried that um, we might have a big raid while those two are down from the flu. Dogs are still hauling. Uh, they're just getting the steel, and that's pretty much it. Pretty much done after that. has given us business yet oh uh, he's tried <laughs> we actually had another siege and we didn't have um uh explosive shells for it it just happened over here but we managed to do just fine we had some breakdowns immediately afterwards but 
No, uh, no permanent damage. No permanent damage. John Lear, welcome back. Welcome back. I don't want to put one there. I don't know if they can reach it though, so. Oh, you can't. Because not these can count as a wall. So you can actually have the back of this in a freezer with the um I almost call them troughs, the hoppers in the in the freezer, so the food never gets bad. You don't really need to, it's kind of overkill, but you can, it'll count as a wall. Tried using Kill box? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I don't know I don't know that you can beat five hundred percent without having kill boxes. It's just we have to survive until we can actually get one up and running. We just kinda almost have one up and running. <laughs> the starting is a one anyway. Almost. So what kind of map are you playing on, Cindy? With your uh, Alcatraz prisoner farm playthrough. 20 something prisoners, jeez. What's our closest geothermal? This one, huh? Soon. Alright, he's starting to pull ahead more and more. More and more. Alright, Popos, are you done hauling over here? Yeah. Is there anything left up here we needed them to grab? Biocoded LMG. Um I mean we can always break it down, so I guess I will have the dog go get it. Threat forest? Mountainous. Are you building a mountain base? Mountain bases are fun. So good. It's your favorite. Yeah, mine too. I like um, year-round growing temperate forests with mountains and a large river. Uh, with granite and marble. And a nearby road, <laughs> if possible. That's like... I have a guide about uh, map choice. And what's the easiest map to um, to play for your first time and to win the game with if that's what you're trying and you're newer to the game and that's the one i always recommend if uh for brand new people to the game uh so please and outlanders will attack the crash shuttle sites attempt to kill its occupants must defend them one cataphract smelly smelly will join us staggerly ugly with creepy breathing um nah okay Mountain Stamp Forest, Android Rebels. R year round growing, yeah. Smells as bad as he looks. Whoops. I forgot to turn the power back on these, or off on these after moving them. Whoops. Whoa, 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 where are you, Sammy? Playing horseshoes? No, 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 no. Wait, what is his tent? Yeah, he needs tinted immediately. I feel like your only successful mountain bases. Mountain bases are so strong. As long as you can, you know how to deal with bugs. They're the strongest. You can't get drop potted, which is one of the most deadly things, especially on the no pause. Um, sappers aren't really an issue. As long as you build actually deep into the mountain. So it's just like, deal with bugs. Once you get uh, the ability to actually grow your food inside the mountain base too, good to go. To maybe find a little hole in there to build the ship if you want to get out in the ship. Or just do the royalty stuff. Pilot Watch. Courageous. 
your second one tonight? Didn't understand what the seasons were, so you kept starving. Just found you could do year round. Haven't gone back. Bugs equal money, honestly. They can be really deadly. There's so many bugs, especially on 500%, but there are ways to deal with them. And no caves. Yeah, I mentioned that on that video too. What you got in the beginning? I think you got a shield breaker because I remember making a comment about virtuous shield breakers and there being two of them, you and Reezy. So a bug room. Yeah. yeah. Or just freeze the base. But you can't grow food in there. That's the only problem with freezing the base. Guys, get over this flu. 65 over 48. 53 over 48. All right. All right. Guys, we need these traps back up. We need these traps back up. Once we get these traps back up and this done, I need to make a sapper tunnel. Or we're just gonna have a real bad time. We haven't had a single sapper raid yet. We are not set up for sappers at all. So Randy will probably send that next. In fact, I should probably just throw some doors uh, somewhere to fall back for sappers. Until we get that set up. Tattered apparel. Threatened. Is that why they were up, maybe? They originally got up to change their clothing. <laughs> mayhaps, mayhaps it was. <laughs> Trying to have them cut wood that's like right outside some of the doors so we don't have to haul it in a weird, weird path. A leper who permanently had the effect of the focus virtue would you use him. Uh, I would use him in normal torchlight run. In torchless, it would still be annoying. So I'd use them if we had enough scouting in the team or if we were using torches because it doesn't matter if he's virtuous, if he's in the back, you know? So if we get surprised like every other battle and he's in the back just yelling that he's doing the best that he can while his body parts are falling off, it's not, it's not a great character still. I'm really curious what they're going to do with the leper in Dark Dungeon 2. Our has gone on a food binge. You have all the pace you want. Side of the double bed, give a cover bonus for each end table. Uh, I don't believe so. I believe it only connects to one. Like if we if we put another one here, I'm pretty sure you would only see the line connecting to one. I I've not specifically tested Laser Edge, um, but I think only one creases it. Eighty-seven over sixty-six. Seventy-two over sixty-six. All right. Looking good. Looking good. Gonna have oh we have puppies! Puppies are here. Keep those puppies inside the walls. We got three. Only one girl. Uh all right. So some people have used channel points to name the puppies. Let's see what's next here. Orchestra has named this one Doge. Hopefully Orchestra's doing all right. I was wondering about that. Uh, and then Raider Snakes on a plane. And then Sharknado by Raider as well.
Thanks, Raider. And Orchestra. We're using your channel points. Next is more Phelan names. How about class who has an ability that can move other characters around? That'd be too OP. I, I, no, I think I would like that. I think there are modded characters like that that work pretty well. Uh, it would make sense, like pulling someone to the front or pushing them in front of them or something. I think that would be thematically fine. And it can be balanced, I think. They have an anima tree. I did, but the defoliator ship killed it. Uh, if the defoli if an anima tree dies for any reason, it grows back in like two seasons in another random spot. So I'm hoping it grows closer to the base. What's the deal with those? So how the anima tree works is if you have someone with a uh, tribal background, they can actually meditate at the anima tree and it'll grow anima grass. And the more people that are meditating there, the more anima grass or the faster it grows the anima grass. Once you get to a certain number, uh, amount of anima grass, I think the first one is 20, you can harvest it and um, level up a Psycaster. So it's really strong. So without the help of the Empire or anything, you can get, you know, a bunch of Psycasters as long as they have a tribal background and can meditate at the tree um, and get Psycast spells on everyone. Force anima tree to grow back and a desired. Gotcha. Uh, I am not going to try that at the moment because I do not want to be anywhere near the edge of the map because I don't want someone to hop on and kill us or kidnap us. I've had that happen way too much. Let's go and move. Welcome in. Alligator. Many people are in the queue to be named as colonists right now. Uh, it just says over 100 on mine. A mod can check the exact number for you if they want. Uh, but mine just says over 100 people in the queue. Oh no, we are out of meds. Uh, stop, stop. I don't know. Okay, there we go. That would be the last run. <laughs> beaver eating it. I mean, spoilers. Yeah, no, no problem, baby. Here, it just says over a hundred. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't give me the exact number in the redemption screen. I'd have to go into mod view to see it, but mine just says over a hundred in the queue at the moment. Take another dose of nausea meds, man. I tell him. Do you still have a headache going along with it? Or is it just nausea? I mean, I mean, it just is in it's a little thing, but you know what I mean? You know what I mean? All right. So most of those plants are done. Uh, we need to start. We have a lot of. food in storage still, but this is a 30 growing map, so. Let's run sow this. Just the nausea. Yeah, no problem, Karen. Mad Muffalo. Let's get in just in case. It's probably fine, but Muffalo can absolutely rip someone's leg off. Uh, where is it? Oh, the mech's got it. Those mechs have been taking out these random angry animals for us. Nice. And they're starting to get weakened a little bit, just killing these animals one at a time. Over 100, so just like two full streams? Uh, maybe, you never can tell. Never can tell. I really need to wall that area sometime. All right, Sammy. So trees has beaten their 
flew, what's Sammy at? 91 over 84. So they're going to beat it. But we still want to be careful. What's the tending quality at? 51. So let's go ahead and tend to them. And we'll feed them. And then that'll be the last tending until uh, they are either over it or die. Which I doubt they're going to die, but... Has happened. Has happened. Uh, we still only got like 50-something skill and the medicine and whatnot. Okay. Oh, those dogs are just mating. Good job, puppies. Doubt. The second guess is West Nightmare. Let's go on, Splash Woman. Welcome back. Uh, so we're going to steal some of this guy's organs and then we'll let him go. So, yeah, he's a pirate. He doesn't need organs. Uh, let's take your kidney. We'll take the left kidney. People aren't going to like that very much, but they'll like it when they have two kidneys or before they had one. Like, like, I might, just to get um, uh, more medical experience. I'd be a little careful, because we don't have much medicine, you know? Like, I guess we have some wild heal root around we could get. Meantime. Clip was great. The beaver eating the anima tree. <laughs> Prisoners can be a great source of medical experience. Yep. Yeah. Let's see if we can get whatever silver this guy has. Uh, 229 silver. Okay. Uh, do we want to buy anything from them? No, not really. Not really. Got the silver. We still need to make those. Still need more wood. Yeah, I really need to get another colonist that's uh, focused on planting. All right, here we go. Come on, Sammy. Get that organ. Tuna rice violation, so. Yeah. Got it. Goodbye, visitors. You're not leaving Mechway, are you? No. Skills. Firmly planted in the soil. That's right. Got assault rifles? No. No. We just got to bolt action, so... This is the uh, length of the highest accuracy of bolt action. That's what that is. Should this operation go well? Operation Death Star. <laughs> the first and the second. So these traps are done. We gotta get these ones. Um, I wanna shrink this part of it. Actually, I actually don't need this one either. Gotta handle those graves sometime. But I want to get to geothermal first. All right, those traps coming in. Good, good. Also want to put a few wooden stools out and about. Let's 
sometime. The reason for the wooden stools, for anyone that's wondering, is uh, raiders will send people to go destroy them. And uh, when they do that, they will branch off from the normal raid. And so it, it divides the raid up a little bit and gives us a little bit uh, more time between when certain ones come through. So hopefully we've killed the other ones by the time that happens. Hopefully. Yeah, bolt action at the moment. So we're not even to SMGs or anything like that yet. Although we did get one SMG, huh? I should throw that on Chuck. Uh, where are you, SMG? There it is. Because he's not a good shot, but SMG doesn't care if you're a good shot within a reason. Let's roof the stool. You don't need to. Uh, we we used it in our last one, and it worked just fine. Where are the decoy stools? Just outside around the walls so that it pulls some... It'll even pull mechs. Like, uh, we we actually had to divide a mech raid up, and they sent centipedes out to destroy the stools, so we take, took care of all the small ones, and then the centipedes came. Speaking of, we need to get to EMPs. It's very important. Very important. Uh... We also need to make a tunnel through there so we can come EMP from this area. Something like that. Then we'll have the geothermal there. All right. But yeah, I just I just put those around um, just to draw draw some enemies out to them because they have uh, like I said they count as part of your your home even if you remove the home zone from them they still go after them for some reason for some reason to make sure I remove that home area but we'll rebuild them if uh, anything destroys them or if they get burned or whatever. And since it's uh, furniture, they don't deteriorate without a roof or anything like that, so. Pretty sure. Didn't used to. Doesn't look like they do. Uh, transport pod crash with an auto join. Oh my lord. Another industrious quick sleeper too smart. All right, we'll take you. You'll be in a coma forever, but we'll take you. We have the extra nutrient paste. All right, 34 days for them. 34 days. Uh, another doctor, really good. Crafting is always good. And research. Industrious is very, very good. So is Quick Sleeper. Too Smart is fine. It has... Well, they have a lot of breakdowns, but they get uh, experience very quickly. Go research it. Oh, yeah. That's what I figured you might have meant by the roof thing. But, yeah, since they're a furniture piece. Um, but what's interesting is I wonder if they would deteriorate if, like, you uninstalled and they were, like, in the little box, you know, and count as an item instead. But because they're furniture instead of item, I don't think they deteriorate. Now you need that geothermal. Indigo. How much do we have? I have a whole lot. I think I'm just going to do the normal carpet. That even takes 2,000. Maybe I just do stone. So we can actually finish it. Yeah, we 
we can always replace it later. I normally wouldn't do this, uh, but since we're playing wealth independent mode, it's fine. It's fine. Two, three, four, five, six. Normally that'd be way too much wealth. A few mods have outdoor benches too. It's on wealth in mode, yeah, yeah. You like the slate? Yeah, me too. The slate looks good. Randy Apparel, would you rather be naked? I can arrange for that. Okay. Uh, we need to... We need to get some steel. So, who do we have set up for mining? I think trees, right? Just trees? We had them set up to it. Alright, I'm going to set them up to it again. We need steel. I need to get turrets up and get our sapper, our initial sapper tunnel. So initial sapper tunnel, where are we gonna put that? Uh, like here? Yeah, that'd be fine. That'll be okay, I think. So what game colony typically get? Um, as far as like base footprint, it really depends. You could do an entire playthrough, especially in just normal wealth mode, where uh, you're you just build in basically this kind of space, just a small little area with maybe a wall around. Like this, you can beat the entire game with this size very easily. We did. Uh, our entire base in the tiny map challenge was about this size, and we beat it. Um, now, as far as the amount of colonists, it depends on the storyteller a little bit. Usually with Cassandra, you end up having between like 12 and 19 pawns. Uh, and with Randy, I don't know, we're usually in like the 20s. 20 plus Randy here. Turtles and chill. How's it going, Davey? Welcome in. So how did you find um, just chatting as far as your stats goes? Since I know you like talking shop. Once you got those hosts and those raids and you switched over to just chatting, did it seem like you got more uh, unique visitors in your stats or more um, follows than normal? Or is that category not, not the greatest to switch over to when you get the big, the big hits for you? Oh, they went berserk? Wait. Has your organ was harvested? Come on. Oh, they're dead. He was about to punch the puppy anyway, so... Serves you right. What did he do to me? He ripped off my finger! Oh, come on. I lost 10% manipulation. Rip off my finger. X, thank you for the lurk. Being the culprit. Made it's uh, viewers for a long while. I floated. Yeah, I, I was seeing that, yeah. Series of YouTube videos. Guided meditations. Really? Not going the turtle route or including the turtles? 
Get some combat skills. Get my finger. Well, we got his organs, so. Look at that. They were getting some loving. I don't care. Everyone's around watching. Including while you figure out things. Gotcha, gotcha. Bionic hands. Yeah, I can give him a drill hand or something. But he's not a miner, so. Excuse me. Make some dinner. Enjoy, enjoy. Field hand. Yeah, maybe. Especially if we don't find another plant person. Yeah, it's pretty awesome, Davy. Uh, used to, they would give partnership to channels that size when they were in specific categories, not gaming categories. Don't think they do that anymore, though, because they think it's all an automated process now. Well, I mean, them choosing people is an automated process, but as far as opening up the ability to even apply. Hey, R squared. Welcome in. How's it going, R squared? How did your work go? Baby shark hater. That's right. I mean, I am too, but... for it that you know of no i have it a 71 to 0 blowout wait what what do you what 71 to 0 hang on what did this look like what was happening the metal cover of baby shark in the discord is pretty dope <laughs> in playoffs so what was this other team looking like nba recruits or something <laughs> fake football a real european football oh your country uses a different term for something so it's it's fake yeah all right we also call a flashlight a flashlight not a torch I know you're not British, but still. It's either football or American football. Uh, not here. Here, it's football or soccer. Cheer allows the team to make playoffs when they shouldn't have. Ah, uh, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Football or hand egg? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get that done too. Ball and American football. Fake football. Yeah. Yeah. Only field go goals and punts. I don't. I don't know why. I don't know why. Boot equals trunk. Wait, what? I have a bone or two to pick me about last night's Vaughn. Only did you allow your dog to die. You didn't see this. Chop up its death. Oh, I didn't see you chop up the corpse. Oh, that makes sense though, because you're the chef. That's rough, man. That's life on the rim. Uh, but that's the price you pay to hang out with me naked in the woods for a few weeks, you know, R squared. <laughs> so you gotta do a little hard work. Got your payout, paid internet, got tires, paid phone, ate pizza, now you're broke. It's nice that you can do that with it though. It's crazy. Saloon, sedan, chips, fries. Oh yeah, yeah. Tomato, tomato. Could eat pizza right now? Yeah, me too. You saw that though, right? Like uh you joined naked, it was just me and you naked in a in a hut in the woods for for a little while. Oh, did you see the part where you, uh, I had you making the tribal clothing by chance? That was early on, but I'm not sure if you saw or not. 
It's only the beginning of your chill empire. Dream comes true. It was pretty funny, the um, when you were making the clothing. No go. Yeah, I would really like pizza too. Oscar, it's on an insulting spree. I'll be the target of your aggression. How long is the colonist name list? Uh, a little over 100 people. But it's going faster than usual. Oh, R squared's still angry. He's hanging out on Sammy for some reason. Whatever, I'm just gonna let him do it. Probably shouldn't, but Sammy has a, has a girlfriend, so they'll be fine. A beefy Q. Okay, let's put her back to nine on mining. I really need to get this research done. Well, fashion usual is not a good sign. No, it's not. It's, uh, not a good sign. I swear he has a similar hairdo to mine too. Only he has kind of that little flip over one of his eyes, so he can do the whole conformist social fight. Oscar insulted the wrong person. What'd you say? Oscar insulted trees' plant growing skills. Let's be honest, trees does suck at plant growing. <laughs> so I'm not sure what she's getting so upset about. That's so what happened to you. Oh, she bit your arm. You cracked her jaw. Holy crap, man. I swear it has the emo flip, yeah. <laughs> I'm back out from shaving. So I can give to you panda emotes. Um, so we really need to get that research done. I need to get uh, some sapper defense done. I should at least put some fallout or fall back position. So let's go ahead and do that. Or else I'm really going to regret it. So this can cover this side if we have a sapper issue. Cover that side. This is good. Uh, if they come through here, that would really suck. We need some doors around here if they come through that way. West. A count from the Empire of God wants to perform a low power test. Psychic suppress suppression wave. Cautious of males for four days. That's not a big deal. Glitter world medicine and low shield pack. Um, we should probably put that out. Probably. It's not a big deal, actually. It can actually help us a little bit. In fact, it's probably going to make it more likely that we... Um, have mechs instead of normal raids though during that time so I don't know 100% if I'm gonna let it happen or not um uh, masterwork revolver don't really care about low shield pack would be all right it's only five days 10 glitter world medicine sounds good too but I really the shield pack could help us win a battle that otherwise we might, but yeah. 
almost five days. Glitter World's really nice in some situations as well. You know, I'm gonna accept it for this. All right, psychic suppression. Of course, I'm going to get it. It grows out more. Gotcha. Some coffee and sit with the rabbits. Muffin's mad at you. You have her now. Now she's happy. Muffin. Uh, build this instead, please. Put R square back on construction for a little bit. Uh, Yoga One Kenobi. Oh, I have a pop up. Yoga. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated, Yoga. All right, let's play Hintai or wish list. Circle, circle, dot, dot. <laughs> Adam, this one's probably up your alley. I hope I got the timer right for it to go to you after stream. If not, hashtag sorry, not sorry. Have fun. Phelan of Trolley Face, the last of waifus. You are playing as the last waifu, clearing out the fallen city from infected, whose only target is you. You have to be a degenerate to accept this gift and play this game. So, uh... Hey! Davey. Thanks, Phelan. Adam, this hentai game is right up your alley. Would love to watch you stream it someday. Thanks for always believing me. In the chill empire. Much love. Buckle up, Davy. Thank you, Davy. Dewey Turtle. That is awesome. Thank you, Davy. You have to be a degenerate to accept this. That is awesome, man. Oh, I want to kill. I want to shoot some demons now. Thank you, Phelan. Thank you, Davy. Oh, my lord, Phelan. So for anyone that doesn't know, you can do exclamation hentai. But basically, uh, it became a running gag where people gift me hentai games during stream so it pops up. And uh, I have like 150 of them now. And it's so, it's screwed up my Steam algorithm so much. That's a trap. Good hentai. It's pretty good. Are we guys ripping part waifus? <laughs> Maximum fee for Doom. Wonder who started that? Yeah, you and Count Me Out. I think on the same stream. What was the gift from last night? That was the one, I think. The Phelan one. It finally popped up. I think. Pretty sure. Six terabytes. Well, none of them are installed. So. Um, there's no playtime on any of them, as far as you guys know. But yeah, welcome in, Yoga One. Sure. No, I've showed on stream before. That uh, there's no playtime. I'm often got a name. No. Quote six sixty seven. I got gay dating simulator. Some guy I met online. Go to bed. Oh yeah, <laughs> my daughter. You're my stream friend. You can check. Go for it. Go for it. Yeah, there's that clip. Yeah, yeah. Your daughter asking. <laughs> when am I going to be over my dead father here? 8.9 days. 8.9 days. all the time oh we have a bounty to do tomorrow night the new call of duty or whatever uh the developers want me to play that for an hour but it's it's one of the um game fuel sponsored ones 
So I have to go buy game fuel tomorrow to do the bounty. <laughs> so we haven't had one of those in a long time. That's right. Oh, Davy's dead. Sorry, Davy. Sorry, Davy. Oh, I need this research done. has gotten longer oh that clip might have been like right after i got a haircut but i just got it cut actually just the other yesterday i got my haircut yesterday funny you paid us back <laughs> we did for the whole timer oh you resurrected the turtle does that mean he gets to stay up i mean it has to stay up Turtles never die. Go to their shell house and nap. Do you feel any good? You see everyone drinking it, but you're old school Gatorade and Red Bull kind of guy. Uh, so the one I had, it was the one they give me for those sponsored uh, segments of the stream yoga. Uh, they're the ones that already come in the can. It's not like the mixed stuff. So I've never tried the ones that you actually mix, but the Mountain Dew game fuel that we had in the can, we had one of those sponsored streams maybe six months ago and they sent me like one of six different kinds. And I don't really like energy drinks very much, but a couple of them tasted pretty good and didn't have that, like, energy drink aftertaste that a lot of them do. Uh, I really liked the tropical one. Uh, the blue one was all right, too. I don't really like Mountain Dew very much, so the actual Mountain Dew one I didn't care for that much. Um, the red one was pretty good. Just name them by colors, like Gatorade. So the yellow one was my, my, uh, my favorite, and then the blue and the red were fine, too. But I didn't really like the Mountain Dew or the... Whatever the other ones were. You're a hippie. It's like a jerk face gorilla. Look like a hippie. What's he talking about? My hair is like half inch on the sides and inch and a half on the top. Freaking hippie. Why don't you get a crew cut like a real, like a real man? <laughs> Which sounds, fuel sounds kind of odd. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it didn't taste. So the thing about the G Fuel in the can, it didn't taste like an energy drink. So if you actually like the energy drink kind of thing, that tastes like that taurine and stuff, you don't really get that aftertaste in general. Um, which can be a benefit for some people. And, you know, some people that like that, they probably wouldn't. He's jealous because he has no hair. Ah, I see. All his hair left his head long ago and migrated to his back, probably. <laughs> Fixing pre-workout into your... Bang into your coffee. Gotcha. Got that right. Starbucks Nitro is where it's at. Transport pod crash. That sounded really close. Buffy. Slow poke and very neurotic. So slow poke is a movement speed, not a work speed. They can fight. Very neurotic can be annoying. Oh uh, God, why can't you do planting? I mean, you can. We need bodies though. We just need bodies. So screw it. Who's nearby? Chuck. Actually, you're too slow, Chuck. I have R squared to rescue them. Grabs carbs. Almost got into a fist fight, old guy at the gas station. Just make sure if that happens, you record it. Get all kinds of internet karma. Almost clocked him one. Sorry, Luth. Inner 
Other cluster has landed not far away. There's a climate adjuster. Uh, shifting the region's temperature by 18, and there's a mech cluster. The mech cluster will remain until they send a team to attack and destroy it. Oh my god. Decided to call you. On you. Uh, I can guess. I, I bet I can guess what it was, but yeah. So, normally, we can just move away. I wanted to, but we're not supposed to in this challenge. Uh, yeah, if it makes it hotter, awesome, but I think it usually cools things. We can't, we can't deal with this at the moment, so we're just gonna have to live through it. Uh, if it makes it warmer, fantastic. So far, it doesn't look like it started to impact us. Yeah, we'll, think, we'll keep an eye on it. If it warms it up, fine. We can grow year-round then. <laughs> it's good for us. This is only a 30-day growing map, so with that, we should be able to go all the time, not really worry about cold snap stuff. Chuck, what's wrong with you? Rebuffed by trees. Chuck, trees is already in a relationship with Sammy. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. All right, you're in a coma. Home wrecker. Wait, where is Ch Chuck's bed? Is here, so he lays here and watches them do the dirty deed. And he's like, "I can do better than sit me." That's gross, Chuck. Home wrecker. All right, we gotta get this done. Uh, so what's going on here? Severics eight off meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me press rec room. Uh, we're starting to get the barracks up a little bit. Is that decent? Oh, I forgot to uh, close Steam notification things. There we go. Hmm. I guess we figured out the answer to the question. What's up, Chuck? Be careful. Don't ask Chuck that. He'll show you what's up. He'll show you. It looks like they're increasing the temperature, but it's hard to tell. And it says permanent summer, which is interesting. So Trees and Sammy are getting married, which is awesome. They're going to be super happy for a long time unless they get broken up. Hopefully doesn't happen. Hopefully does not happen. All right. You might up Chuck. <laughs> Too much ham. Mm, ham. Can't wait until Thanksgiving dinner. It's gonna be awesome. I don't know. It's like you eat ham anytime. There's just something different about it. One of those indoor grills waited two years for this game you're hooked yeah it's really good it's really good Oscar's hiding in his room of a poor mood 
Well, your room is everyone else's room, so good luck hiding. Good luck with that, R-squared. I'm hiding! <laughs> Grilled ham whenever. Mm. Come on, R-squared. Get over it. Let's bond over our haircuts. Aww. He's standing at the end of the bed while Trees and Sammy are getting it on. R squared. <laughs> I know you're having a tough time, but it's a weird way to make yourself uh, happy. Maybe it's not that weird. Tiffany looks good. Awkward. Hey, Turkey. I don't really like Turkey very much either. Day in kindergarten, we ate all the sausage off of other kids' plates and got back to classroom and bark. Oh, I have a story like that too. A story like that too. In first grade. In first grade, um, I felt really sick on the bus and stuff like that. And as soon as I got to school, we were in like the gym because that's where everyone goes when they get off the bus till the bell rings and you go to class, right? So we're, we're getting into the gym or whatever in the bleachers and I'm feeling really sick, uh, not feeling well at all. And I tell the person that's in the gym and they're like, uh, they don't believe me. I have no idea why, but they're like, no, you can't call home. You just got here, something along those lines. And so I go in uh, to class and uh, I'm like the last one getting in there because I'm, I'm not feeling well, I'm going slow. And I walk in and I, the teacher's desk is like flush with a door, right? So I walk in and I walk, I'm, I'm about to turn to go and I'm at the teacher's desk and I, I feel it. I'm like, I, this is not, I can't, can't do anything about it. Well, I'm only in first grade, obviously. Anyway, the teacher asked me something like, are you okay? And immediately, immediately fruity pebbles everywhere, all over the place. Fruity pebbles and milk everywhere right in the front right in front of the whole class fruity pebbles i can very specifically remember it yep that happens so colorful so yeah different than your uh, sausage sausage story but around the same time wait how old are you again Davey? aren't you like 31 or something do I still like Fruity Pebbles? Yeah, I do. Weirdly. But not Beefaroni. You've heard that story too. Proud moments. Say first or second grade, threw up in the school bus. Oh, just it was getting underway on the way home. Hey, Spaz, welcome in. It's been a little bit, Spaz. Can't during the week anymore with a new job. It sucks, man. Yeah, I was wondering where you and you and your demon had been. I don't know if Demon's been watching. If she has, she's been quiet. Proud moments. Uh, 31, I was right. That's right. Alright. Uh I gotta start growing again. You come before the migraine. 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. Sunday through Thursday, gotcha. What you gonna do with your days off this uh this week? Just chilling? Playing anything? One of our dogs had a heart attack? Wow. That sucks. Cat, our eight-year-old uh, male Labrador retriever, had a heart attack. Didn't die from it, but they do have a uh, heart condition now. And so they will keep having those until they eventually die over time. Happen where a teacher wouldn't believe you in the middle of her teaching math, calmly stood up, walked to the trash can in front of the class, and threw up. Grabbed tissue and cleaned up, walked back to the desk, sat there stunned. Heard the teacher until they called the principal to come get you. It's ridiculous, man. What grade do you think that was, Cogkin? Royal Tribute Collector. They might take this out. I think, yeah, they're going to be in range. Most likely. So as long as these mechs don't miss their attacks. Oh, really? 
Oh, oh. As long as the mechs don't miss, they're about to get destroyed in third. Even remember the name, Mrs. Kids class. Oh, uh, the cat, or I mean the dog named Cat died from the heart attack. Sorry, cat. We were trying to deal or uh, tend to you, but. Spawn Empire. Take it out. Uh, we need to go destroy that uh, while they're here. That way, if we have another raid while someone's away from home, hopefully we can have the Empire help too. Let's see in class. Teacher got mad at you. Poor puppy died of a heart attack. Oh my god, and one of the one of the pups is actually sleeping on the corpse. It's sad. Wait, that's their dad. Sharknado. Your daddy dog is dead, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, they're so slow. We just have to melee it, but what if they actually get uh shooting experience from this? They do not. So. God, Sammy, why are you so slow? Oh, you have a peg leg, right? Right. You know what? Just go home, Sammy. Sorry. Max, we're inside the ship until you hit it. Oh, yes, I very much remember. I remember Narth punching the ship because I thought we had we had finished it the day before. Sending you following messages so hard now. I know. I know. I've started doing it again, though. I try to do it right before the stream, too. Like, I, I do it because I appreciate the follows. Like, it wasn't... When I started doing it, it wasn't, like, a marketing tactic or whatever to try to get people back. It's literally, like, thanking them. Uh, but as I've done it more and more, I still appreciate it and thank those people. But I also... Um, realize that some people do come back because of it. So I've been timing it and doing it before my stream when I can. Uh, so the person maybe gets, the person gets a reminder about the stream the very next day after following right before I go live again. Your plus for seven, yeah, yeah. First streamer ever, CEO Whisper because of it. Yeah, yeah, that's what most people tell you when I whisper them. They say, they either think I'm a bot or they say, you're the only person that's ever done that. So. And then uh, Davey, Davey stole that and does it now too. You do it when you're live usually? Yeah, because you're live all the time, huh? And you're not like on video or talking or anything. Hard to be unique. All right, we really need all that done. That'll do. Uh, Protoss, 1991. Protoss, thank you for the follow. Very much appreciated. Welcome in. As soon as I did, it was nice. Yeah, I figured you were surprised because you were like, oh, uh, no problem. You're gonna come back regardless though. Thank you, Mill. You're just coming back. Steal it from me. It's all right. It's all right. Why are you recreation starved? <sighs> he has a bad back. Uh, it reduces movement a lot. He has 20% movement. Crazy. We gotta get a bionic spine for this man sometime. So he literally is not getting to their place to recreate because he's uh, so slow. Crazy, crazy. Turn 
Turn me into a good mood potato? Oh my lord. That was one of the cruelest things I've done in RimWorlds. <laughs> I mean, is it cruel though? Because they're super friggin' happy when you do that. Another Virtue Reezy. Like the game you're playing? <laughs> so he learned from you? Thank you, Davey. Yeah, yeah, I remember that you came from Starbit stream. So did, uh, uh, Hysteric. 23 people on, uh, those 23, only like 10 ish of them still stream regularly. Well, Milla, glad you guys found the stream. Glad you found the stream and then told Stumble about it. Uh,. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and remove this. I really want some more ponds, and I really, really want someone that can take over planting. Uh, it's been really annoying. Annoying not to have any of that. Everyone just focus on planting. Good enough. Speaking of, I gotta force him to plant after this. Harvesting? No, we really need this planted. You're the favorite. A gift from the Empire of God. For glitterol medicine. Why, thanks. Turtles and chills. Thank you for the sub to low five vibes. Uh, so when. Thank you, Davey. So when Lo-Fi Vibes followed last night for a second, I was like, wait a second, was that Davey's other channel where he streamed the ISS with music? I was like, I don't think so. I don't think it's Davey, but you never can tell. <laughs> uh, Lo-Fi, no more ads here for you. And then you can use all the emotes anywhere as well. Thank you, Davey. Because you love the name. Uh, I mean, you're you're not Davy, are you? I'm still not 100 convinced. Eat that rice. <laughs> I mean, you have so many accounts. No, I punched the full mech ship. Oh my lord. And then, and then we put out the fire with a mortar. That was just a crazy run. Feel like it mattered by whispering you, mentioning your comment about priorities. Oh yeah, and I mean, I do, I do. I know some people probably think I only message, like I said, to try to get people to come back. But like, honestly, I, I really appreciate people. Oh, there's so many streams. There's so many places for you to go and hang out. Uh, stick around, like. Coming to the stream and hanging out, lurking, whatever, and then following and then watching for hours or whatever. Like, that's, you know, time is a, the most valuable thing, right? So, spending time at the channel, I, I really appreciate it. What? You don't have a muffin? What are you doing? Oh, okay. Probably. Babies are being named Elton John or Ellie John because it's perpetually grumpy looking and fabulous. <laughs> baby rabbit. No, a real baby. My wife's looking at me like, what? No muffins on Friday the 13th. Time for the nightly noodling. <laughs> she was stealing my wallet. Which usually means bad things. Chill Empire and your All Empire will rise. Uh, Ray's been old. I shouldn't say anything because he was not. Oh, Tommy's up already. Tommy, you were supposed to be in a coma for 35 days. Yes. I didn't even see you stand up, Tommy. All right. Who's next in the naming queue? It's Hytala. Hytala, you are in. Welcome to the colony. This is going to be the the one, by the way. 
Uh, so Hytala, uh, I'm going to put you on researching for now so we can get through this crap. So also a new doctor, which is real nice. But you're going to primarily research. There we go. Have fun, Hytala. Yes, you cop turns off when he gets certain temp. Ugh. Well, I mean, the the good news is um, power supplies, you can get really good ones for relatively cheap. And I mean, you probably don't want to wait till, well, there's a lot of places having like month long Black Friday stuff. So you could probably pick up a really cheap one on New Egg. Good bit cheap. What? On mine? See me feel me touch me heal me. Room rub say. Join you in the bedroom again. Well, alright. Make sure you rub it in Stumble's face though. Usually people would say, don't tell your husband. But instead it's like, make sure you rub it in his face. He, he doesn't care. He's probably happy about it. He's like, alright, cool. You're occupied and play my game. <laughs> you have a literal fan plug into it, like a box fan. Uh, all right. I'm gonna turn myself off of primary research. Every night, when he goes to bed. <gasps> what a jerk. Comment this guy named Tommy who suddenly awakens. Uh, well, oh, what is the fighting on Hytella? So he's not really good at fighting at all, but we're gonna give him a weapon. <laughs> you still need a weapon. Um, you can have this normal rifle okay things in here are almost done i really need to start getting things planted again god desperately need someone else to deal with plants man and i'm not so sure that we need all this out here anymore so i think that's part of the problem i'm gonna go ahead and cancel these we'll still have all this harvested I should have just turned sewing off, honestly, but. Ah, uh, well. It is what it is. PSU, so you opened up. Check it out. PSU open. Case okay, also open. Run at 73. Oh, you saw Raider get gifted a sub at your stream? That's pretty cool. Yeah, there's that. There's the emote. What? I'm thinking about making a side stream called Tortoises and Chill. Uh, where it'll be a tortoise environment and it'll play just like heavy metal. You might say, heavy metal's not chill. Metalheads would say it is. Got raided by a single dog. <laughs> Use a turtle as a screensaver. It's pretty cool. Rock lizard and relax. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Rock lizard and relax. Ugh. Chill is opinion and perspective. That's right. State of mind. It really is. So the turtle thing, so Turtles and Chill, um, that's Davey, he used to have a different name, uh, <laughs> he used to have a different username, and uh, he streamed kind of variety of games like I do, and then he had the idea uh, to basically make a channel where it's a turtle tank that's 24-7, and it's just um, HD camera of a turtles and Koi swimming around in a tank while it plays really chill music, so... Like one of those channels that you see uh, or people like go to while they're studying or doing homework and things like that or just working. Um, and so that's this channel. Uh-huh. But seriously, don't go to this stream. This is, this is honestly the only stream on Twitch, my stream. Not totally enough for the Turtle Club. Oh my God. What's the name of that movie? Master of Disguise or something? 
Master of Disguise. All right, finally got our uh, biofuel thing built. We're going to flip the switch on that for now, though. We don't need it yet. That's your sub noise. Uh, keep it going. So who's on the crafting? It's Sammy. He really likes it, so I'm probably gonna keep him on there. Um, yeah, it's fine. Oh, I'll be so glad this research is done. Exotic goods trader. Is that our first exotic goods trader? We have plenty of steel for the um, for the geothermal too. Exotic goods. Do we get this brought up? Oh, we didn't get these brought in. We gotta bring these in so we can break them down. Break down those mechs. Don't want to leave any steel. Easy steel out there. All right, exotic goods. We'll see what they got. I mean, I kind of know what they have, but. Offload some of our crap onto them. We're selling a polar bear? <laughs> I don't have enough money for your polar bear. Uh, it's... I... It's really tempting to sell incendiary shells. They're not as good. I mean, they're fine against sieges, though. Not as good. We can sell that kidney, but I kind of want to hold on to that, too. Kind of want the Psychic Sandy Lance, but we also don't have enough money. <laughs> like, kind of poor. Uh, hold on to the Plasteel. Tim to sell the Glitter World Medicine, but it's nice to have some in stock in case we have a really bad infection. So, honestly, I think we're just going to sell them a few incendiary shells. That's it. Drop off. We now have a bad ram stick. Mm. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was I, Ram. Is, I mean, it, it would suck either way, but at least Ram isn't as expensive as it was like a year ago when it was like maybe less than a year ago when it was everything was super overpriced. But yeah, hopefully that's not the case. Two pawns tried to come on to each other and rebuffed each other. Stupid pawns. Why can't they all just get married and have super high mood all the time? So I need to turn the machining table back on. Get those mechs broken down. Connie's calling. You'll be back. Have a good stream. Yeah, Yoga. Thank you for uh, stopping in, following. Good luck with your game. Uh, we'll be here. We'll be here. I need to start having the, those stored over here as well. Corpses, mechanoid corpses, turned on. Over here, we'll turn them off. Use ram was a lot. Sixty gigs is almost unheard of. Paid fifteen hundred. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Yeah. Same thing with like hard drive space. It's like what? I'll never need a terabyte of space. How could you ever have enough stuff on a computer to? Terabyte, holy crap. The eight year old glitter world surgeon is calling from nearby. She's hiding from enemies. Her enemies will set up a site nearby to harass us with a climate adjusting machine. Temperature by 18. Uh, <laughs> in which direction? So we have a climate adjuster already on us somewhere else. And it's making our map warm enough that we can grow all year long. <laughs> so if this one makes it even warmer or evens it out, I would accept it. But uh, no, I'm not going to. Kingston's 100 for 32 gigs last year. That's not bad at all. 56 hours. Sucks from goofed. For 800 hours stream straight. Wait, I thought uh, Twitch cut it after a certain number of hours. You mean, though, that OBS was running that long? Just not. Just connected to Twitch 99.9% .9 of the time. How's it going? Swifty, welcome back. Old room at home. That was 1,256 megabyte. Oh, man. Yeah, they get disconnected at 48, but OBS auto reconnects. Gotcha.
tattered apparel. So we need to fix this. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to assign. And I need to put these back. Uh, I need to fix this, so. Finish outfits, we're gonna select. Uh, actually, we're gonna make a new one. For now, we're just gonna make a range one because we don't really have any melee. So for our range, we don't want them to wear tattered apparel and we don't want them to wear shield belts. And we want it to be at 51% or better. Uh, actually, let's go 52, just a little cushion for battle and normal or better. And then I'm going to set this for everyone. Uh... Also, in that clothing area, I'm going to stop having them forced to wear. Uh, that was back when uh, we had we were just naked all the time. So this might make a few people naked temporarily. That's all right. That's all right. All right, we're starting to actually grow things back again, which is good. Uh, we'll deal with that. It's not urgent. Sure, you're reading my why it's uh, 32 terabytes of hard drives in the PC. Oh, geothermal. Finally. Finally. All right. Oh, I keep clicking the wrong thing. Uh, we don't want them to roof it or else get really, really hot. And it's just kind of a waste in general. That'll do. That kind of opens up our little uh, tunnel that we had already planned. So let's get that done. Uh, what am I doing right now? Sewing psychoid plant. Okay. Finally starting to make some drugs. Spring's getting, getting really unhappy. I had to clear this work queue when he's done with that. Unfortunately. Our creation deprived still. I need to really work on that. I think temporarily I'm going to redo the schedule. Uh, I really like the biphasic thing. But I'm going to redo it for a moment. Just so we get back on track, and I gotta stop. So one of the, one of the problems with having it like I did, also is uh, if we force them to do stuff, uh, and we skip one of those little segments of their recreation or sleep, it'd be really detrimental. So happy we're gonna have geothermal. Holy crap. What a change this will make. Then we can get rid of the battery, we can get rid of the windmill thing. Turbine. And under back. Um everyone inside. Close this. Uh, animals get inside. So we don't know what it is yet. So we just need to prepare like it's the end of the world. Manhunter. Oh my God. It's 58 squirrels. And I didn't put a door down here yet. Oh, we don't have time. So that, that might just take all of our traps out. We're gonna be stuck inside for a little while. Uh, so inside, we have that all set up already. Yeah, we're good. That's a lot of squirrels. How's it going, Blake? That's nuts. Look at him. 
The squirrels are 40 pounds each. We're so close to getting geothermal up. I need to put a door there so we can shut it, this whole area off when this happens, but. Oh well. We'll stay inside for a little while. Need landmines for squirrels now. Good lord, look at all that mess. Good news is if a raid comes right now, they're screwed. Bad news is if we had a siege, <laughs> we couldn't use our mortar. Uh... How's it going, Ashen? Welcome in. Are you suck heroing today? You face the the ogre any more times? Was that one of the manhunter ones? No. It's like, are they already starting to get tired? I'm still stuck on him. No shame in that. You'll eventually get it. There's going to be a lot, a lot harder things, but uh, you work your way up to it, you know. So luckily we'll get a lot of research done here. This we need a Jade Palace. Yeah. Yeah. I'm planning for Jade. A prisoner, a yeoman has been caught in bed. Blood rot required daily treatment. Fortunately, he's going to summon eight centipedes, three lancers, and one pikeman. Uh, no. We do not even have EMPs yet. I actually need to get to EMPs. I wasn't even, uh, wasn't even thinking about it. Okay. We're working on it. Okay, see so what we are you talking about? There's one that gives you stealth. It makes you, like, when you use it, it turns him semi-invisible. Things can still see you if you're really close to them and whatnot. Uh, but there's one that makes you more stealth. I can't remember the name of it. If anyone's super f familiar with Sekiro and knows the consumable item that makes you uh, more stealthy. You know, the Squirrel Nation army. Quite a bit of them have died on our traps, but I mean, it's still too many for us to deal with with what we have. I have a squirrel army. Yeah. I don't even think that 43 squirrels can take out eight centipedes plus more stuff. <laughs> Under siege by squirrels? Yeah, don't worry. There's only like 43 left. 45, excuse me. But your beds like that just cause the difficulty. You usually make it run their own. So there's some benefits in a barracks chef. So this is a good time to talk about it, I guess, since I can't really do much else. So basically, uh, if you make everyone their own bedrooms, it's easier to keep them happier, but it takes up a lot more space and it also take, gives a lot of wealth. And so baseline, the game uses wealth in, as one of the main factors when it gives points to an event. So what that means, is the more wealth you have, the bigger raids are. And so with more bedrooms, that adds more wealth. Now with the barracks, you can get the barracks to actually a positive mood buff as well. And you can combine their sleeping, recreation, and dining all in the same area. And doing that, they'll actually get a mood boost from the uh, really good barracks. Even though it's not as much as having their own bedroom, it'll be like a plus one is a, is a reasonable one to get to. Plus, they'll have uh, a very impressive dining room, very impressive rec room. So they'll have all those boosts just from one big room that's way less wealth than if you had tons of bedrooms. So that's why I do it. Later on in this playthrough, we might switch over, but I usually use uh, a barracks for most of the uh, the early to mid game. Hopefully that makes sense, Jeff. I can explain it uh, more if you have any questions about it, by all means. 
Are we better? Oh yeah, no worries, Ash. Use it. Yeah, I can't remember the name of it. Interrupted sleep. Uh, they made it not as bad, Sin. So it used to be uh, that it like stacked almost indefinitely. But uh, yeah, the interrupted sleep is like a minus three. But because you have such a mood boost from a good barracks, ends up not being a big deal. Now that we don't get raids this on wealth, yeah, I will, but it's, I, that's why I said in this playthrough, I will convert it to single rooms, but not yet, because I'm working towards defense mainly, and I don't want to spend a ton of time making uh, rooms, and it would take up more space at the moment. Yeah, no problem. Too lazy to make rooms, so. Yeah, we're still in no wealth, so eventually we'll have individual rooms. have uh on restlessness i don't think so i think it's just a mood thing i think restlessness is mainly uh due to or mainly with comfort like the beds they're using and they have a nightstand and dresser and that sort of thing but never get there keep dying do you want me to keep dying you just want the playthrough to go forever probably friggin squirrels still 45 of them I can't even go over here to get our uh, stuff to make like another research bench during this I mean we can technically lead some more through here but I'd just rather not waste traps eventually they'll get tired Nettle soup with potatoes. I had too much potatoes, so it's really more like potato soup with nettle. <laughs> Realistic, Psh, we got this. Some of the squirrels bitter, they're all bitter. <laughs> yeah, wasted traps are wasting quite a few of them. Almost all of them are outside the walls now though. I'm tempted to fight them. I'm tempted to fight the ones that are here. Oh, they're starting to fall asleep. That's good. There we go. It's almost over. It's almost over. So as they fall asleep, they'll still, when they wake up, they'll still be manhunters. So if they're out, if you're out near them, they'll still fight you. Uh, that's been changed too. They used to not. They used to just become normal animals. And they'll start migrating off the map. Tomorrow or get off share. I know you're talking about it, yeah. Like a staples. Thank you, Raider. That beautiful nutrient paste. How's it going, Pyro? Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, we'll switch off nutrient paste eventually in this playthrough as well. Alright. So, we're going to let people go outside of here, but still stay in the walls. Well, it's like early game. It's like early game again. It took way more damage in the early game. When we just had a log, I was beating them to death with a log without taking damage. I was naked. That was the same playthrough. Oh, medicine, yeah. Box. Yeah, yeah, I am. I was trying to see if there was any more uh, scrolls out. We need to uh, get a, a door here and we'll hold it open for now. And then I need to get the geothermal up too. So. So what happened here? Just scratches, bruises. We'll be up really soon. All right. So R squared. We're buffed by trees. Why is everyone? Is trees like beautiful or something? No. What? They're abrasive. Why is everyone coming on to trees? Hang on. Is trees the only female? Uh oh. 
that's why. <laughs> Trace is the only girl in the colony. So everyone's coming on to her, even though she's already in a relationship. And they're getting really upset that she won't sleep with them. Uh, door in the hall instead. Um, I thought they fixed it where uh, open door doesn't give cover anymore. Didn't they fix it? I thought I remember them fixing it. I thought I remembered a patch note about it. Yeah, I don't know. Cumberdong, welcome in. <laughs> There's probably a mod for that. Agarthan. Agarthan, welcome in. It's probably Agarthan. Either way, if I'm butchering anyone's name, just let me know. But welcome in. There's a mod for that. Cumberdong, thank you for the follow. Good name, by the way. Good strong family name. <laughs> like it's a real last name or something. How do you know that is my real last name? Uh, all right. Just let them finish their sleep for tonight. Tomorrow. It's traditional. <laughs> ah, yes. The traditional Cumberdong. Uh, my character's actually really in, in fine shape. So let's go ahead. Uh, I think most of the squirrels are dealt with. So we can go set, ahead and switch to work zone and then come out here and get this done. Just gotta make sure we hold it open. He's done with it or else uh, it'll make raids all act as sappers. This is just a door that we can close and we need to. Oh, Kimisabi, I was wondering about that. Yeah, yeah, I thought about that earlier, actually. You got the job? Congrats, Kimisabi. What do you start? Monday? That soon? Uh, congrats, Kimisabi. It's awesome, man. Uh, for brand for like 150. Looking at staples, brand was emerged. Yeah, I don't know those at all. I really only know the really uh, popular, expensive ones. And I know the one that, that I have. This is the only one I've used. Fully healed. All right. We're also in good shape, so let's go get this done. Joe started on March. That's crazy, man. Wow. That's going to be. <laughs> it's going to be terrible waiting that long. But I mean, it'll come before we know it, right? Like, it'll be here and it'll be like the wait never happened, but Deering, it's... Ugh. Clips, that's all right. Oh, okay. Wanderer joined. You better be good. It's a woman. <laughs> 24 year old lazy, but kind. Uh, lazy's not good. Low, but kind is good. Kind's almost like a mood boost for everyone. And she can fight. And she has no health issues, so. And we can strap her to a research bench. All right. Welcome to the colony. Let's see who uh, is next in our naming queue. It's Reezy. Uh oh, Reezy. Get ready to get hit on. All right. Breezy. Set all these. Uh, you're also good at social, so you'll be our new warden primary and then research secondary. Um, if there's nothing else to do, you can clean and haul. Uh, and that means trees I can actually bring off researching, even though they're at 15. I should probably just add another research bench. That's what I'll do. Nice. Lazy confirms. Work. Be the first to 
screw it. It's pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. I was hoping they could do planting, but it's all right. That's all right. Oh, we're about to have geothermal. At last. Yes. It has been done. We can get rid of this crap. I keep an eye on food here. Blair for the stream. Hey, Irish. Welcome in. Welcome in. Was that the sound of a a steam message? I thought I'd turn steam back to Oh, it was probably Discord. Oh well, I can wait. I can wait. New co-op game to play. Think about getting a dying light to play together or GTFO. I've never played GTFO. Long history of good experiences with Ke Kellyunes. I don't know how you would pronounce the name in real world. Really, this was not super bad. No named Dragon Child. They may have messaged you. Oh. Oh. Zero skills. Is it super important? Can I check it after stream, or is it like check it now or else? Gone. Old man on the title screen. <laughs> Someone the other night was just talking about how much they loved him. We could do her. Oh, okay. I'll check after then. You looked at yours also. <laughs> uh, we gotta get the those traps back up. Squirrels have got a lot of traps. Got a lot of traps. All right, Reezy. So you're not terrible, you know. Bio coded. Uh. Bio-coded, jeez. Bio-coded. Well, I guess you're going to temporarily have a sniper rifle, even though... Oh, wait, that's bio-coded too, wasn't it? I guess we'll make you a gun, then. That's what you like, dear? You're not terrible? <laughs> Better than I tell most people. Oh yeah, I forgot Chuck Nasty looks like he's got the whole uh, uh, George Washington thing going on. Uh, let's do until we have one simple helmet, 51% or better. Normal. Weapons of steel? Yeah, yeah, I know. I was talking about that earlier. I just haven't gotten set up yet. Yeah. We'll get it. We'll get them smelted. All right, you know what? That's enough rice for right now. We need some wood for these traps. Panitas, pork, you're selling burgers. Pseudo sloppy joe style burgers. Sounds good to me. Ashen, they will work. Yeah, have a good night, Ashen. Recreate her and prepare carefully so you could use her every time. Military starship captain. Came into your tribal colony of sewers on our tell. So what was our uh our background? Ours was a mid-world cadet warship captain, but not great, not a great role on uh, on stats. Not a great role on traits either, but uh, Reezy's a non-terrible, and they have a body that can be used as a meat shield, and they can hold a weapon. Good enough for me, for now. Dude, that was the same name too. Yeah, so... 
before RimWorld uh, hit full release, you actually pay a very little bit more money on Steam. I wish I had done so. And you can get uh, a character, you can name a character. And so people that did that would got their name in there and it rolls as a, a like, I think they could pick jobs at a certain tier as well that they had or something like that. But anyway, uh, I can appear in anyone's game. That's also why there's no mods to add characters like that. Not with the same stuff for in the game, I think, or make it so that random ones appear. I mean, there's mods where you can have additional... Just like when you play the normal games, that you do the extra, like, the relationships or people that can show up and be in the world, you can do that, but not it's not quite the same. One of the lower roles you've seen for the character is usually a solid colonist. Oh, microelectronics is done. So happy. So happy. I feel happy. Flak armor. Get plate armor first. Uh, miscellaneous. Comms console. Orbital trade beacon. Times two. Oh, so nice. Needs to be another gun to fight? Absolutely. Change people's faction into a new one, though. Steiner is a clan in Mech Warrior, which goes nicely with the cadet captain backgrounds. So wonder if that's what the user submitted is thinking. Yeah, maybe. Soldiers just needs to have HP so that they get shot at instead of your good soldiers, yeah. That's what rookies are for. And then edit the name list for the new faction. Gotcha. Time to buy slaves. Yes, we need money to buy slaves. Is there gold somewhere? Is there gold in any of these here hills? There might be inside of them. But I'm looking for easy access gold. Our last map had some easy access to gold. I think it was the last one. One of the other ones. Look at those components down there. Ever travel off the base square? Yeah, but in this challenge, we're not doing that on purpose. Uh, we can caravan, but we're not going to set up a different colony. We're not going to have multiple colonies or move this one. But yeah, I like playing with multiple colonies. Um, we will caravan around maybe to trade or attack or something like that. But our main colony has to survive on the random map that we hit for 20 years. This is the kind of thing right now. How's it going? Flooding? Welcome back, by the way. Okay. Getting things done. Full action's done, so we can give that to Reezy. That way you can shoot some fools. Where'd you put that? Which one was it? Uh, there it is. There. Uh, Nico. Thank you for the follow, Nico. Welcome in. Your favorite number is 17765. Why? Why is this? All right, now we can start getting uh, oral trades. Did you share that? <laughs> My daughter's favorite number is six trillion. I have no idea why. It's always been that way too. Ever since she learned that trillion was a thing, six trillion. Transition that know what that number means. Hmm. Good shooting, doctoring, social research. God, you just got so much, such a better role than my version three. Kind teetotaler with anxiety. It's the right mix of super soldier and cinnamon roll. 
Okay. Uh, so we have the geothermal. I. How much excess power? Okay. Okay. I need to break these down and see where our excess power is at. Down there. Uh, so our excess power. We'll say it's gonna be around two thousand most of the time. Okay. So we need to get our sapper crap up. Um, security mini turret. I need to put one up here that reaches to about there. Okay. Then I need one in this corner. Um, and there, I think that will be good enough to at least get the beginnings of this done. So let's get that done. So I have signs at some point going to be in the midst of alien invasion, going to have to Enter some huge number somewhere, like the number of miles in the alien mothership away from Earth. Six trillion is going to be the answer. <laughs> There's a monster outside my window. Can I have a glass of water? I haven't seen that in a long time. Line of sight, it matters um, partially. So the line of sight, what I was trying to do there when I was uh, measuring this out, I'll try to show, is I, I don't want this area right here into here covered by a turret i want everywhere else covered by it aside from there and so i have these turrets set up to where the line of sight of the shot inside these current walls cover everywhere aside from here so it should make the sappers more likely to break through uh here or here which i'll have defense set up for i might want to move this one over a little bit No, I think it's okay. Um, and if I don't want them to break through this spot, I can even make another little box here and put one in. But it, it should work mostly. I'd like to have two of them because sometimes it'll be like, I know there's turrets all around here, but it's just too difficult to go all the way over here. So that's too much movement for me. I'm just going through this wall anyway. Don't care. What about storage? So because the storage is in a bedroom and this one has line of sight down this hallway here, uh, I'm thinking the this one will cover this area and so they won't want to break through here because they'll have to go through a turret. We'll see how that works. Um, it's kind of a temporary one until I get the, the real outer wall done, but that's going to take us a little while. Play a lone survivor in the deep snow. It'd be a fun to play. You can do that. Yeah, you don't even need a mod for that. Uh, Naked Brutality or even Rich, uh, Rich, what is it? Explorer, the Rich Explorer. Either one of those you start out with one person and you can choose uh, a, a cold map. You can even choose like sea ice where the average temperature is like negative 80. The Elon Musk simulator. <laughs> Let's go on Z7, welcome in. Sleep early for the weekend. You got surgery in the morning. Man. Lunar. Good luck. It's good luck me sound like they're... I'm sure it'll be fine. Lunar. Enjoy your surgery. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow when you're like super drugged up. That should be fun. Have a good night, Luna. Got your breakfast snack. What are you going to have this time? Bread and cheese again? So what's the quality of this now? Very impressive. Very impressive. So now we have um, very impressive barracks plus one, plus four for dining room, and plus five for the rec room. Just 
from them all being in here. Maybe some jam on top. Be that you'll at least be asleep for this one rather than the LASIK surgery, which you're waiting for, yeah. It's not so fun. All right, guys, I've been sitting here a while. I'm gonna use the restroom really quick. And then we got hours left. We got plenty of hours left. But I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. Uh, it's not fault. Pause is minimized. Well, obviously, I'm not going to let it play while I'm, like, not even at the computer. In the bathroom or in bed or something. Time stopped. The game did pause. How's it going, Neutral Field? Welcome in. Welcome in. Uh, so I need to get power up there to that one. I actually want to run power all the way up this. I might just go ahead and do it. It's going to take a lot more steel that way. Neutra field. Thank you for the follow, Neutra field. Much appreciated. Okay. Uh, we'll need power at that one too. I'll just go ahead and do this. I eventually want to do this anyway. Might as well just do it the right way the first time. Playing horseshoes, how's our recreation? It's fine, so let's get this done. R squared, you're also fine playing horseshoes. You are done with horseshoes, my friend. Phony. Really? Really? I didn't know that. I've never seen him go to the bathroom, so I just assume he doesn't use the restroom. But yeah, I mean, with my daughter and everything, like, um, my wife and my daughter were telling me something when I was out there, too. So, like, if they had needed me to do something, come back, it's just all gone. Mortared to bits when I was in the bathroom. <laughs> Next time. Uh, Syrian woke back. How's it going? Okay. Sowing rice, we're fine. Animal disease, the plague. That's pretty unfortunate. Fire at them? What's wrong with you, Sammy? Why do you even have that option? Why would you even say that? 
Going to fire at the dog? No. <laughs> dog gone it. The plague. I don't know. Randy has uh, really liked sieges and plagues this game. Sieges and diseases. He just likes things that rhyme ish. Harsh rhyme. Yeah, he's an old yelling the dog, yeah. Savage root. Arsweed, you are really doing this in a weird way. What in the world? He was doing one down here and then going up there and doing one. One down here, one up there. What a weird thing. What a strange way to do it, Arsweed. No, go ahead and finish it before we're attacked by something. <laughs> Look, what the? What? What are you doing? No, no, no. Back. All right, he's getting kind of upset, so I'll finish. I'll finish it. If you're bigger than normal, Matt, the game will break. Um, well, it, what it does is if you have a really big map, it can be harder on your computer, but what it really does is it can make some things harder and some things easier. And the main thing that it breaks is unit pathing. So when you have a really big map, it can really screw up, um, unit pathing. That's the big thing. It won't do things like change raid or event frequency or difficulty. The other thing that's harder in a big map is like before you have mortars, if you have a siege that sets up really far from your base, you usually can't get there. What up, dangers yet? I'm not, not yet, not on this map. Um, we do need to do that sometime. Right here is one of them. Uh, so if you get a siege or like a mech cluster that has a mortar really far away and you haven't gotten to your own mortars yet, it can be really difficult, sometimes impossible. There's other things, um, but then again, on like a small, a really small map, mech clusters are way closer to you. So you can sometimes, like we had that mech cluster at the beginning of the game that was right here and it could shell like if we were outside on the right side of our base. So there's some, um, some good things and bad things about both small and large maps. Right, because you don't trust drugged you not to try and fail horribly. That's a good idea. Sieges and diseases do go hand in hand. All right, uh, so we got that finished. So whoever wakes up first, me or R squared, will finish that, uh, the rest of that conduit. And then I gotta get these traps back. We gotta get a kill tunnel finished. Okay. Solar flare? Okay, it scared me a little bit. But then I heard the, the power going off, so. Hmm. I know in like a normal standard playthrough, we'd go for multi-analyzer and fabrication next, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab fire foam because it's a fast one. And then we'll try to get to uh, assault rifles or at least uh, heavy S SMG. Uh, gas, thank you for the follow gas. Welcome in, glad you found the stream. So the power's off uh, for a little bit. Thing. Yeah, I was thinking about uh, making a fueled stove for times like this, so I can just make a few meals. Uh, solar flares don't last a whole long time, but we'll just throw down a campfire really quick, make a few meals. Meal times four, do until we have, uh, how many people do we have? Seven, so we'll just do like 12. So we might as well do 16, huh? 
And we'll have our square do that. Raw food, food poisoning. We might still get food poisoning because it's in a dirty area. I could have just thrown this inside, I suppose. Or at least closer to here, but I just threw it down where our uh, builder was at the time. Oh, it's already over. Okay. Yeah. Got good. Doing all right on raw food. Definitely don't have a surplus though. Uh, so what am I working on? Harvesting oak tree? No, it's we're out of steel. Okay, so trees back on mining. Between cooked meal and cooked meal times four, tell you you've been wasting time doing cooked meal times one. Your big colonies, you have been wasting time. So they added the X4 thing to literally, it uses the same amount as cooking four individually, but they do it all at once. So they take all the materials for four meals and they cook all four at one time. So what I usually do is I usually set up a times four meal right here at the top and then a times one. That way, if we have enough materials to make four at a time, we'll do it. And if we don't, we'll make one at a time. Yeah, that's true. If there's a mineral breakdown, because it takes a uh, longer, it, it basically reduces travel time. That's what the X4 is basically for. It's going to require the same amount of work, but way less moving travel time. So you've been wasting a little bit of time. Yeah. Fire foam done. Okay, choose a mine tomorrow. Yeah, that's true too, yeah. With the food poison. What climate is this? It's temperate uh, forest. And it's usually a, this one is a 30 day growing period, but we actually have a mech cluster nearby that's increasing our temperature by like 18 degrees. So they they changed it to permanent summer <laughs> for us. It's kind of funny. Uh, so we're just gonna leave it there. There's a climate adjuster mech cluster just barely hitting our base and making it more comfortable. So yeah, temperate forest. Thanks, mechs. Oh yeah, no. No problem, neutral field. Yeah, we can make double strand now, whereas before it was uh, not really feasible. All right, trees is getting that steel. Very good. I think I'm going to force her mine more tomorrow does that work in your seed or is that random the event it's just random yeah so we just had an event where mech set, set up a uh, temperature change thing so it can happen in uh in any seed trees i want you to mine more of this before you go I'll keep an eye on your needs. I will determine. I'll tell you when you're done here. I'm also going to draft her when she's done. So she doesn't, if she's, is she carrying a meal? No, she's not carrying a meal. So we can just cancel when she's done. Uh, so I'll let her do this last one here, and then we'll let her go back. Okay. Uh, she probably carries this. Uh, there's people coming to get it. Sorry. 
Alright, my character's up. Building wooden stool, we're at... Okay, let him finish those. And then... No, it's fine. We gotta get this done, and we got Oh, EMPs. We really need at least two EMPs. Um, make EMP grenade times two. Clicking the wrong thing. Shelf. Well, that's nice. From the rim. Have a good night, Snowblind. They were hanging out so long. Ray spawns are in like clusters on the map. It's just random. We just haven't harvested it. Just haven't harvested it. It's kind of weird though. There's so many. But. Nothing. Nothing really impacting it. And the permanent summer is just letting them grow all year long. So. All right, uh, so we gotta get this up now. Just set that up better eventually, but for now it's fine. For now, it will, it will have to do. Um, I wanna get this done, we gotta get the MPs. Uh, then we gotta get fire foam down. Uh, we need to make this so these trees aren't here too. More traps down here. Okay. Get our turrets covered. I don't have a lot of them yet, but. Get off a meal. I might switch back over to food for super long. Also need to uh, decide where we're going to put our final outer walls. I'm thinking like 31 out from this. Um, maybe a little bit further. Ah, 31 should be fine. So let's do... If we make it that far, I don't know if we will, but if we do, this will be the ultimate goal is to get another wall system out here. Might as well go ahead and plan for it. Also need to find out where the next closest geothermal is, even if we don't want it right away. Okay, uh, next geothermal. Wow, that sucks. The next close geothermal is this one. And then that one. One of these masks we had recently when we were doing this challenge, there was three of them grouped right together. Games you're excited for that aren't released yet? Uh, the new God of War for PlayStation 5. God of War for PS4 was so good. Uh, Darkest Dungeon 2, of course. Um, I'm sure there's a lot. Those are probably my two most highly anticipated games, I would say. Also, there's been rumors that there's going to be a second Bloodborne. There has been rumors for a long time, but there was supposedly some semi-credible leaks about it. So we'll see. That'd be awesome, too. I really love Bloodborne. Uh, when these potatoes are done, I think I might switch. Bloodborne 2? Yeah, I hope so. I hope it's true. hope it's true. Trees mind that. All right.
No doggos pregnant yet. We only have one adult dog down. Darkest Dungeon 2? Yeah, yeah. They announced Darkest Dungeon 2 like two years ago, almost. Uh, and there was, they released a teaser trailer. You can do exclamation and just the number two if you want to see the original teaser trailer. And then there was no more word about it until about a month ago. And about a month ago, they finally released a second teaser trailer and said it'd be out uh, in 2021 as an epic exclusive for at least a year. So that's coming. But yeah, for anyone that didn't know, Darkest Dungeon was our kind of bread and butter game when the stream was just first getting its legs. It's where stream got popular. Uh, it used to average way more there than I, than I do at RimWorld now. Um, streamed it for over 2,000 hours, and I have two world records in Darkest Dungeon. Uh, if you're curious in seeing crazy Darkest Dungeon playthroughs, those are on my YouTube channel, including the world record one, the crazy one. The really crazy one. Eat without a table. Stupid meals. All right. Guess I should finally get this set up too. In fact, walk through speed for enemies. No, the only thing that's impacted by barricade type is like it can't actually improve in. Like you can't have a legendary barricade, but if you mean like the material, the only thing that changes for that is uh, the HP. Yeah, I was the first one to finish uh, zero death, zero light, all boss, all DLC, uh, tor whatever, torchless blood moon, yeah. Yeah. No deaths at all, not even on the final boss. That was, man, that was almost two years ago now. Crazy. Also, I had the record for beating the game on Blood Moon in the lowest number of weeks. 12 in-game weeks. Ash, they were sound back in. Have a good night, Ash. You knew you heard my voice before? That's awesome. That's me. Back when I had a much, much worse camera and stream settings and lights and things. So if you ever watch those videos, uh, I mean, it almost, almost does look like a different person, but yeah, no problem. Neutral field. And you can always see like, even before you build it, you can go to the info and see how much HP, but that's the main difference in types of barricades. Also the, um, the only difference now between barricades and sandbags, is the material used. Uh, and again, with different materials, it has different HP. So you want to try to use whatever has the most HP, the highest HP that you can use for barricades in the, in the base game, uh, from stone is granite. So it's good to have a granite map. Uh, back in 1.1, they rebalanced the HP on stones, though, and it's not as big of a gap anymore. But granted, it's still the better one. Unfinished EMP grenade. I want to get this done and the EMPs. In fact, I swear, can you work on this instead? Oh, what? It's not in the work area? Well, my bad. There you go, guys. I wonder why he wasn't working on this. Why am I growing, growing trees in the kill box? They're not trees, they're uh, drugs. So the reason I'm growing this is so that uh, instead of somewhere else, is so that trees don't grow. So psychoid plants and things like this are low profile. They don't cause cover for the enemies. Uh, and doing this on a long-ish growing plant will make it so I don't have to worry about trees sprouting up for cover for enemies um, until later on when I finally, you know, put something else in here to stop things from growing. So I like to grow things in the kill box uh, in areas where I don't want trees to grow. Welcome back, by the way, Max. Goes to Chibo, which you played a little bit of. 
Days Gone, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, when it's remastered. Extreme benefit to piling up lines of sandbags. Like if you have four rows of sandbags between me and the enemy. There is some, yeah. One sec. I think I will grab double string. Uh, there is some. I usually do two in front of everyone. So basically there is a... Um, the cover, the extra cover will help, but it's, it has like, I forget the percentage, but there's a fall off in how effective it is. Um, so I usually put two in front of them where they're going to be shooting from. That's why this extra line is here. Um, that seems to be a fit. Like the more you put, the more likely, depending on your weapons, that you're going to end up hitting some of it instead of the enemy. Um, but I haven't had any trouble with two. I know we tested it with like people laying down uh, out here, not in this map, but on a test map and having different amounts of cover. And I don't remember the math behind it because it's been months, but it seemed like having two ended up being the best sort of trade off. Hey, our first ship, bulk goods trader. Bulk goods, all right. We don't have a lot of bulk goods to trade them. They're selling Yorkies? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, we really don't have stuff to sell them. We sell all of our crappy clothes, so anything that's low quality or 51% or lower. Uh, T-shirts, that's okay right now. Especially now that the map's gotten warm. It's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. We'll pay you to take these things to... The Yorkies. I would take them as meat shields, but I, they wouldn't be allowed in the base. They'd be allowed in the base. Uh, only 346. That's okay. Throws. Yeah, yeah. That's what I. That's what I typically use. Uh, in like kill box setups and stuff. And I like using the walls as well uh, to stand behind in the meantime. So when people are standing back there and not firing, they have the cover of the wall. And the, the wall is actually a 70% or 75% cover effectiveness, whereas these are 57. I've returned. Uh, Udon, welcome back. You said every pronunciation was right. So you know, in they were coming back. How's it going, wizards? Nice base, yeah. We're we're live we're surviving. This is the same one from last night. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. Alright. Uh let's get a limestone door down there. I'm actually going to make that a wood door. Opens a lot faster. It's made. It makes colony survival go up by like 80%. Yeah. Yeah. I'm afraid the next raid is going to be uh, too big for even our starter kill box, though. Because our last event was like 58 angry animals. Uh, and if that had been raiders, we'd just have lost, probably. Pretty sure. Okay. There's our first EMP. So we want to set this... Clear all weapons, uh, grenades, uh, EMP. There we go. Also, want to make a dumping zone here. Instead of here. corpses so we want chunks put there I'm gonna set the range on this I just noticed our orbital beacon is not uh... there we go down up there doesn't have power to it
Okay. It's random mech drop last night. Yeah, the mech is dead. We had another siege tonight. It's dead. And then mainly animal attacks and um and diseases. Some guy, Liz viewers, and random events. Quickly crafted on his map. It was great. Yeah, the Twitch toolkit thing. I don't I don't really like it that much, so I don't usually use it, but It was fire you have there. It would be a shame if Raiders drop in there. Yeah. Maybe they'd set themselves on fire, though. Have a good night, Ashton. At the moment, the map is, uh, is problem-free. Whoops. Actually quiet. Yeah, I mean, this playthrough, he's been less quiet than a few of the other attempts that we did. So he just outright killed us. But uh, ever since that siege, and I mean the pack of 58 manhunting squirrels, he's been pretty quiet. Alright, our sword's finishing that off. Manhunter pack. Uh, I don't know who the closest person is, but... Someone get here and close that door. Schedule, uh, people stay inside. Animals get inside. What are they? Oh my god. Close the door, close the door. Who's first there? Did someone go through that door? Oh no! Trees! Trees dead. A dog went through that door. Pretty sure. A dog went through that one too. That sucks. That sucks. Trees is really important to the colony too. We just can't save her. There's just no way. We don't even have a melee pawn. All oh, because a d dog came through that door, man. Feels bad. Feels bad. And then trees ran this way instead of running with everyone else. Doom approaches. Trees is, is uh, in a relationship too. Uh, it's not a big deal that we lose them as a researcher, but they're... Uh, Sammy's going to be really upset for a long time if we lose them. Mander Deer, yeah. Yeah. There's still 60 something deer left, Jesus. Save the rest of your colonies, to be honest, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. I really wish we could get her, but there's just no way. In the playthrough, if they all die, do you restart? Uh, yeah. It, I mean, if we get beaten down enough in this one, we can't recover because it, we're not we're playing independent wealth mode. So the next raid will be harder than this. It'll absolutely be harder. Everyone will be harder than the last.
I wonder how many deer that we started with, because some of them have been downed already. Man, that one friggin' door. Ugh. Trees. Dead in 12 hours. Nothing to be done about it. Uh, so different map with normal mods. If you just pack a move with nothing, is the game easy again? Yeah, yeah, it'll go back. So you'll still have the wealth from whatever you take with you, and you'll still have the wealth of however valuable your colonists are. But uh, the wealth will, if you leave everything else behind, the wealth will kind of reset. Sergeant kill us. What do we do? Research, research, and research. Yep. Well, well, man, trees, trees. So we need the uh, high-tech research bench, so we can't build it right now, so I guess we'll grab prosthetics. So many deer. Bear essentials with you and then reset the mat well so you can keep farming research. You could, yeah. We're not going to in this because of, you know, what we're what we're doing or what we're trying to do, but... Surprise research is to add to the wells, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't doubt if they ended up doing that at some point. New GTA updates. A pack of 82 bison are hunting her. <laughs> uh, the bison won't fight the deer. They will join them. 82 bison. Let's go on, Scorpio. A jump pack. Uh, so it lets you jump over obstacles. Yeah, it was newly added. Run by manhunters. Yeah, we're fine. Aside from trees got down and we can't save them. So, I mean, there's a very small chance that they start passing out within nine hours, eight hours, and trees get cared for. Uh, what I'll do in case that ends up happening, I'm going to go ahead and put a sleeping spot right on top of them and change it to medical. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, make ER zone right here. They attack doors if someone's gone through it. So what happened is one of our dogs came through this door and even though the door shut behind the dogs, they saw it and there's so many of them that they basically just destroy the door instantly. Save them because you don't want to lose trees for the forest to seven hours. I don't think it's going to happen. So much blood. <laughs> Cultivating giant crickets? No. We got a really big red carpet outside for free. Man, things are up to the point where we can get attacked by 80 something bison. Dia, please go to bed. Uh, four hours. Three. That's it. We got our first uh, real colonist death. How far into this playthrough are we? 91 days. One to two Dark Sage answers? Yeah, man. Anytime. What do you need? Get your pets, Santa. <laughs> Can you add Randy here by saying he was being quiet? So, by the way, Orbital, welcome in. I meant to say that when I first saw you type earlier and didn't. One hour. 
Well, that's the end of that. They were mainly just researching and mining, so we need a new miner. And Sammy's gonna be real upset. They're engaged. Are those llamas? Uh, deer. Deer. All the intellect and they ran towards the manhunter pack. Yeah, it's because everyone else is going this right way. So they were like, oh, it's faster if I go up here. And I accidentally hit 3x, which is part of that. I could have maybe stopped her a little bit. So slight misclick too. And if I had only ran one person down here, but I didn't I didn't realize the dogs are far enough away from home that the deer would see them come through here. They're deer, yeah. yeah. Don't worry, there's only 40 left of the... 70, or whatever it was, 780. A raid! Why didn't you guys come just slightly earlier? All right, let's see who wins. Maximum in roster, you've got three good recruits to get. Bounty Hunter, Bonation. A Wanderer joins? What are you doing? What are you doing, Rocco? I don't know who you are, but don't come any closer. Oh my God. Bonation went to Quirin for the golds. Uh, I don't know what the rest of your setup is. I would typically, with that, go with Abomination or Bounty Hunter, depending on how far in the game I was. Bounty Hunter is a good all-around character. Do I still have the 82 Bison quest? I... No. What's going to win, the deer or the mechs? Hey, look, a new miner. He's trapped out here, though. Sheer force never to think so. Corn ship the deer will win. Can he make it to the storage? Oh, some of them are running. Can you make it to the storage? Then at least he can eat raw rice. In fact, uh, let's go ahead and make the ER zone in here. Clear this ER zone and set our new person to ER. Rocco. All right, Rocco, you live in there for a little bit. Don't have a breakdown. Oh, the deer are dominating. The deer are just destroying. Why are we dead? Uh, we got attacked by like 70 something deer and they saw a dog come through this door. So they ripped down the door and trees was out here on the way home and got downed and we've been pinned in with all these deer. A sleep spot. Uh, sleep spots only direct them where to sleep. So he'll sleep in here. Because he's just restricted to the zone. So he doesn't need a sleep spot. It doesn't like give them any bonus or anything. They changed the spoiler time. Uh, kind of. So that's the Scaria thing. So what they did. Whoops. They made it so manhunters aren't just free food in the late game anymore. Especially in the Arctic. So if you go to the game options, um, baseline in losing is fun. Manhunter animals, when they die, have an 82% to basically automatically rot, like insta rot. How hungry are the deer? They must be very hungry. <laughs> Rock is just rearranging things. All right, I guess I'll name him. pain. All right. Who's next in the queue? It's Vin. Vin, you are in. 
I'm really afraid he's gonna have a breakdown and then come out of there. They actually have the same basic setup as the person who died. Kind of crazy. Mining and research. So, uh, thanks, Randy. He just wanted to let us know that if, if he wanted to, he could kill someone. And then he replaced them. <laughs> They're trying to get massive? To an extent, yeah. Um... Bolt goods trader, it's a ship. So we can't trade to them. From there, yeah, yeah, we can do that too. Uh, they're selling chickens, which I'm tempted to get. Uh, if we're still, if the deer go away <laughs> and these people are still here, we'll buy some chickens. Joint clothes. You know, these deer aren't tired yet. Yo, we got 40 plus deer to sell. Come take them. <laughs> Just in our base. I was going lantern. All right, let me catch up. So on week 10, you're trying to do one or two show breakers for the abomination. Ditch one of the two crusaders for the antiquarian. Only grave to go for the bounty hunter. What do you say? Uh, without knowing much else, I'd probably take the bounty hunter over the grave rummer. He's really good. He's like all around a really good character. So, uh, and also you got to look at their uh, quirks and stuff too. Because if any of them have detrimental... Vin broke down. Vin broke down. He's dead. Don't open that door. We're all dead. Oh, that was so close. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, he may not be dead. <laughs> Maybe. Bye, my radius. Whole bunch of rotted deer corpses. Worth shots of. Uh Man, these deer are still not tired, they're still Hmm. Alpha blood. Mountain rescue. I'm a they will break through these wood doors so quickly that I'm not gonna do it. Close to starvation. Uh, no, they're nowhere near it. Nowhere near it. They so what they were doing is they were trying to come to this table during their food binge. Oh, the deer. Oh, okay. Yeah, it doesn't tell me. And a raid? They're gonna use sappers. Uh, 19 of them. 
They're probably gonna kill all the deer and then kill us. <laughs> Randy just wanted this colony dead, I guess. And we don't have uh, turrets up, so. Hopefully the deer win. That's all we can, all we can hope for. It's only 21 left though. Not just Void Storyteller. Yeah, this is Randy. This is Randy. Gosh, it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's possible, but we're doing really well. Probably saved one from dying. These two raids, maybe, maybe. I wish they were coming this way, but they're not. They're gonna burn through all this crap instead. No, what are you guys doing? What? Why are they sitting to? Why are they undraft? Oh, that sucked. So we were basically killed by the deer. Basically killed by the deer. Because a dog opened a door. <laughs> because a dog opened a door. Ugh. We could try to rebuild it with man in black. The odds of that are very, very slim. Cause a dog open a door. <laughs> Rob's bat remake. Uh, no, nah, we're not gonna do that in this one. Like we could have handled those raiders, no problem. Are we winning? Uh, yes. Stupid dogs open doors. Man. It's fine. This man in black has. There's no way the man in black can rebuild in time. 
with wealth independent mode, so. All right. Rebuild, rebuilding job. Let's put him in the fire. All right, man in black. Well, where are we at? Day 93. That door. A dog going through this door into the run. All right. Is the bathroom what happened? Uh, so basically what happened is we had a huge manhunting deer pack. I called all the animals inside. One of the do dogs is outside. The dog opened this door and came in. The door shut behind it, but there were so many deer that saw it that they broke down the door almost instantly. And then uh, we were hiding out from the deer. Uh, even though one of our colonists died, it looked like we were going to be fine. But as the deer started to die and leave, so there was only like 20 deer left, we got a big sapper raid. And the sappers came straight through the side. Uh, and the deer weren't enough to kill them. But because the sappers, like all of the sapper raid was already in our base, um, we couldn't really defend from it. So. Oh yeah, we had mechs before that too that wiped out some of the deer, yeah. Well. Deer number were weakened by the mechs and then they started to die and leave the map. Uh, as the event was ending or whatever, as they were stopping being manhunters. Sad. Give doggos jump packs. I think I should have just had the dogs all inside the walls only all the time, and they could just haul in the walls. So I had them set to where they could go outside the walls. That way they could go get uh, materials that were mined and whatnot. But... Um, I should probably micromanage the dogs more if we have them again in that scenario and only have them on the work zone when there's something specific that needs hold in. You think that dog even survived initially? Learn from it. <laughs> Got randied. Yeah, that was going so well too. That's all right. All right, let me stop the recording. Uh, and then we'll start a new one. That was the end of colony number four. How the man in black? We couldn't rebuild with just the man in black. So he couldn't come inside. He has asthma and uh, there's just no possible way to rebuild with him because of the wealth independent mode. If we were on normal wealth mode, you might could do it because our wealth would have dropped so far, but the next raid will be even harder. using raid mechanics well I, I did in this one but I didn't matter because the door got broken like we even had so if the deer hadn't happened the sapper raid would have came through here and we were set up for it with turrets and stuff but uh anyway there's a clip oh thank you let me uh, add that to a bot command Uh, and then we'll start a new run. Do we already have one? Okay. Last run enabled. There we go. He has arson in the name. Rise from the ashes. The blue oyster cult. It's burning for me. <laughs> uh, all right, so explanation last run should bring up that clip that sums up what happened in this one. Uh, okay. I'm going to check on something really quick. Uh, and then I'll be... There we go. Thank you. We'll be right back and we'll start a brand new run and we'll see what map we get. That was a decent map too.
That was a decent map. Alright, be right back. My wife and my daughter were asking me how we lost. <laughs> All right. Twenty years, twelve hundred days. Oh my god, that's crazy. The time was uh, the dog. No, I didn't. I I mentioned that the deer got in the door. I need to clarify. Done when I talk to them later. Say that song goes well. The end of that. Oh, the blue oyster thing. Yeah. All right, run number five. Maybe we'll actually get a mountain map. If we get a mountain map. Maybe I'll just make a mountain base right off the bat. <clears throat> All right. New recording. Run number five. Oh, okay. So, Naked Brutality, um, Randy Random, No Pause, Commitment Mode, Custom set to Losing is Fun, boosted to 500%, and Wealth, Independent 20 Year. Uh, it's part of the challenge to just do a random map. Just part of it. Yeah, we just click random and go straight with it. Hope you died well. You died in a fire with everyone else. So, I don't know if that's well or not. <laughs> I think you died in a fire. Either that or you got kidnapped. Thank you, police. Thank you, police. Uh, but yeah, as part of this, we just do random. We, I've been doing a random map for quite a long time. Just, I, I don't know, to add some flavor to it. Instead of playing a very similar map every time. Sometimes we get similar maps right in a row, though. Yeah, there you go, I squid. There's the culmination. It was a revenge of the puppy. It was for me uh, getting the ones killed. So we're going to do uh, 325 map and whatever we get. Here we go. 20 day growing period. Small hills, limestone, sandstone, marble. Uh, cold map. Not super cold, but. We're right near uh, a highway. Not really close to other people. All right. Reroll. It might not last long, but here we go. <clears throat> All right, we got our 2200 point pawn. <sighs> yeah. Is the alert ever coming? I see it in chat. 
don't know why the alert's not popping up, but Alaska, thank you for the subscription. Thank you, Alaska. I'll probably thank you again whenever it finally decides to go. Set at 325, I did, yeah. Yeah, Alaska, thank you for the subscription. Much love to Alaska. Got cold feet about this run. Uh, all right. Well, at least we we're gonna have wood again, so. Can't believe that last run ended that way. Friggin' deer. Dog going through a side door. Man. All right. Oh, animatory right next to us. That's going to change some things uh, if we get to that point. Okay, so. Rich soil right down there. Uh, there's a really good spot for kill tunnel, etc. Um, do we have any close by buildings? No, all the ruins are near the edge of the map. Crap. Crap. All right. Hey, I think it just popped up. Alaska, thank you again. <sighs> that rich soil is kind of way down there. Right here is an okay spot. At least temporarily. I really hate being near the edge of the map, but... Can we build a little hut up there before... We freeze to death and then go to a different map? Any berries nearby? There's no berries nearby? Vents keep warm too. Yeah, maybe it's not super cold yet. Uh, it should be decent temperature for like 20 days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we do on like frozen maps. Like first two things you meet Lee when starting one of these runs. One of these, I look for rich soil. Um, that's not close to the edge and generally uh, uh, ruins that I can get beside. So but yeah, the, the important thing is rich soil that's not near the edge of the map. It's kind of the First settlement thoughts. Uh, all right, so we're going to throw the fire inside this time. Then we want a uh, butcher spot. We'll do that outside. Uh, crafting spot here. Uh, recreation. Okay. Out in colony four, uh, right above you. Right above you. Thank you, Reezy. Let's go on Spark Bottoms. Welcome back. A dog killed us. A single dog. Kind of. Kind of. All right. Uh, that's probably good. This wall made. Basically gonna force him to get a shelter made the first night. 
If it was a much colder map, we would have built it around the geothermal and kept the doors open. Um, but this map has at least 20 days where it's an okay temperature, so take advantage of that and just make the structure right from the get-go. We're going to build the roof and the bed. So having a bed on night one is kind of crazy. Uh, we want to do cook simple meal times four, cook simple meal times one. Um, do until we have four. And then let's see. Do I have four? And then we'll pause at four until we're back at two. We got the flu within the first six hours. Oh, Randy. Six in-game like hours, like quarter to maybe half a day. We got the flu. All right. Well, is there any uh, medicinal herb? Oh, we got medicine, some clean floors. Oh, wait. Uh, jeez. Can you give me food poisoning now? It's only a 2% chance. Freaking Randy. Got a flu because I'm naked. Not how the flu works. <laughs> Let's go to Axum. I go bad. It doesn't matter if it's set to medical. The only thing is that we could right click and force him to rest until healed if it was medical, but just designate it medical doesn't make it like better for medical or anything. Increase healing. Uh, hospital bed increases healing. Setting it as medical doesn't. It's just a designator thing. It's kind of like how you can designate a sleeping spot. Designating a sleeping spot doesn't make it any like more comfortable or counting as any kind of bed. It just tells them where to where to do that. So a, just a normal bed set for medical. Um, basically just tells them where to go. Immunity's barely winning yet. Should have taken Molly went to that rave. <laughs> Close filter the virus from getting to your body. It's science. If you're naked, you're more likely to get the flu. <laughs> this is the run. Wouldn't that be crazy? I doubt it, but that would be awesome. Can't believe Randy gave us disease on day one. I even just mentioned that when we were uh, making guides and stuff, but when I was making a guide. I was telling the difference between storytellers. And I was like, Randy's the only one that can give you a disease on the first day. Yeah, not even a cool disease like Mechanites. Friggin' flu. Two point eight percent tin quality. Oh lord. It's the end of it. Yeah, this early on probably. Had a face typer. Only. Maybe I should just punch that cougar. We're super immune. We're barely winning still. <laughs> Cougar's waiting for us to die. Just walking back and forth outside the door. Go ahead and style. Fist fight with a cougar. Why, hello. There you go. Now you can see. What is that? There it is. There's the cougar. Hey, what are you doing with my finger? Want a handshake? I'm not taking you. 
No. The apex predator. That's Aries. That's Aries. You're on stream, Aries. There's at least like five people that see you. I don't know how many people are watching. I'm guessing at least five. Fearsome creature. Where'd you go? Aries, the apex predator. Does have a ring to it. Uh... Man, Aries, you got more people talking in chat than, like, the last hour all at once. Oh, man. We should be building stuff right now that we can't because we have the flu on the first day. Like, halfway into the day, we got the flu. That's a cold hand. <laughs> there are exactly five people. Thank you. Did it. I got to five people. Spending five or so talking. Oh, yeah. No worries. No worries. Lurking is very helpful. Mortal enemy of cucumbers. I don't know. He's just wandering around. Slept in the heat. Sick and hungry. There's two predators right outside the door waiting for me to die. Uh, uh, butcher creature do forever. You can also do this. You can like lower the radius of this a little bit, and then you, it'll just butcher things that are around as long as he's set for priority. And they have left. <sighs> yeah, I really don't think this is the run. Friggin' Randy. Disease on day one. Disease on day one. Here's the lady who carries the cat. Oh, how's it going, Mojo? Yeah, no worries. Cougar means, you know, like mountain lion here, but it also means like a older lady that tries to find young guys the camera did you see the kitty they left already she did hold him in front of the camera it was like a doomed run the moment they get hungry i know i know that's kind of what i was thinking all right how's it doing My daughter's still awake, even though she shouldn't be. She's going to sleep now, though, supposedly. I need to find uh, more medicinal herb. What art thou, herb? I know I saw some earlier. Is there any closer than that? Those ones aren't ready to be harvested. I have to go all the way over here. Uh, how's it going, Eddie? Is it Eddie two-toned or is it Eddie stoned? There's mods this game that would let you reenact the Martian? Probably. At the bar. Oh, the cougar thing? Yeah. Snatcher's mind or the thing. Uh, we're going to be hunted soon by these things. How's the flu going here? Uh, we're still beating it. We are beating it. Okay. 
Two tone, you have a rad farmer's tan. Serious. Need defense, yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, I'm gonna move that over one, actually. Like I did last time. Uh, is there any small critters around that I can beat to death? There's some rats and squirrels. They're not really close, though. Not really close, so... You're gonna have to wait. Uh, the only thing close are predators. So, kinda don't wanna bother those. So we're gonna have to live off berries for a little bit. So we're guarded by two turrets and a raider. We're not informed raider had a doomsday rocket, so... Right, so those are up to this. Um, is it? Yeah, I don't know. Like, if you could get him a load and melee him down, it might be all right. And then pick up the doomsday and use it on the turrets, but I don't know. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, we're beating it by like 10%, so we'll survive the flu, but the problem is it's really... I was just to waste a lot of time. Whole lot of time. All right. I'm gonna have you cut some trees, I'm sorry. We'll check your flu after you build like a couple things. Uh, it's 52. Yeah, so we're okay. It's gonna need to go eat again. Uh, there's not a lot. Not a lot. Tim did try to kill that cougar, but probably oh, eat that. Probably want at least another trap up before we do that. Hopefully, we can lead it to the trap if it comes to it. More food, man. I want to. I want to eat that cougar. Honestly, oh, retaliate run. Eight passions, great and artistic and social, but can't do either. Oh. <laughs> uh. All right, cougar. I want to take a shot at you. And if this run ends, maybe maybe that's for the best. Oh, he enraged right off the bat. <laughs> this is the run. I need to try leading to the traps, I suppose. <laughs> no, this is ridiculous. Yes! All right. Got him. What happened to me? Uh, I should probably take care of that. I still have the flu, too. Let us not forget. <laughs> Got him. Hey, Lewis. Welcome back. How's it going, Lewis? 
Everyone go. I'm guessing that deer raid was the beginning of the end. It really was, yeah. Exclamation last run will tell you more if you want flubbing. Uh, Praetor. Praetor. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in, Praetor. That just now popped up. I don't know why the alerts are being so slow. This was four minutes ago. Weird. Anyway, thank you, Praetor, if you're still here. All right. Um, need wood. Need wood. How's the flu going here? Ah, we're fine. Don't even worry about it. The flu. This is a pretty rough start. I'm telling you, one of the worst starts we've we've had on this challenge. Hundred percent. Maybe the worst, actually. The more I'm thinking about how crazy this has been. Is it finished? Yeah. Well, I kind of got the flu. Forgot about it. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, so let's see. Actually, needs are fine. Got some more wood. We're gonna we're gonna make this work. What is this game? It is RimWorld, colony management and survival game. Um. That's really good about kind of still telling its own organic stories about what's happening between your colonists and the environment and stuff. Covid flu. Uh, well, I'm talking about my character, so no, just the flu. All right. Yeah, not me. I would I would be streaming if I had bad flu or something. Probably. How does she store that extra meal it takes? Nature's pocket. Nature's pocket. Yeah, I have been Lewis. It's been a little while, huh? It's been a little while. Okay. Uh, we're doing okay. So we need to get this all up. Let's go ahead. Uh, need more, more, more wood. More wood. I mean, if this ends up being the run, that would be amazing. I really don't think a run starting this way can be the one that we win with our challenge setup, but it would be quite awesome if it was. <laughs> All right. So Patch just can't cook. About to have a stroke. <laughs> That's crazy, 11 out of 12. News Dark Dungeon 2, really surprised it's not out yet. Uh, they finally announced when it'll be out, Lewis. It'll be out next year in 2021. They didn't say when in 2021, but it will be out next year on the Epic Store as an Epic exclusive for at least the first year. So it'll be out next year sometime. As an Epic exclusive, yeah. So are we gonna die to this flu? I kind of hoped we would, but we're not going to. We're not going to. I need to grow as much food as I can here too, because this map has very, very little growing period. Before you get it, then Finn. Give them a good deal. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Pre order if it on Steam. I'll be playing it on release still, but. Let's cook that before it rots. Simple meal lasts longer than meat, so. Can't believe we're gonna. We're gonna survive this flu. <laughs> I don't know why the alerts are so slow. I'm gonna refresh it because I see that in chat and I'm gonna thank you for it, but I don't know why they're not popping up right away on Twitch's end and triggering the alert. I don't know. Uh, Pyroclastic, thank you for the gift sub. Who'd you hit? Aztec Eagle for their fourth month. Thank you, Pyro, very much appreciated. 
We might not let pyros into the colony. But we enjoy them here at the stream. Thank you, Pyro. You're back. Paint it forward from an anonymous gifter, so we don't even know who gifted it to you, huh? Oh my god. We have beaten the flu. So we do have to continue this playthrough. All right, cool. Let's bring it back. We are a little behind, but you know, we got steel for days nearby. We'll eventually bid, build down towards that anim tree. We're gonna make it work. Pyro's this community. <laughs> Flu simulator run. It was actually sort of like Hearts of Iron 4. Um, I don't, so we're doing an extreme challenge of it. I've done some other playthroughs of it, but basically you start on a, um, a map. There's lots of different biomes. There's tons of randomly generated maps you can play on. Uh, I'll show you something about that in a second, but you start with one or more uh, colonists who have their own individual stats, backgrounds, likes, dislikes, etc. And you have to try to help them survive against crazy odds. You end up getting more people along the way, um, but you have to have them survive against raiders of pirates and tribals and uh, giant or like robot raids and angry animals and alien bugs and toxic fallout and volcanic winter. And uh, there's just crazy, crazy amounts of things. It's a really, uh, complex and varied game. If you want to see more like what it looks like during... I think we have some clips from recent stuff. There's some clips from our recent playthroughs. Uh, of course, the VODs are up as well, but... If you are uh, interested in seeing kind of what it looks like once you're developed. Oh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Keep it inside. Gotta go out and make food and stuff. All right, we gotta get the rest of these uh, trees. New pine tree, new tree, and we need to find another animal to hunt. So I don't have to live off berries. We dead yet? No, somehow not. We survived the flu and we killed the cougar. Yeah, no problem, Lewis. Plus basically a war crime simulator. Yeah, you, you have, sometimes you make people eat without a table. You believe it? No, but there, there are times that, uh, you know, you might get prisoners and steal their organs and then take off their legs and put sticks in there in order to increase your medical knowledge. And while you're at it, maybe take out all their teeth and give them wooden dentures and, uh, and then sell them into slavery. There might be a little bit of that going on occasionally. Just a little. <laughs> I mean, it's up to you, however you want to play it. WTF. <laughs> Pants that this is the run? That would be crazy. Why, hello. Welcome back. I survived the flu and a cougar. Muffin. Why is it hot and fresh like last night? Did the Pyre Classic thing just now pop up? My wife's here to beat me with a noodle. Thanks for the cold muffin. <laughs> Bond, go to Muffin Joe. Muffin Joe. Is that a jail where they feed you muffins, or is it like a jail for muffins? A jail inside of a muffin? Didn't warm it and put butter on it? So don't tell her that. She'll bring it back like in a bowl of butter or something. Make me eat it. All right. We need all these traps up. First raid on this time thing is usually two or three people. We have one meal left. Is there any any animals nearby? There's some ibex, but they can fight back. If we kill both of those, we maybe can make some clothing. 
Green noodles, you can't see the views. I know, that's the whole point, yeah. Pull noodle, flogging tradition start. I don't remember, but I wish you'd stop hitting me in the nipple with it. It's tender, leave it alone. <laughs> leave my tender nips alone with your evil noodle. I need to kill a deer, stop hitting me. <laughs> Bucks and the does, they're not cl uh, as close, so. I think I am gonna risk this a little bit. Out of the old base, uh, excavation last run will get you information on that one. Uh, basically, a dog opened a door and it caused all, like, hell, the gates of hell opened unto us. And Randy was like, there's an opening to the base! <laughs> Let me throw 70 angry deer and a mech raid and... 20 raiders in that hole. Ever play the escapist? No, I haven't. Uh, do you know prison architect, Lewis? Speaking of. Deer with a real threat. You don't? Okay. So this is more similar to prison architect than it is to, um... The escapist, but mountain base overheating is a great reason not to build it inside. And you watch that cliff. Did, the crazy thing about that city is we survived that. I killed everyone except for like two people, and then a man in black came and we saved that run. Airport CEO is that similar to prison architect? Probably not. Use 100k for channel command. Can it be a reward like summon granny? Uh, no, because then you're basically having an infinite number of award rewards. I mean, you can be a clip of a granny summon or something like that, if that's what you mean. All right, let's let him rest. Got two meals. That should be enough for us to finish this part. It's summer, but winter is coming. Oh. I don't know what you mean then, Luth. Like, what would the command do? There's an Aurora going on, so we want to make him go outside. Oh no, you're you're making a bot command, not another reward. If that's what you if that's what you mean. I don't know if I'm understanding what you mean though. All right, uh, initial traps set up. That'd be okay. A bot command is like, uh, for instance, Phoenix, I think, is the one that got exclamation hentai. So, something like that. Noodle attack. Uh, I can't, I don't really do ones like that. We used to have uh, the noodle one on there, but I can't really do it because my wife isn't always upstairs or near the streaming office. So, I removed it. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to kill enough to get clothing. So, we really need to kill some... Uh, what kind of wildlife are on the map that won't fight back? We have the deer. So, we need to travel down here and kill a couple... Oh, there's one! The bear killed one for us! Uh, spoil in 1.8 days. So, we're going to grab that tomorrow. Now you have to know. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, we're gonna do the same starter base, basically. So they kill a lot of things. Yeah, this one's already rotted though, so we can't do anything about that. Um, the fox might die. Fox might die too, and we can grab him. Let's go ahead, Gar. Welcome back. You saw another deer? A dead deer? I don't see another dead deer. All 
All right, we'll come get that in just a second. We'll have clothing, so we'll be a little bit warmer, and also we will we'll be unhappy. Oh, you were seeing the fox, gotcha. Yeah, we can finish the fox off after this too, but it won't be the same kind of. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about finishing it. We we'll end up getting the fox when it dies, but I mainly want to get enough for clothing. I don't think the fox is the same kind. No, it has fox fur. It absolutely doesn't have plain leather. Uh, we're gonna need to kill quite a few more deer. Sorry, it'll be worth it. Uh, yeah, let's go. We'll get some shooting experience too. Watch we'll just get raided while I'm out here. Actually, I'll just bring them back. It's fine. So we'll have to bring back the meat and the hide and stuff too. Oh, one shot that one. Point blank range. It was like a legless shot. Show wear for day one. Yeah, I don't think there's any mega sloth here, is there? Don't. There's one, but it's like way, 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 way down. Most men in blacks you've had in one run? Uh, We just had a run where we had three men in black. We ended up losing, so it wasn't winning run, but we had three men in black. New high score, progress in Adon. Ancient Chaos Worm. Last best ended two of five tables complete. Grats, Gar. Is that what you were doing uh, tonight? Or do you mean a different night? So I'm cooked this. So practicing this game, there are for animals, but not for pawns. You can have mods that add babies in uh, human pregnancy in general. Um, but baseline, just animals reproduce. Uh, there's pre-existing relationships that you can have uh, children that are already in the game or they're not actual children. They're just other pawns. Davey, what are you doing up? Thought you were sleeping. Wonder who our second pawn will be. Always worried a raid's gonna come in. Need to let that go. Yeah, it's tough, but um, yeah. So there, we're gonna make it out of uh, uh, plain leather, hopefully. You have children, school, and learning. Yeah, that's the one I've seen too. I've never used it, but I've I've looked at it. Okay, tomorrow we're gonna go hunt another deer. After he eats. Time is on last night because we went to bed early-ish. Um. I wonder if there's a way you can set some sort of alert, like a notification on your phone when you got raided for X amount. I wonder if there's some kind of, if there's not a program that does that, it's codable. It's definitely codable. I don't know how to code things, but you might want to look into it. Because then if you got a uh, push notification or whatever, when you got a raid of X amount, that probably help you out with what you're trying to do. Your mods text you though, if they're up. Yeah, that's good. So something like that, but automated. But you just sleep through it anyway. <laughs> 1,900 people. No, I mean, I mean it, it, if they like the content, they got to see it. So they'll, they'll be back if they like it. I'm sure you got follows from it too, huh? All right. Let's go hunt this one. 
Well, I'd stay up all night. <laughs> You been part of them, silly idea? That's pretty cool. Uh, we're at 53, so we need one more. Can we do that today? Yeah, we can do that today. Let's go. Oh, no, the timber wolf. I remember you. Who ended up shooting there? of us searching goes to a streamer uh baseline it's half yeah half of a tier one subscription um if you are a larger partner you can negotiate that some but by default uh yeah 250 out of the five well, i thought about being 24 7 um i thought about running reruns uh to make it 24 7 have reruns going all the time when i wasn't live Honestly, I did think about doing that, uh, and we had some pretty good reruns. We had some Darkest Dungeon of the World First Challenge reruns where we were averaging like 120, 150 people from the rerun. And so I was like, man, I should just have this playing all the time. Um, but then I wouldn't be able to host and raid people and stuff. And uh, I know that's, uh, you know, uh, that's awesome for them. It helps me to meet other people and stuff like that. So... I've toyed with the idea of it, kind of, and I've d done so a little bit. About to update to crowd control. Channel points now. Uh, what's crowd control? I might be mis or not remembering. Maybe I never knew. <coughs> You're prepared for the Tower of Eternal Flames. Barely pulled it off. So, Adom, what... What system is that on? Was it what system was it originally on? Adam on demand, true twenty four seven. Yeah, uh, not able to do that one. Maybe shambles. Hey, <laughs> auto correct. Baby shambles. Just wondering what's going on here or there. I guess. Do you go back to sleep? <laughs> so it was for DOS in 94. Gotcha. It's free, not like 18.99 on Netflix. How's it going? How's it going, Fonsworth? Welcome back. Sounds the same. At 1.0, it was DOS. Really? <laughs> hey, Danger Copter. Given that brand new resubba. A test? Emo testing. Works for me. Alright. Hmm. We gotta get... We gotta get all this built for when we have another person. Also need to make a little uh, mini sort of uh prison so what is over there just normal stuff okay so nice leaving is that you started a new colony yeah 
How's three going? All right. Davy, Davy the five gift subs. Who did you hit? Red Rover for their first month. Sartan for three. Slim Drake, uh, Agarthan, and Poor Lino all for their first. Thank you, Davy. Look at that number one gift uh, icon next to your name for the week. Thank you, Davy. Much appreciated. Much love to Davy. Davy's been here forever. Came over on a host, didn't even like the game we played, and just never left. Uh, we might as well turn some of this meat into meals before it rots. Spoil on 1.2. 1.5. Yeah, we'll do it. How's it going, Jingo? Good to see you. All right. Uh, where's he going? I also need to set up zones. You know what? Let's do at least the inside zone before I forget about it. So inside that way we can very easily pull people there all right uh let's get these trees down can't believe that other colony fell the way it did turtles and room world music the only thing you're missing homework is the worst <laughs> I agree. I'm glad I don't have to do it anymore. I guess all my daughter's work is homework now that I think of it. Since she's uh, having to do homeschool because of the pandemic. It would have been difficult for me to do. Especially without a computer or something at the time. It's like, yeah, uh, I'll just have like Brood War with no volume. Just play that while I'm supposed to be doing paying attention to zoom or whatever i lose the other colony excavation last run there's a clip of it but it was a series of terrible events build as much of this as we can really curious about our first spawn so last run we already had uh someone else joining by about right now crazy enough this is the run you can feel it oh, that would be crazy a string of unfortunate circumstances that's right how's it going Velasco welcome in you might be like this seems like overkill with this time-based crap the raids get big real fast. So we're just going to make sure we're safe. And this ends up being the run, even though Randy gave us a disease event on day one. That'll be awesome. All this rice for one person. I think I'll also... Uh, where do I want to put the prison this time? I guess I'll throw it over here. Just a makeshift prison. Tanner has three monitors and a printer. Sure work. Other kids are given an iPad. How do they manage? Four different systems at once sometimes. Yeah, I don't know. Man. It's rough. Thought it was canceled. It was actually sent. For the chatting. <laughs> Welcome back, Danger. Even though you were only gone for like a minute. For anyway, more towards more survivors events like other store terrorists. You know? Yes. Yeah. So Randy's numbers are 4, uh, 12, and 50. So Randy's actually the storyteller to use if you want the best chance for a huge colony. So transport pod crash. Uh, let's go ahead and start heading that way. 10 hours. Are you good? Fast learner, transhumanist, nimble. Uh, yeah, that'll do. 10, 10 hours. That's really far from base. So we're going to have to tend to her up here. So we put down a sleeping spot. It's not guaranteed that she's going to join, but we'll put it down a sleeping spot. 
Uh, let's see. Don't even need to do any of that. We gotta make sure we turn it to no herbal medicine, at least until we get her healed up enough to take all the way to the to the base. So. Yeah, she's a really good first drop. Um, no health issues. She has a gunshot wound on her jaw, it looks like, so she'll be in pain a lot. So she'll have a minus five from that. But, uh, yeah, she's a really good fighter. She could do the cooking and the initial research, too. So, if she joins. It's not a guarantee. She is a space refugee, though, so it's a decent chance she'll join if we save her. Yeah, we could give her the wooden uh, dentures so she's not got the jaw pain. Oh, we want to no herbal medicine tend to her. And so what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and build a copy of the sleeping spot back over here. And then as soon as she's healed enough that I think I can carry her all the way. Uh, so actually now we're going to rescue her. And then when we get over here, we'll use herbal on her and make an actual uh, second bed. Okay, I got to remember to remove the home area up here. Yeah, we can always capture her if she try it, if she doesn't auto join. I got to I got to make sure I do that. So we need to get the little prison area uh, set up in the meantime. Okay. We actually don't have any herbal medicine anyway. Uh, we need some rest. That's fine. Oh, she got infection. Ugh. Uh, is there any that we can actually harvest? Here we go. Come on. Crap. Get up. First one's gonna be really bad, but we can uh, 52 percent tin quality. Actually, that's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Medicine rotted, yeah, yeah. We get a, her a bed. One pawn, yep. Let's go, misfortune. One pawn, yep. Uh, the infection is in her right hand, so we could cut her arm off if it comes to it, if we need to do that to save her. Uh, it won't let us cut her arm off without some more herbal medicine, though. Or, well, she'll, she'll die. Much more likely to die if we don't keep tending her with, uh, with medicine. Uh, that one's harvestable, too, so... Uh, let's go get it. Got to really micromanage this this time. Okay. We failed that one. We failed that one. Really don't like those ones being so close to the bottom. Or the edge of the map, I should say. You love your bed? What kind of bed? Misfortune! Thank you for the 100 bits. I don't know why, but the alerts are coming up super late. Super late. So, like, your alert will come up in, like, four minutes, probably. Sorry I missed it initially, though. Misfortune, thank you for the 100 bits. I don't know what's going on with it. Blame Twitch. Blame Twitch. 
usually a pretty safe bet just in general. Right. We gotta keep an eye on her. When can she be tended? Uh, she's actually beating it right now, so that's a good sign. It's gonna expire in just an hour. Let's go ahead and retend, and we'll go ahead and feed her as well. Mobile. So you gave some delay. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Pyroclastic did a uh, a gift sub. The Aztec, and it took four minutes. I saw, I saw in the chat way before the alert came up. I bed, so almost have to sit up into the bed. Instead of laying down. Hmm. We got uh, a king that's kind of lowish, actually. Ours is definitely... Not like laying on the floor, but you know. Alright. Let him rest. Let me rest for a little bit. Enough. Cut some more trees. The bed. It's like butt height. Sure, we're just one colonist. Uh, well, we're back to one colonist again, yeah. We're on day nine. We died, exclamation, last run. We'll tell you, Jim Jones. She has decided to leave. We gotta finish this. Cause uh, she's really good. We're gonna arrest her. wood in your hand. Got her. A lot of trouble for right now. I know. Did it run or wrong? No, it popped up. You just have to click the link. Don't click the Clip, click the actual link, and it should get it for you. And they came up. I see it in chat. Right after you posted that, the bot said, run for, and then posted a clip. Everyone else sees it. And she really beat that uh infection pretty handily. All right, let's let him get to sleep, and then uh, we'll let him actually build these now. It's back. We get an Among Us fix. Welcome back. Careful hypothermia. Uh, we should be okay. It's 78 degrees outside, so if we get hypothermia, something's really wrong. You know why? So it doesn't pop up for you? If you have it so it doesn't show you, like, uh... Okay. 
Okay, so it's just now showing me Davy's gift subs from earlier. So misfortunes will come anyway. Uh, Yoohoo, thank you for the follow. I'm, I don't know why it's not giving me the alerts, but I appreciate the follow. Welcome in. Ah, I gotcha. We had some blocked messages. We're closed. Yeah, we'll get it. We'll get it. It's still going through the subs Davey, Davey did. I don't know why alerts are so late. So late. So late. All right. Let him finish. A mad muffalo. Okay. Um, I'm actually okay if that comes through here. That's quite a bit of food. There we go. No, 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 not rescue. Uh, why is it doing that? There we go. It's like it wanted to prioritize the traps or something. If we were tribal, I'd be pemmican probably, but we are not. Gotta get the rest of this done. Making some more meals. We need to get that blue fur brought in. Where this can we do now? Okay. So we need more and more wood. More and more wood. Let him sleep. Gotta get these other shots back up before we get a raid, though. Uh, so we're into the double-digit days, so I'm guessing if we had a raid now, it'd probably be like three people. Maybe. Maybe about that. All right, let's take a look at her prisoner stats. So resistance rating 11.2. So once she's done, once her resistance is broken, she's going to join right away. Recruitment chance is 100%. Solar flare does nothing to us. We have no electronics. Spend today cutting these trees. PC, PC shuts off. Hey, I can keep streaming even if this PC shut off. Well, but not that one. Luckily, I do have the two PCs set up now. So we've had, uh, I don't remember what game it was, but we actually had this entire computer freeze once, also on stream. So people got to watch me reboot it. Very exciting stuff. Next level content. Do you start with an axe or something? No, you do not. Don't start. Uh, in this mode, uh, you can. You can start with stuff. But in the mode that I'm playing, uh, we start naked with nothing. No items, nothing. Pretty fun to watch, not gonna lie. Let's go on Mitch. Welcome back. Cut trees down Minecraft style. Yes. It's been so quiet. Playing this naked brutality. 
exotic good trader. So our current event is a trader, but we have nothing to trade. So we have no money. Yeah, like most games, uh, karate chop the trees down, I guess. It's like the beginning of something like, um, Ark where you're punching rocks. Although the newer maps in Ark, they made it so you can just pick up rocks, which makes a lot of sense. So player's done. It's colony ended. Oh my god. Hamster, welcome back. How's it going, hamster? We're doing so well. A friggin' dog opened a door. And it even got in the door. It didn't let the deers in right away. But because the deer, there's so many of them, they were able to break down the stone door so fast. That was the beginning of the end. Extra brutal start. To, it, uh, it's just fun. I don't know. I think it's fun. Let's go and pond scum. Something only Rimworld could create. Yeah, man. Such a good start. And then a dog went in the wrong door. And that's basically how, how it started. Yeah, we don't have anything to sell. Okay. Uh, I think that's actually pretty decent now. Does that mean get Andy? That's true. Don't have cheating pathfinding and they have to actually find out where they can break a door. Uh, depends on which kind of mob, but uh, wild animal attacks like that, they will not try to break through a door unless they've uh, been in proximity when something's used it. Are you still awake? I think so. I think so, I think so Davey. It's hard to tell with you, but I think so. Yeah, so it was a... I don't remember. 70-something deer, 68, 78, something like that. Manhunting deer. Uh, so we are producing a lot of food, but kind of need to this map has only a 20 day growing period so there's gonna be 40 days which is just actually how much how long rice lasts unrefrigerated so in rim world like i have to actually say in rim world close this in, open this up so we get higher barracks quality. Team Joe says no, you're not still awake. Still need more wood, always more wood. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and send them to the chop here. And I'm gonna turn sewing off just for a moment. That way I don't have to micromanage them so much with the tree cutting. All right, so let's look at Q here. Uh, looks, they're 8.3. So yeah, it won't take them very long. And when they join, We'll initially set them, uh, they can even help with plants. I mean, they don't like doing it. They're not gonna have any kind of mood boost or extra experience, but it's it's good enough to help with plants. So we'll probably put them on uh, planting initially. That will free us up to, um, to build. Then we get the research table, we'll throw them on that. We have plenty of steel close by, which is nice. Do it. Warren! Warren, thank you for the host. Uh, my alerts are really slow, so I'll probably get the alert in like four minutes. Uh, but those coming from Warren's stream, welcome, welcome back. I'm Adam, it's Adam vs. Everything, and we're doing some crazy RimWorld shenanigans, much like Warren does. 
Uh, so I'm, I'm guessing most of you are familiar with, with RimWorld that are coming from Warren's stream. So what we're doing is 500%, no pause, losing is fun. Uh, but we're playing on Wealth Independent mode, and we're trying to survive for as long as the Wealth Independent mode keeps getting harder, which is 20 in-game years. We had a really, really good run going um, that we just lost, actually. So we had a run where we were almost... Uh, we, we were almost really set up strong. But if you're curious about that, actually, last run will tell you more. How's it going, Warren? What were you up to? We're crazy slow, too. Yeah, I figured it was on Twitch's end. Thank you, Warren. Mick. Mick, welcome back. How's it going, Mick? How have you been? Uh, but yeah, Exclamation last run will get you the clip. It was kind of crazy. Colony viewer night. Cool. So what, is that, what does that mean? You were looking at uh, communities, colonies, or... But yeah, had a really good run going. We were up to like seven colonists. We finally got, we'd gotten our kill tunnel set up. We got a backup tunnel. We had our sapper defense. Uh, we were just finishing sapper defense and uh, Randy decided it was time to die. Is there fun? Hey, hairball, welcome back. Did I wait them? Gotcha, gotcha. Getting better? Doing all right. Uh, I concur with that. Kind of sums up my last couple months too. Maybe for different reasons, but. All right, so she's gonna be an awesome first recruit. Really, really awesome. And we'll uh, we'll replant that soon, but we have a lot. Of, this map doesn't have a lot of growing time. Uh, it's the ninth. We could have a late summer cold snap. I'm gonna have to replant before I do anything else actually. Food shower, sleep time. Get up early. Warren, thank you again. Have a good night. Thank you again for the host. So we're going to go ahead and replant this. Um, now, I'm going to extend this so that when we turn this into a barracks, um, I might let her have this as a bedroom temporarily until we get another prisoner. But when we do turn this into a barracks... I want the extra space because that's one of the easiest ways to improve a room's quality is just make it bigger. Make it bigger. But I might let her use that as a bedroom until more more uh, prisoners come in just to give us both a mood boost early. All right, what's his needs at? Needs to eat. Feed the prisoner. Now we're going to start working on this. What the mod is for right click plant area, uh, Octung, A C H T U N G, I think. You can go to exclamation mods if you want, and it's in that list. Uh, it doesn't add just that, but so what What I did, so you can have them plant area without that mod, but the one I use, uh, and here's an important thing with Octung when you use it. If you see this, what Octung does is it adds this button, the force button. You can still use this, you can still use prioritize working on whatever. But you have to actually click the little white button and it will force them to do it until they fall over or finish. Like they literally won't stop for anything unless they have a breakdown or go unconscious or something. Uh, yeah, A-C-H-T-U-N-G. A-C-H. Octung or something. I, think, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but... Is that just the threat slider? Also, are you sitting well slider for 20 years? Yeah, yeah. So we're doing losing as fun as the preset. Uh, so all, all the other things are at losing a, a fun level, and then we're moving the uh, threat slider up to 500%, and then we're doing uh, wealth independent mode 20 years, which is the max. Yep, yep. Uh, how long till you join? 5.8. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. I think that'll be fine for the initial raid as long as it's a normal raid. Kind of hope it happens soon so we can get a gun. Shouldn't wish for for early raids though. Okay, so after he eats, we're gonna have him build. I'm gonna talk to call the prisoner first, and we'll have a build. Oh, oh, my bad. Germanic background languages, gotcha. You were spelling it phonetically. Gotcha, gotcha. All 
Alright. Um, we'll go ahead and put the door over there. God, we need so much wood. He's getting it, though. He's getting the wood. Three point one. Oh, look at that. Um, I gotta remember that's over there. I don't want them to mess with it right now, but that's really good. So we can deconstruct these into steel and components. Good event. Good event for us. Grab the medicine. Uh, I think I'm gonna cancel on that one. These two until we really need it. Okay, finish this, please. Really? Just gonna leave that one piece of wall left tomorrow. Oh well. Head to bed, Mick. Coming out again. We'll see you next. Yeah, man. Every night at 9 p.m. aside from uh, Sundays. So I start usually a little before Warren. Usually a couple hours before. Um, yeah, anytime. Have a good night, Mick. So quick. A bit too hard for you yet? Yeah, no worries. I mean, I. For me, losing is fun. I know that's a difficulty name now, but uh, I don't mind the losing part. I like, I'm kind of masochistic when it comes to games, but I don't mind how anyone else wants to play it. Whatever's fun for you, you know? Whoops. Whatever's fun for you. Clips, doesn't matter. Yeah, have a good night, Mick. Okay, finish that when you're done, please. Please. Okay, so now we'll open this up. Put a roof on there. Let's go ahead and do that, actually. It's a dom with no victory. 370. Play it like six hours a day. Yeah, whatever you have fun with, you know? That's what I try to tell people, especially in a single player game. Like, if you like playing on the hardest difficulty with mods to make it harder, or if you like playing on just peaceful builder mode and seeing, like, you know, making little villages around the map or something connected by roads and things. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do on that. It can be a super chill game or a super intense game. Anywhere in between. Loving the YouTube channel? It's awesome. Thank you, Hairball. I'm really trying to get the YouTube channel uh, off the ground, so to say. I mean, it's doing all right. Look at this crap. So, they were watching over there, too. Losing is sometimes actually fun, yeah. I mean, it, it does get frustrating sometimes. It can do that, but... It's all good. Uh, we have some people passing through. So he's from another... He's from a tribe, so if we kidnap him, or if we arrest him, uh, we're going to lose rep with them. But, since he's by himself, if he was super good, especially on this mode, I would take him. I don't really like Teetotaler. It's not a, um, it's not an auto-deny for me, though. Careful Shooters, it's, it's another one that's okay, depending on which weapon they have. Um, but he's not anything incredible enough for me to anger the try with right now. A little peaceful and boring. Have Randy on your toes at all times. Yeah. Well, now more than ever, though, Germ, with the uh, custom settings outside of, um, you no longer need mods for the custom settings. Over time, you can kind of fine tune and tailor what you want, you know? Like, if you want um, to have raids only and not worry about disease and crazy weather and, you know, infestation or whatever, now you can do that even without mod, which is really awesome. I'm glad they added all those sliders. Saving Hermione. Grace says that her friend has been wounded while traveling. Nobody's here to rescue. If you make it to their position, there's two man hunting chickens. How far away are you? 
Space Marine is a usually a pretty good background. Manhunting pack. Just kidding. What do we got here? Two deer. Nah, it's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and leave him inside. No, he's fine there, actually. This guy might fight them. Let's go see how far away this is. Pink eye. Uh, she's way too far away. And we have, like, hills and stuff. Yeah. We're not going to accept that quest. But I'm going to turn off allow uh, goodwill so we get offered more reward type quests. Man, I hope this guy just beats the crap out of this deer. Now the... Now it pops up. Um, Mato, Fritz, and Bad Bard. Thank you guys for the follow. I'm sorry the alerts are so slow, but I appreciate it. Welcome in. Oh, he killed one. Killed one. Now we could actually save him for some rep if I wanted to, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to steal his food and his bow and let him go. I'm not gonna strip him. So used to you could strip them with no uh no consequence, but now if you strip them it's gonna lower. Strip them too. It lowers uh rep now. Will go frenzy affect research? I think it imp doesn't go frenzy increase um work speed, so I think it would. I I don't know, I've never really looked and tested. I thought it It seems like it would, but I don't know hundred percent to tell you one way or the other. Almost the sub goal? goal? Almost. Yeah, I would think it does because it says work speed and it's considered a, a work, like a job, so. I'll never test it. Delve, welcome back. Missed a lot of my stream. Sorry, you calling it? Yeah, you go to exclamation last run, see what I have to the old one if you want. Oh, my bad. My bad. Go Frenzy. Yeah, is movement. Work Frenzy is the one I was talking about that affects uh, work speed. Hence the name, I suppose. My bad. I misspoke. Thank you, Polywash. All right. Need to refuel that so that we aren't sleeping in the dark. People don't like sleeping in the dark. Django, thank you for the gift sub. The alert will pop up and like... 10 minutes. I don't know what's going on with Twitch. Uh, to see more. 88. Thank you, Jingo. Goal. Is that goal? Uh, did the sub goal update as well? Is that update dating or what was it at before? It's at nine now. <laughs> Everything's going really slow on Twitch, so I don't know. It hasn't updated yet. Okay. Preemptive goal. Uh, we'll get this brought in as well. It was at nine. Okay. It'll flip over at some point. I don't know what's up. Warren said it was happening on his stream too. So at least I know it's not on my end. Let's butcher that first. It was going really well. Um, we're doing, right now, Bean, we're doing just the normal Naked Brutality, which means research is uh, normal level, not tribal level, yeah. So, we do have access to electricity, I just haven't gotten to the point of getting the setup yet. Okay, so she's gonna recruit tomorrow. Tomorrow. Alright. That'll be one of the next things I do, actually. Uh, get research benches up. We're going to need a little bit of steel. Uh, and then she'll be able to research, and we'll get batteries and go from there. Spider's Day, after you went off. That's awesome, Delve. They were doing that. Yeah, that, that colony was doing really well. Even with all the crap that happened, like with the sieges and stuff. We're doing so well. And to put it in perspective, we were 
we were like almost on day 100 and this challenge needs what was it 1200 days i don't know it's gonna be really really intense crazy what's going on is that three in a row Not 25% for you. Oh, it was two out of three. I must have missed one. Still pretty good. 66 instead of 25. Take those odds. All right, we get ready. Uh, next person in the queue is... This is call number five, I think, right? Call number five. All right. Next in the queue is version three. Okay. Version three. You're in. Uh, I am going to help or have you help with plants. And then uh, research after that. Excuse me. And that will allow me to put plants down at a three instead. All right. Pretty good, pretty good. That's a really, uh, it's a pretty decent first join. You're the infected person? Yeah, yeah. So you have a stab scar in your leg. It's very minor, so it's not uh, it's not causing any problems. You're transhumanist, so you have a minus four until we can replace a body part, though. But all right, so we want to get battery. <laughs> oh, it Reezy <laughs> got whimsic. Our oh, squad's powerful. So we'll let her sleep there. Look at my bedroom. Look at theirs. <laughs> no bias. No bias. Okay, let's get the uh, research bench done. Quest paid forced weather. Uh, weather control system will force five to be fog for 19 days. Um, 19 days of fog sounds terrible, but we're about to be out of the growing period. So things slowing, I don't know that fog actually slows growing, but it slows, it screws with accuracy for sure. Uh, I think it's fine actually though. 19 days is a really long time. An early advanced component. Yeah, screw it. All right, get ready for foggy weather. Doing bad, Bard. We're in. Okay. Uh, she needs a weapon. Oh, wait, we stole a weapon from someone. Never mind. Just kidding. Don't you make that weapon. That'll do. All 
All right, so we'll get uh, uh, we got yaks out here. Uh, we'll get batteries researched. So we're gonna need some components. Oh my god, the math's so dark. We're gonna need some components to get our power all set up. Here's some. Okay, when he's well rested, we're gonna go mine these components. Okay. No path. Oh. Maybe we need to chop that. Yeah, we're just gonna let him do all of them. We're gonna babysit him over here in case something happens. Group of travelers are coming by. If it's just one or two and there's a good one, we'll uh, we'll arrest them. Uh, let's expand the inside area now. Uh, aside from research, what's the next thing? I guess we do want a second research bench so we can really get this going. Uh, and we need to just keep extending our trap area. I kind of want the doors lined up. That makes this kind of weird. So we don't really need that one there. Okay. All right. As much research as we can do. Um, turn our six steel. So we do want to mine more to so get the power set up. We're gonna go with wind turbine again. We'll replace it once we get to geothermal. Manhunter pack, what up? Uh, booze, thank you for the follow. Thank you, booze. We got four raccoons. All right. Keep people uh, inside. Cause is a scrapper. It's Raccoon City. It does seem like Randy's all about the animals this one, huh? Sucks is gonna kill or destroy some of my traps, but oh well. All right, back to unrestricted. All right, wind turbine. There we go. There we go. Also, since it's a super early game, we should go ahead and destroy these now, I think. Yeah. So we'll have him do that. Because if we do have a raid, uh, he might can run back from like two or three people. But later on, when there's like a big raid, big raids in general. 
might not have that chance anymore. How close are we to batteries? Uh, let's go ahead and put them both on researching one and just get this done. He's still going to go deconstruct the uh, things down there first. That's fine. That way, if batteries aren't done, by the time he's, he's done with that, he'll help research. Oh my God, I didn't finish my muffin. Oh, construction's on two. Okay, it's fine. Kind of muffin. Cinnamon apple still. The ones from last night. There's some left. They got left in the microwave though. <clears throat> like, instead of closed. So they're a little bit dry. But still tastes good. Still tastes good. Oh. All right. We'll use that. Thank you, Mr. Bear. Combat supplier. Ooh. Don't have anything to trade them. Uh, there's not... There's no, like, silver really close either. There's a lot of steel, which is nice. Don't want to go far from steel like we did. Man, there's a lot of steel right near us. Yeah, I'm just not seeing any... There's like gold poking out somewhere. Some uranium. We might can go there and mine it really quick with both people. Put a zone there. Trade these people gold for an early set of guns. That would help us a ton. I'm not seeing any... Sticking out anywhere. Overall, though, it seems like a more mineral-rich map as far as steel and components than the last one. Yeah. Oh, well. They're there to help defend, apparently. Chris is on a rampage. I know. He's got a lot this this game. I was hoping he would bleed to death, but... Fall has begun. We won't be able to grow much more here really soon. Uh, the rice is done, though. Rice got finished in time. A slaver. Oh, God, I wish we had money to trade them. Man, if we had money to buy some more pawns and some weapons right now. Yep, exclamation mods, booze. We'll get you the list. It's mostly quality of life stuff. But it is up to date, so if you do exclamation mods in chat, um, you'll get the list. And it's a Steam list, so it's very easy if you're playing through Steam to just hit the ones that you're interested in. Well, at least we're pretty well protected. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and go get this done. House and use your table, I know. Is the odds to add new animals? No, I I have before. I'm not this time though. Man, that's a lot of early components. That's a lot of early components. Alaska. Thank you for the gift sub. I'm sorry about the alerts. I don't know what's going on. Twitch is being weird. Thank you, Alaska. Who'd you get? The Robios. Or Robios, maybe. I'm not sure. Appreciate Alaska. 
Alaska from actual Alaska, if I remember right. Bars, so Aishi is a little easier. Yeah, yeah, I like, I do like those ones. There are some that add um, animals that make sense in all the different biomes, you know? And uh, I played with it and I did enjoy it because it was just more diversity. Uh, when 1.1 came out, they did add a lot more animals or a few more animals to the base game, to vanilla. Uh, and I really like that change too. Transport pod crash. Lydia. Slow learner and slothful. Dead in four hours. How far away are you, Lydia? Uh, you're dead before I can get there. Slothful, minus 35% work speed. Strip him. Yeah. It's not good. Dinosauria. It's OP. I, my wife really wants me to do a game with a dinosaur mod. So you like it a lot, Germ? Farm mod had all animals added to the base game. Yeah. Yeah. It's really nice. Batteries. Oh, they downed her? <gasps> what? Get it? Heavy SMG for our first raid? Yes. It's like one of the best early game guns, even mid game. No, we got so lucky. A kind wimp. Uh. You know what? I'll save you as well. I cannot. Oh, nope. She's up. That sucks. I stole your gun. Wait, get her food. <laughs> Who downed her? They got in a social fight. They got in a social fight. And because she's a wimp, she downed almost instantly. And <laughs> we got a uh, heavy SMG. Wow. Weave slandered her fighting methods, but she's a wimp. They had a reason to do it. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, she had her thumb destroyed. Sucks for her. Oh, that's so awesome. All right, maybe this is the run. I cannot believe how this run started, but it's it's going really well now. I know it's still early. Uh, all right, so we want to get a battery. Just throw it there. Get this done. Whoops. Okay. Uh, so let's go to work and we're going to take us back off of priority researching for just a little bit. Girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Flails hopelessly. Falls on the ground, loses their weapon. Some guy runs out and grabs it. They don't even say anything. Imagine being called a wimp and then having your thumb mangled. So you drop and lose your gun. She's walking so slow behind her group. Yeah, maybe. She wasn't an incredible pawn, but uh, we would have angered them in doing so. Finders keepers, lol. They had their thumb up their butt when it was kicked. That would teach her. Can't believe we have that gun. That's awesome. Uh, so we want to remove roof area here so they don't roof this or else this won't work. Shambles out of his crappy wooden shack and scoops up your gun. <laughs> High tech. Uh, yoink. I guess that's kind of what it would be like for aliens. Like if aliens have actually been to Earth and they've crash landed, that would that would basically be the equivalent. They crash are super 
the super technologically advanced ship as humans come out of their metal and stone houses take it off suddenly have radar technology and things like that <laughs> sorry we've been watching a lot of ancient aliens this show is so ridiculous <laughs> all right uh so we're gonna play it in here this out of the way look at that we made a sauna for the squirrel Hey, conflict. The caravan is being hunted near five. Wants you to signal the tribes people. Five tribals. We can do this. We might get a good prisoner. Let's go ahead and get ready for this. Um, let's get her bed. Hello. What's going on? My wife's in here eating waffles at 3 a.m. What a comfy squirrel. There's a comfy squirrel that we need a sauna for. How long do we have to accept this quest? Five days also, so we can get all these traps up too. I like that bear being so close. He's already killed so many things on the map. It's actually kind of worrying me now that I've mentioned it. That bear could end the run after we've come back from all this stuff. Um, Did it just now do the alert for the gift sub from Alaska? Well, thank you again, Alaska. You like that show? It's an entertaining show, but some of it's so ridiculous. No advanced alien species will traverse space time to visit a dumb planet like Earth. Oh, he's killing, we're eating. Yeah, I just hope he leaves and doesn't kill us. I'm a little worried. Aggro the bear the next time there's a caravan. I've done that, yeah, and I would do it again if they were still here. Yeah. Oh, we're going right by the bear. Honestly, I can probably kill him with the SMG. Oh, he's so close to us, man. I really don't like this bear being there. Just having the SMG, it's enough unless he gets into melee range with us. So it kind of is and kind of isn't enough. But I think I'm going to try to kill it. The fog uh, reduces our accuracy. All right, here we go. Out here, bear. an aggro. He's not yet in range to just die from this. Okay. He's probably going to die now. 21 hours. I might do some more shots at him too. As he wanders. Yeah. Okay. He wandered a little bit further away again. I can't believe he has an aggro. It's like 10% per hit that he aggroes, something like that. Okay. Should definitely be dead now. 16 hours. If he gets closer, we'll do it again. Hunting bears. How's it going, unicycle? Welcome back. 
Uh, ammo is infinite in RimWorld when it comes to guns. Uh, mortars and things like that do have uh, ammo that you have to make. There are mods that make it so you also have to make ammo for guns, but it's it's pretty brutal to have to worry about. So yeah, you can mod the game to have ammo with everything if you really want. Excuse me. Berenstain Bears. Taking quite a turn. <laughs> that they have. No, thank you. Fine. That's why you asked me. <laughs> Sounds about right. My wife's talking to me. People are wondering, what's going on here? Wrong <laughs> Toad, where are your favorite children books? Yeah, the thing about the Berenstain Bears, there's that whole uh, Mandela effect or whatever, which is basically just saying people are so stubborn that they would rather believe that they've randomly woken up in another dimension than admit that they're remembering something incorrectly. <laughs> True though, uh, I woke up in another dimension. Moved on to Goosebumps. Yeah, I loved Goosebumps as a kid. Goosebumps. My wife still watches it because she's awesome. <laughs> I need more wood. I'm gonna turn off sewing. Uh, that's true. And I need to put plant cutting as a one on these guys temporarily. So I want to accept that quest, but I want to make sure we have enough traps to down all these guys. How you doing, Mr. Bear? You dead in seven hours? Cool. Okay, well, I'm talking about the actual bear in the game, not our cat. She calls one of our cats a uh, bear and Mr. Bear, actually. <laughs> so, no, definitely not that. Python, welcome back. How's it going, Python? All right. Uh, you know what else I'm going to do? It's kind of weird, but I'm going to put a little wooden barricade, the happy little wooden barricade right there. A barricade, you know, in case the bear comes in. All right, I think we're ready for the quest. Uh, so let's go back and put plenty back to three. Okay. going to extend the inside zone to also include this area and yeah let's accept it so we're gonna get attacked by five tribals so those traps should take them out and we sh should be able to get some prisoners what do we want for it um another advanced component would be nice having some silver would be good i think uh some reserve glitter world medicine is probably what i'm gonna go with we could always sell it for more than the other ones and it's more likely we'll need to use that before these other ones. So let's do it. Also, let me go ahead and make another zone. So this one is going to be uh, walls, which right now it won't make sense because this won't be us staying in walls, but I'm going to put it in this area so we stay close to home for now. Later on, we'll use it for the wall area. Uh, Doss, welcome in. How's it going, Doss? Thank you for coming in. A dimension where notifications take ages by design, said Twitch. Sounds like something Twitch would say. Power! Okay, 
So that'll also allow us to make a stove. Um, also some lights. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good enough. How long did it say until they would attack? In nine hours, okay. So they'll be here in four hours. It's interesting how they know that exactly. I got some really accurate scouting. Look at that, a stove. All right, so I'm gonna copy this over to the stove. Copy this one over to the stove. And that's all base RimWorld. So uh, if you haven't already, you can, when you see this icon, you can copy uh, and then paste over even between, you know, well, that's mainly the purpose. Copy it between similar crafting places. So might keep the fire in here still for warmth for now, since it is a cold map. Comes the raid. All right. So we're going to stay inside. We need to open this door. So I open that door so there's the entrance to our base. So they should go through that. They're attacking immediately. All right. Send the wall on fire. I had a feeling that would happen. I didn't put a door over to that one, that's unfortunate. Uh, did I not open the door soon enough? They're acting kind of like sappers, which they shouldn't be. They should leave when he's downed. Oh, they didn't. Okay. Okay. Capture that one. Uh... It is a safe temperature. Oh, okay. Unrestricted. Capture. Capture. That guy's gone. That guy's gone. Fast walker underground or nimble. Oh. That would have been good. Uh, he's 16, so he'll never get a second job thing. And that means um, he won't get the stat boost from that. But still would have been probably worth. Okay. Get in. She? I didn't have time to look. <laughs> Health, uh, 10 to them. Dead in four hours. What was the other one? Dead in three. Okay. Night Owl, Chemical Fascination, Trigger Happy. Can't do dumb labor. So we'll probably let this guy uh, die or we'll take his organs or whatever. This one, uh, Psychically Dull, Pretty Night Owl. Can't do dumb labor. Can't do dumb labor, but we can uh, strap them to a research bench. So she has asthma too. My God, I'm gonna have to replace your lungs eventually. <gasps> I can replace your lungs with this guy's lungs. Perfect. Guy, don't die. I'm gonna need your lungs. In fact, uh, medical. All right, work version three. Oh, she won't do doctoring. Crap, I'm gonna have to save her instead. Ugh. Can we stabilize her? Come on. She's at four. Go back here. Okay. 
Okay, we stabilize that guy to three. Got this triage. Good lord, she's still at two. God, these guys got their crap beat out of them. He's at three, go back. Version three, clean this room. <laughs> They're gonna get so many infections. Oh, she's at three, go back to the other guy. Storm left him. What? I need bodies in this mode. Normally I wouldn't take people like this uh this early on, but with the mode that we're playing, I really have to get people to fight. Four, four, alright, cool. Seven, three, all right, tend. Okay, stabilized. Save them both. Nice. Nice. And I got so much experience out of that. So much. Until the infection, yeah. Breath of the Wild for the first time. Wish you luck. It's really good, Gar. I really enjoyed Breath of the Wild. There was only one thing that threw me in the beginning, and that's uh, items having durability. That was really weird for a Zelda game. Otherwise, I really enjoyed it. Of course, we're any room. Yeah, yeah, I know. We're not there yet. We have no way to set them on fire, so... Just to get him out of here. Okay, so we can recruit her and then take the other guy's lungs. That's enough crop troll. Be sweet. Grind them up into the meat fertilizer. What clip is that? Oh, where I realized we could steal one guy's lungs and put them in the other one's body? That's what I'm guessing that is. <laughs> I need to clear this area. Like the legendary master sword. Break. Yeah. Human meat kibble. Hey, super glue. I had no idea that we were at those viewers. That's good. That's good. Let's go, super glue. What else would it be? I don't know. I don't know. All right. We're going to switch them uh, to actually. Uh, for this, uh, okay. Fuel that. It's good enough. Feed the prisoners. time to walk in get the stack here and we can take the other guy's lungs yeah that's rim worlds that's rim worlds all right uh let's make these graves really quick dig these graves dig these graves the other prisoner a bed. Okay. New colonist? Yeah. And one of these might be a new colonist and the other might be lungs <laughs> for that colonist. Uh, we gotta get this done. Let's see. I why it's not letting me uh, force her to do this. She has access to it. Weird. 
Hmm. Shaman merchant. Uh, no, not those plants, please. Not those plants. The other plants. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. All right, where are these guys coming from? Bottom left. Dead guys, you get some kind of penalty. You do. Uh, yeah, if you try to wear clothing that came off a dead body, it's you get a, a happiness debuff because it's tainted. You can use weapons and stuff from dead people without any kind of penalty, but if they die while they're wearing the clothes, clothes become tainted, uh, which is not good. Okay. All right, let's uh, move this back to eight meals. There we go. And we'll suspend these so he stops cooking at that fire. We're starting to get a little electricity. We need to make that wall before another raid comes. There we go. That was your favorite world song? Supposed to be Anakin in the game? I mean, I don't know. If I had just killed someone, I would... I would feel a little, probably more than a little. If I just killed someone that was trying to kill me and then I like took off the guy's pants and put them on, I would feel not great about it. <laughs> Where's the ones bloodied and tore apart clothes? Yeah, let's go and buzz. About coded now, which kind of sucks. Yeah, you can at least um, smelt them, but bio coding can be annoying for sure. I don't think we have uh, anything to trade them still. Shaman, right? Um, I'm not trading them. I mean, they don't really have anything that we super would want. I would be tempted to even give them our Glitter World medicine if they had something we really, really wanted. Because we got the Glitter World from a quest, but... Mastani, welcome in. How's it going, Mastani? Crying. Crap himself. It's fine. Let's get his clothes off. Quiet corpse, too much. Yeah. Ship them right for death is the dumb part. Yeah. yeah. I guess it would make sense if it was one way or the other, you know. You could either do both or neither. But there's mods for that. Poorly made pants, picturing a reverse zipper. Only one pant leg. <laughs> nah. Or like one leg is tighter than the other. What the crap is going on here? I got skinny jeans on one side and cargos on the other. It's going to be like the new fashion in 10 years. Yeah, they just kept making poor quality pants. Non-stop. Just non-stop. Yeah, we might have to grab solar too for this setup. We're having a rave right now. As as the wind dies down, a rave begins. Rebuffed by version three. Version three, you would be so lucky. Look at me, my tribal onesie. Rebuff me. All right. Uh, let's get this done. I want to make the prisoners more comfortable. 
Why, hello. Are you squeezing over there, or? Really? Just don't, uh, don't hit it from underneath. <laughs> that would be bad. Bad for you. Lavish meals, molt action rifles. Well, you're worth my time. Anticipating a peg leg with one lecture or the other. <laughs> Tailoring so bad, it's a fashion statement. Uh, we still have wardening as one priority. Yeah. We do. Oh, it's gotten cold. It's gotten cold out there. These prisoners might not survive the winter in this kind of weather. In part because the room's really cold, but the other part is because we might have to eat them. Just how it is on the rim. We gotta get those traps back up. And we need to shut that door. Version 3, go shut that door before I forget about it. Thank you, version 3. Mm -hmm. Um. Now yeah, we got wood out there. We got wood out there. I'm rested enough. Cooking food? No. We're making traps. I cannot believe this is still the same run where Randy gave us the flu on day one. And there was like predators skulking around outside our little bitty cabin basically had to stay in bed for the first three or four days of this run. The Fortune Taylor. Ha ha ha. That would be a great name for like a book or a movie. The Fortune Taylor. I'm glad I thought about that digital dog. Hey Finn, welcome back. How you been Finn? How you been Finn? Fin fin. Always good things turn around, yeah. As soon as I got the uh, flu on like, you know, a third of the way through the first day, uh, someone in chat was like, this is the run. Like seriously, this is the run. I was like, no, I, I think we're about to start over. Here we are. Be a pretty cool story if this ends up being the run. I, I'm still doubting it, but I'm downing it slightly less now. Transport pod. Man, Randy's really liking the transport pods. What's going on here? Uh, slothful. What's going on with slothful people with asthma? It looks like you're dead. What about your gear? You have some good pants. Your parka kind of sucks. How far away are you? Are you a space refugee? You are, so I'm going to steal your clothing. Too gross and elite dangerous. Take a break. Elite dangerous. That's going to be free on Epic next week, I think. Prison break? Oh, no. You guys want to get shot by SMGs? Is that what you're saying? That's what I'm hearing. Target practice. Which one was the one that we wanted to kind of keep? That one. Okay. Guys, I had just put a new fire in there. I guess we won't be stripping that person anytime soon.
Excuse me. I'm just trying to shoot you with a machine gun here. I don't know why you're chasing me around. <laughs> Sir? <laughs> Oh, more medical experience. Let's go ahead and remove uh, that because, yeah, they're dead. Call us do things in secret. I have a cook that makes meals with human. Changed the game a lot, so. If you like space and ships, etc., I yeah, I've always looked at really dangerous and thought about trying it out, so it looks like uh, this would be a perfect time to do it. All right, more medical experience for me. Thanks, guys. Hopefully we didn't permanently injure you. I mean, I'm kind of not, I don't really care too much since you ran away from me. Sayonara. No, we got him, we got him. The other one died though, yeah. Man, this fog that I accepted for 19 days, what was past Adam thinking? I can remember it clearly. He said, fog, that's not too bad. 19 days is a long time, but it's not gonna do much. Lower accuracy a little bit, it's fine. Friggin' past Adam. I'll ruin that. Well, no, wait. I can't ruin past Adam's life. I can ruin future Adam's life. Alright, it's the cold season. Oh, it's not even the cold season yet. It's fall. It's the cool season. Jay Dickman. Uh, alerts are delayed, Jay. I'm sorry. It'll pop up in like five minutes. I'll thank you again. Stephen King coming to the colony with some fog... Bull spit. Don't go outside. Uh, Jay, thank you for the 22 months. Man, I can't believe you've been here for 22 months. What are you doing with your life? No, I'm just I'm just kidding. Thank you, Jay. Whatever you're doing with your life, I'm glad uh, you keep coming back. <laughs> uh, see he's putting his shades on? Because it's the cool season. That's right. That's right. The deserters. They've angered the empire. No, I don't want to get on the Empire's bad side right now. Yeah, there's a dead squirrel up there I could eat. Um, but I'm not going to worry about it right now because it's outside and it's freezing outside. And so that's basically nature's freezer. I do need to make sure that stays lit. Oh, man. I also need to get some heaters up. This friggin' map. Version 3, do you have better clothes than me? Because I might steal them so I can use them to go mining. You have a parka and all you're doing is standing inside researching? Give me that crap. All right, so. Uh, let's just change you to a nudist. <laughs> all right, strip your clothes off version 3. Oh, look at that, it's pants. Oh, look at a parka. Fox fur parka. All right, now I can go back to wearing, you can wear my old crap. I mean, some good clothes. You're <laughs> not crap at all. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get some of the steel so we can make the heaters. You don't understand the importance of the lab coats. So. You know what? I don't. Take a straight transport pod, crash, he was slothful and slow. Yeah, what, what the crap? How do you expect me to research when I don't look sciency? You'll research if you know what's good for you. I'll take your lungs for, who was it? For Panther. Where's the one whose lungs were stealing? It's going to be this guy. All right. Harvest right lung. So we need medicine to do that. So I'm going to have to allow for uh, herbal medicine. 
Let's throw some glasses on. Sciency. Oh, we got it. I was afraid we would, we would fail. So if we take the other lung, uh, for some reason, he, he will die. Did you know you die without lungs? But we're going to do it. Uh, and the good news is that will make this no longer a barracks because we're going to get rid of one of the beds because we don't need it. Uh, and then that'll make this one happier. Slap in the heat. All right, we still have the torch in here. Mediocre for a lung transplant. You just rub herbs on it. We don't even have knives. I don't even know how I opened the chest cavity or whatever. Like, what did I use? Like a horseshoe steak or something? Yeah, where are my medical tools? I use my teeth? Oh, God. Uh, butcher creature, do it forever. It's like a Mortal Kombat fatality. Oh no, we're Melina. Yeah, if I was ever about to have surgery and the person walked in and they were Melina, I would be getting up. Getting out. Why does the lung item look like a sandwich? Uh, it's like some kind of container. Also, when I first started playing the game, I thought you had to refrigerate or freeze organs. I just assumed. So when I was brand new to the game, I had to make sure I put these in there. And then it wasn't until later on that I was like, wait a second. Body parts, you can just have them anywhere. They never go bad. It's long, gnarly, filthy nails. Ew. It's got infinite ice inside that box. It's a spoon and a butter knife. God. So anyway, we'll remove his other lung soon. <laughs> uh, do we not have wood? Do we not have wood? Okay. Cut some trees. Time for some malpractice. Why not replace the first lung first? You mean the people that person that needs it? I don't want to use the lung on the person that needs it unless they join us. So if I put two or one or whatever good lungs into that person and then they prison escape and die or something like that. Um, that's just wasted lungs. That's why. Hey, there's the alert. Jay Dickman, thank you again for the 22 months. Yeah, I just don't want to waste them if it turns out, uh, you know, that we don't keep this person from some, for some reason or another. Good lungs don't grow on trees. That's very true. The truest things I've ever seen in my channel. Slept in the cold. 48 degrees. That's like some good sleeping temperature. Get like three blankets. Look at that. You got a fireplace that you're looking at? Get over it. Oh, they can walk again? How about we take your other lung? See if you're walking then. Harvest left lung. Version 3, can you clean up the patient's puke so I can... <laughs> operate on them again. <laughs> yeah, if they run away and just happen to fall into some SMG bullets and die, that'd be unfortunate. Sure, why not? Be a deer. Clean up the prisoner's puke. Going for a walk before I steal their lung. I mean, <laughs> uh, 
Whoa. Dorna had a berserk uh, breakdown right as I was there. Was about to punch me across the wooden end table and I one shot him with the SMG. Hey, wait, no, no, no. Don't be using that on him. Patch him up with nothing. I don't even know how, what, what are you doing here? Rubbing dirt in it? All right, now you can use that to operate on him. Did we damage the lung? No. The cargo is safe. Magic hand motions. Like, we're Mr. Miyagi, but like the evil side. Need a clean workspace, right? Liver or something? Yeah, I guess we... I usually don't because of wealth, but I keep... I keep playing as if we are doing uh, wealth mode. But also, if we har harvest, like, one of the kidneys and they die during that, and we don't get the second lung, that would kind of suck, too. So we'll just play it safe. Homeopathy. Oh, no, he died. Why? <laughs> How'd he die without lungs? Uh, we're going to restore that here. Witness ally's death. Both lungs does not count as murder. Uh, it does give you a debuff for removing... You, you get a debuff for killing innocent prisoners, and you get a debuff for taking organs. But it's early game, so it doesn't really matter. A breathlessly dramatic death. Get it? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna move the bed. That way this is no longer considered a barracks and now they're gonna like this area more even though their friend died in it. All right. So we will put them on recruits. Um, I think right before they get recruited, I'll try to replace one of the uh, the lungs, that way, if something happens, they die from the surgery. At least they'll be a prisoner and not a colonist at that time. So you're long and then going, my god, he's dead, <laughs> and walking away. <laughs> yeah, and then at least I'll have one lung, yeah. Feature the game called Life. God, how long until this fog is over? Nine, oh, eight more days, eight more days. We got it. Got this, we can survive fog. Uh, I really need to get these other traps rebuilt before I forget. New lovers. Well, it can only be two people, because that's all we have. Uh, so, version 3 and I have finally hooked up. Now, the good news about this is because there's two of us, we can now we can now share a bed, and it won't count as a barracks anymore, because it's, it's one double bed. Wait, version 3 courted me? Courted Adam by joking about friendly riders. And became aroused and agreed to become version 3's lover. You know what I like about writers? They mostly seem friendly. Apparently that's uh, this pawn's like, great turn on. It might also be because you're the only woman uh, like in the world as far as we're concerned at the moment. So there's no other female on the map. Mod wife posing as version 3. She did laugh when I read this stuff off. She's she's laying on the floor behind my stream desk. <laughs> Is it cheating if you're on a different planet in a fictional game? Uh, I don't, this this isn't me. This is just another Adam. But also no. All right, we'll let him eat. 
this is evil, Adam. You can tell because he has a goatee. <gasps> Wait! <laughs> oh no. Am I the evil Adam? I did just force someone to take a guy's lungs and he died. No, nah, I'm probably not the evil Adam. Probably not. Uh, all right. Let's go ahead and get these up and uh, make this double bed. We're on to you, Mira Universe Adam. You're probably from that dimension with the Baron Steen Bears that you were talking about earlier. Hey, Ashgard, welcome in. How's it going? Hey, babe, I just stole somebody's lungs, and I'd rather take your breath away. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that must have been it. They did try to kill you without a formal declaration of war. That is true. Yeah. Whoops. Whoops. I don't know how I actually did that. Smithing is done. I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab the solar panels this time. Because this map does not seem very windy. Let's talk about those kind of lavish meals. <laughs> what kind of lavish meals? Oh, which one is that, Super Glue? Low mood? Why do they have a low mood, I wonder? That's so weird. Comes around. The, wow. What a clip title. Thank you, Super Glue. Is that a turkey I see? I want to go shoot that turkey with a machine gun because I'm hungry. Ah, uh, yes. America. <laughs> no comment. We did it. Butcher that turkey. Butcher that turkey. Uh, so I'm going to outlaw the rice. That way we cook the meat first. Cause meat will rot way before the rice. Killing turkey. That's one does, yeah. It's always crazy when you have like eight pawns or whatever. And it's like, we need meat. And you go out into the woods with eight people, like high powered automatic rifles. And just start downing like turkeys and... <laughs> Um, someone has said it reminded them of the scene from, uh, no, I don't want you, I want you cleaning that crap. Reminded them of the scene from Predator when they're like, just shooting out to the jungle and leveling everything. I'm going to turn off, uh, expand home area on build for now. I really don't want... Have to keep redoing this. I don't want them to clean in there. So, get rid of this. Is that another turkey? Why are the turkeys migrating? It's November. That's why we have Thanksgiving. <laughs> Celebrate the migration of the turkeys. Pretty sure that's accurate. Alright, let's get this. Rice plant died to cold? Really? One was still alive? Gobble, gobble, mother. That's right. Excuse me, turkey. Well. Got it. First shot. You know what? I don't even need you that much. I'll just take this one. Deep fry one next week. Can't wait. I don't really care for turkey too much in real life. I don't mind like um, turkey sandwich meat some of it, but 
I mean, it's, o it's okay. Like, I'll eat it sometimes. I don't prefer it. The whole point of turkey is to carry gravy. That's right. It's kind of like when I, when I was talking about the... Um, we were talking about different kinds of fries. We were talking about waffle fries from Chick-fil-A, and I was like, a problem with them. They're delicious. But I basically use them as spoons for Chick-fil-A sauce. <laughs> Which is uh, delicious, but maybe not quite healthy. A little not healthy. They want waffle fries? Yes. Turkey's nice. It is definitely a giant chicken, just about. I think they taste really different, though. How's the prisoner doing? Okay, they're at 21.7, though. It's gonna be a while. Do waffle ridges grab more sauce? They do. I basically use it like a spoon for Chick fil A sauce, seriously. And then I, I made the mistake once of, like, looking. I was like, I wonder how bad this sauce is for you. And it's something crazy. Like, one of those Chick-fil-A sauces are, is, like, the same calories as, like, a soda or something. And I used to use, like, eight of them when I was eating Chick-fil-A. I mean, obviously, if you're, like, eating for healthy reasons, you're probably not eating Chick-fil-A. But I was really shocked by just how crazy it was. Like, two Chick-fil-A sauces the same as having, like, a triple cheeseburger from McDonald's or something. It's really crazy. Crazy delicious, my wife says. But it's it's the nectar of the gods, Chick fil A sauce. <laughs> it's ambrosia. Chili cheese fries. Uh, Chick fil A sauce, possibly the best tasting sauce ever. I, yeah, I agree. Uh, we made some. There's a copycat recipe out there. So there's a website uh, where they try to copy recipes. <laughs> You can search for it uh and they have one for chick-fil-a sauce and it was very accurate it was really good keep the nasty sauce <laughs> lace sauce i know yeah when i get the spicy i put a packet of sauce on it and then i also dip it <sighs> i eat chick-fil-a i'm getting real hungry talking about this Decade, always heard Wendy's spicy chicken. Really? The weirdos that don't eat Chick-fil-A? I haven't in a long time. I don't think I've eaten at Chick-fil-A in a couple of years. Yeah. How do you fit 140 calories and 10 grams of sugar in one of those little packets? I don't know. It's like two tablespoons of sauce. Uh, so the temperature is really low here, which is going to, um, it can make it so that you get less raid. So we might get, uh, mechs pretty soon. Hey, Bats up Pirate, welcome back. How's it going, Pirate? Yeah, those calorie dents, yeah. I've heard of rallies. Uh, so the thing about rallies is I really liked their fries, but I I didn't care much for anything else I got there. Like, it was fine, but their fries are really good. So on Fluffles, welcome in. Palico Don Fluffles. Calico. Uh, yeah, Rally's is fine, but the ones that... Every time I've eaten there, I'm like, the fries are the absolute best. Thing. Yeah, those seasoned fries. Out west, don't have Rally's? Yeah, I hadn't heard of it before I came to uh, Indiana. Isn't Checkers and Rally's the same thing? Kind of like uh, Carl's Jr. and Hardee's. Okay. 
buy other stuff because well f it you're already there yeah pretty much <laughs> tools a and w only a handful left yeah it seems like most a and w's now are in those like duo or trio buildings right like it's not just a and w you have like a and w and um like long john silvers or something in the same building Speaking of good fries, I really, really used to like uh, Long John Silver's fries, and they changed them. It's been a long time. That was, that change was like 15 or 20 years ago. But they used to have seasoned fries, and it and it was like they were like almost breaded fries. You too much five guys like the topping choices. Well, prisoner status instead of colonist status, no. So you can have prisoners, but they won't work for you without mods. There is a mod for prison labor. Um, so you can't really have slaves, but you can sell people into slavery to other factions, but it's not quite. There are mods for it, though. That's usually the answer for everything in RimWorld. If it doesn't exist, there's a mod for it. So we're here. No one knows who is keeping it in business. No one ever eats there. Drugs. They're laundering money. I wonder about that sometimes too. We have a Fry's Electronics place. Um, so not the grocery store like out west, but uh, Electronics place. And it's huge. It's enormous. It's like... I think it's bigger than like the... Um, or at least the same size as like the Walmart super stores or whatever. And it is so bizarre. There's never anyone there uh, outside from workers. We go in there and there's just like random crap it, everywhere. Like there's no, just there's, there's no order behind it. So there'll be like an aisle that's all pop figures or something. And the next aisle is like vacuum cleaners and then TVs and toys and, random food like there'll be a random food aisle between monitors and keyboards it's like what the crap is going on here and there's no one ever there and it's friggin huge it's like how are you how are you in business <laughs> what are you doing to pay the bills here drugs <laughs> Bodega. it's a very weird thing transfer pod A Gourmand Cannibal. God, I hate Gourmand. It's really terrible. But look at this. Fighting. They could just always be cooking. And since they're a cannibal. So it's not guaranteed this person would join anyway. Um, but if they do join, it's okay. You can also steal their clothing. Because they're... Are they... Oh, they're... they're. How do they get a spaceship if they're from a tribe? They're tribals. So they might not join at all. Because uh, they are associated with someone. One aisle for caskets. Another aisle for piñatas. Let's <laughs> go to stasis. Think of all the people they could eat. That's kind of what I am thinking. Town for years that no one ever went to. Capable of caring. I know. It's funny that it says it that way because it means that they're incapable of like doctoring people but it's like <laughs> it's kind of what i was thinking when i first read it when i first started the game the guy's capable of caring he don't care about anything who needs an incinerator when you have a gourmand cannibal yeah so the problem with gourmand for anyone that doesn't know uh they get hungry so fast that a lot of times they'll start you'll get the starving notification just while they're sleeping overnight. Which, I mean, I can relate to. You know, you wake up starving. But, like, literally for them. And because they get hungry so fast, if you have them at jobs that are... Uh, any job that really needs them there working all the time, uh, it's going to get interrupted a lot for them to go eat. It can be really annoying. And, of course, they eat through a lot of food. Garan's just a realistic person. <laughs>
Alright, uh, let's get all this done. So our prisoners back up. They're at 19.7. Malnourished. Oh crap. Give them some food first. Okay, and then when you're done with that, you can build this stuff. Let's go, Nico. Welcome back. <clears throat> and Cable Caring would be a good band name. <laughs> what would their hit single be, Vid? Do you have an idea over there? Food and electronics, the same place, reminds you of something funny you once saw. What's that? Some thread on 4 about Max or PCs or something. <clears throat> 4chan. This person can fight and really likes doing so. They can also be trained to be another builder, but more likely than not, we can just tie them to a stove. <clears throat> I was like, what? They're really good at cooking. They really like it. So that's a new Mac desktop being posted and it costs like 4,000 or something. Friggin' Apple. Okay, we need a little bit more steel. Uh, what's the temperature inside? Yeah, we do. So when there are about, yeah, 60% rested, we'll go ahead and get some steel. Keep an eye on this. <clears throat> Should we cut coolant PC parts? Make it even, but it wouldn't let you get any more pop tarts. So. <clears throat> Man, yeah, I can't even imagine. A Four thousand dollar PC would be <clears throat> incredibly powerful. Powerful. Uh, don't be eating that out there. All the parts plus 99 of each of the three flavors of pop tarts and it only went to 3.5 <laughs> all right so it looks like eventually we could do an awesome kill tunnel over this lake i really like doing them over things like that uh but how can we just segment some of this off sooner than later um, hmm. I might do another long building here. Like buildings around this. Uh, that could be a sapper issue. But we can very easily just mark, like, close this off and then not worry about anything from the north other than sappers for a long time. And then there's that friggin' water there, so we're gonna have to build around that. That's one problem with maps like this, but could build it like there. very long term just trying to think of where the good block off places are in this one okay colony yeah if you want to see what happened to the other one uh exhibition last run is now up you found the picture vid yeah it was doing really, really well. It's unfortunate. Down at 16.4. Yeah, 
can't keep refueling that because it'll get way too cold for them in there. Just gonna have him do some mining again. Two thousand CPUs, major overkill at the time. Probably major overkill now. Can buy an SSD for like twenty-five now. I know it is crazy. It's crazy how that works. We were talking about TVs like that the other night, where like you can get huge 4k tvs now for like 250 bucks that five years ago would have been a couple thousand dollars yeah randy's being a lot quieter so far in this one i shouldn't say that oh god <laughs> have grenades oh no grenades bad <laughs> at least they're coming in staggered at least they're coming in staggered what is this don't know can't worry about it right now wait do you have emp grenades <gasps> emp grenades he could have done anything with that yeah what the crap Go ahead, Dinser. Welcome back. Great. That that is actually great. We got some free EMP grenades. Awesome. That guy's out of here. Screw this. We're lucky that this was split, though. Honestly, those ones are dead too. We can just leave version three researching. Uh, let's go ahead and throw down. Two sleeping spots. I don't know why they're breaking through there. That's really odd. Because that door is open. Yeah, I knew that was about to happen. I knew that was about to happen. I don't know why I went that way. Oh, they're shooting at that guy. that they were doing that instead of coming through here though with the opening person already died twenty one hours they're fine looks like more medical experience maybe unless they're dead Ran and ran. Yeah, they just broke out of prison and just ran away. Still foggy. Yeah, because of that event. We got like five more days of it. Five more days of it. Uh, What kind of gun got dropped? A pump shotgun? I mean, a bio-coded one. I mean, they're still guns, but... Mo 
long experience. Nuclear bombs in Genshin is a spicy fight. Man, I can't believe. No, I can. So I can't believe Randy attacked me right, literally, as I was finishing that sentence. No, I've come to expect this thing from games. We have no medicine, so I really hope version 3 doesn't get... What the crap? Oh, a rat just died to a... Oh, no, no, no! Close the door, close the door, close the door! Oh, okay. So, look at all the animals coming. Oh my lord. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't played on a really cold map in a long time. So basically, when the map is in cold for a while and there's no more grazing material, if animal wild animal, animals have a path to any food, they come running. You could actually use that to your advantage. You can drop like a single meal out in a kill tunnel and line up and wait for them to come, but... Yeah, fastest way to hunt, yep. Yep. But I don't want I don't want that right now. It's a good thing that rat died of that trap, or suddenly all of our food would be gone. There'd be herds of deer in our house eating all of our food. I can't believe that guy was shooting at this one. He's not even a member of a colony. You think I care? Kill him. <laughs> he might be a member someday. We got a free EMP, which is really nice. I still don't know why that one broke them out of prison and then that was really odd. I did mess up there a little bit. Luckily, it wasn't fatal, but could have been infection. Oh, why do I say things? Why are things coming out of my mouth? <laughs> There's no medicine. There's none. Uh, does this, did this one get grown? Okay. Oh, we got lucky. Oh, uh, we're in a relationship with version 3 too, so... <gasps> Did we? Oh, no, it wasn't them. It was this one? Oh, no, it was, it was Panther. Screw Panther. I didn't even look. I just saw a disease infection. Panther, I'm not giving you any medicine. If you die, then you die. You're not super awesome. Super awesome, we could live. Quest available 24 man hunting Arctic foxes. Uh, absolutely not. Not for any of this crap. He was only partly like, thrown away. May have slept through your whole stream. My bad. Had my phone on here the whole time. Hey, Tet. Welcome back. Yeah, no worries, man. No worries. Someone say food. We got a delivery of rat. get the meat cooked for this is over uh, I'm gonna have to turn the heaters off temporarily so meat's gonna rot soon if we don't use it Okay. 
I'll flip those back on. With the door open, character in Rouge 3. We're 11 when you drafted them. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Uh, <laughs> why sleeping outside? What's going on here? Watching the sunrise. It's negative 10 degrees. Get in there. <clears throat> 41 hyperweave. Yeah. For that crap. Stupid rat. Could walk like 20 minutes. Uh, all right. All right, let's get this research done. So I'm tired of having to just w rely on this alone. So we're going to bump research up to a one on both of them. I wish these rats would stop killing themselves. I, the reason why is that they're trying to come eat the other dead rat, I think. I think that might be why. It's the only thing I can think of. Because the door is no longer open. Or that is just randomly wandering in, which is seems less likely. Oh, it's rave time again. Look at this. Get these away from our traps. Oh, I don't know why I read that as walked. Could have waited. Medical emergency on Panther. Yeah. Are they going to die? Should we grab their clothing? They're probably going to die. 77% immunity, 80% infection. Uh, what clothing do they have? It's got to be pretty beat up. It's actually not that bad. We should strip them just in case. I think they're dead, though. Maybe, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking too. We should maybe grab an organ. Uh, so you already got some lungs. So we might, sh uh, we don't have herbal medicine left. We have one. So let's go ahead and grab a kidney. If they're going to die. It really seems like they are though. Uh... Yeah, I think they're going to. So. Guess what here? Oh yeah, yeah, I know. I was waiting though. Just, I was looking at the uh, infection because if they, they were going to survive the infection, I was going to take it. I could have used Glitter World on them earlier and saved them, but they're not that good of a pawn. If they would have been a really good pawn, I would have done so. The down, the real downside of this is that we've spent so much food on them in just man hours. Yeah. We're not gonna refuel uh, that anytime soon. I don't know, soon. Soon. That's a weird answer to that question, but soon. Let me check some. There we go. Uh, hi, Regerum. Thank you for the follow. And Tom, thank you for the follow. I don't know why the alerts are so slow tonight. Twitch isn't. Oh, the grass is feeding you. <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> It is pretty messed up. Yeah, there's blood scenes everywhere. That is pretty messed up. Now research done. We did it.
Solar built. There we go. Now this fog is away. In good shape. Julian's camp assault. Playing an aerial assault on the camp. Guarded by four pirates. He wants you to provide two soldiers to carry out the attack. I literally only have two people. Fosto would join us. Fosto, the nudist pyromaniac. Out in the Arctic. I don't get cold. I'll light myself on fire. All right, no, I'm not accepting that. Oh, it's not even winter yet. Tomorrow is winter. So send them? No. <laughs> no. How would my colony survive? There's literally no one here for days. A raid would just come in, destroy everything, and we'd have to start over. Let's go, Dragon. Welcome in. So they decided to leave, which is fine. They weren't super great. I don't really want a Gourmand. Uh, if they had joined, I'd be okay with it. Just having another body, but not ideal to have them here anyway. Alright. Uh, so, let's go back to construction here. It is connected, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, we got some rep. I I didn't think they would join because they uh, were already affiliated with a tribe, so... Sakuna of Rice and Ruin. No, I haven't. I do like platformers. Yeah, I haven't heard of that one. Can you remind me to look at that one? Find some Schrodinger's pages. Wrong game. Which game is that from? Oh, yeah, the caves of... I. How is it pronounced? I've seen that game, but I've never heard it pronounced. Is it could? Cute? Quid. Cud. The other games. Thank you, IMAX. Yeah, I'll check it out. I will check it out. Mm. Marriage is on! Adam proposed marriage to version 3, and version 3 agreed. Well, I guess since you're the only man left in the world. Mad caribou? I don't want mad caribou disease. Oh, I thought that was another one. They were just running because the door was open. The game, every faction has an allegiance. You can use a... Uh, Schrodinger's page to improve your reputation with any faction. By retroactively writing a time, you help them out in history. That's pretty cool. I like that. I don't know you. You've never done anything for me. <laughs> Did you just change history? Yeah, I have. See? It's in the history book. Here's where I helped you. Pretty much. Man, we're down to 229 food. Raw food, so we are going to have to start hunting at some point, most likely. Unless something really changes. It's negative 17 out. 30 inside, even with the two heaters. I could go ahead and put a wall here to make the room uh, smaller in order to heat it better. I might have to. This is a very cold map. It's cooler than I really thought it was going to be. Um, yeah, I might do that. Maybe, maybe.
We're gonna make any stone block here and new oops. Do forever. And we're gonna make the radius smaller. It's gonna be a little bit before I make any stone blocks, but there goes an Arctic wolf. The way you change allegiances with factions is by interacting with the leaders well of figures. If you kill them, your allegiance with that the enemy goes up, but allies goes down, help them, vice versa. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, uh, guys, it is late. I've been streaming a long time. I'm gonna wrap things up while we have this little lull here, and we'll continue this playthrough tomorrow. Go ahead and stop the recording. Uh, but before anything else happens, any event that I want I want to take care of, I need to wrap things up. Uh, I am going to host someone. If you'd stick around, I'd very much appreciate it. Join on the host. Uh, we'll find someone to uh, to help out. But before I do that, uh, I just want to say thank you for being here. The goal of the stream is to have it be what sports me and my family. So if you hung out any amount of time tonight, whether you lurked the whole time or acted the whole time, anywhere in between, uh, thank you for that. You helped towards that goal. We live again at 9 p.m. Eastern time with the same playthrough. So we'll continue this 9 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, more RimWorld, more RimWorld. All right, let's see who we got tonight. Uh, and if you haven't already, consider following the stream if you would. That way you can see when I'm live, but I will be live at 9 p.m. And I'm live every night at 9 p.m. aside from Sunday, aside from Sundays. Uh, let's see. You know what? Let's just host someone new. Let's host someone new. Thank you, Carrot. Uh, if you would help me make someone's night much better, I'd appreciate it. Let's find someone's playing Rimworlds that I, I don't even know who they are, and let's host them. Let's host them. Uh... Yeah, all right, this guy. This guy, it says he plays stuff. I play stuff. We're pretty much the same person. So I'll host him. Uh, so really quick piece of advice. I do not know this person at all. It could be the worst place ever. I could send you over there and every other word could be the F word. This has happened before. He could attempt to steal your kidneys in real life and you know, start dating your mom. I don't know. I don't know this guy. Or it could be the greatest place ever and I never see you again because you're always at his stream. Because it's just the greatest friggin' stream on Twitch. It's probably somewhere in between. So I'm going to take the risk and I'm going to send you over there. Um, <laughs> Alright, I'll post the information. But if you would, join me over there. Uh, even if you don't stay around, even if you don't follow, if you just help me by going over there and saying hello pasting one of these messages, at least saying who sent you. Uh, I'd appreciate it. I was definitely there where I was averaging 30 people a night for a long time, and raids like this were incredible. Like, it would completely change the stream and how I felt for that night, and I would talk about it the next day, and I'd tell my, like, my wife, too. I was like, can you believe we got, got the raid, like 200 people? Um, so if you join me, I'd very much appreciate it. All right, guys. Get one of those messages... Uh, I'm sending you that way. Have a good night. Live again, 9 p.m. Eastern time with more RimWorld. And I'll see you right now over in whatever this guy's stream's name was. Have a good night, son. Wow.